Hi, I'm Jackson Lansing. Welcome to Vast. This is our finale. This is it. Uh, no more Vast. No. Um, <laughs> just kidding. Uh, yeah, this, this was always meant to be the last episode of Vast, uh, by which I mean that this is the last one uh, that I'm able to plan forward, uh, because I don't know what happens after this episode. I've given uh, our 10 players, our, our two ships, our two perspectives, uh, their own missions. Uh, they've, I've given them challenges that they must overcome, uh, and now, as of the last game, they have themselves discovered the truth behind most of the challenges uh, and mysteries that they face. As a result, now, in this next let's be honest, seven hour period, um, they're, going to, uh, they're going to solve uh, or not solve those challenges that have been in front of them and lead us into a universe that might look a little bit different than the one that we have come to know as vast. Um, the way that they've been able to do this is uh, a testament to them. And so for once, I'd like to thank the players uh, rather than constantly thanking the fans. I love you guys, but I also love my players. So oh, thank yeah. you guys. You're all amazing. Uh, this has been an amazing season. And uh, if all of your characters die tonight, uh, they've lived full and healthy lives. Uh, so um, with, that, with that in mind, uh, I do want to talk about what happens next. Uh, so we'll start here. There's going to be a second season of Vast. I'd like to thank Alpha for their uh, continued support of the show, um, and uh, I'd like to thank you, the fans, for continuing to watch the show and uh, for keeping us on the air. It is your uh, passion and your drive uh, and your art and your music and your cocktails uh, that make us... Uh, and pizzas that keep your show, uh, or keep this show uh, uh, not just ours, but yours. So thank you. Um, there will be a second season. Season two of Vast is going to start in about five weeks uh, in the intervening time. Uh, and that is, by the way, to give our writers time to write. Because as I said, I don't know what happens after this game. So if there even is a Puck Up Peace Keep uh, after all of this, uh, then, you know, I can start writing. Like, we, there's a, there, I got a lot of questions. And I don't know what it's going to look like after tonight. Um, at this point, uh, as soon as this is done, I'm going to start writing season two. Uh, that's going to start working with the writer's room as well as some new writers who we're bringing in uh, to bring some more uh, voice and and uh, ideas to our world. So I'm really excited for that. That starts on Saturday. Um, I'll be posting some stuff on social for those of you who how the writer's room works, because we've had some questions about that. Um, that way, in about five weeks, we'll be able to start Vast season two. But wait, Jackson, I don't want to wait five weeks for Vast. What are you going to do every Monday? Aren't you going to go crazy? Yes, I would go crazy. So <laughs> going to do something else. Um, I am going to hold, hold the door for the writers. Yeah, that's a bad, I'm not gonna make it out of this. Uh, I am going to, um, I'm gonna hold this up for the writers so that this, in, in terms of forward narrative so that they have time to write. In the intervening weeks, uh, we're gonna take a week off next week so that we can all take a breath. And then starting uh, two weeks from tonight, we will be presenting Tales from Vast. Uh, Tales from Vast is a uh, series of one-offs. I am going to, um, Early on in the week, uh, I'm going to solicit ideas from the fan base, uh, ideas and places and things and characters that you've wanted to see more of. Uh, do you want to know more about the backstory of an individual character? Would you like to know about what happens when this character and this character go off on a little like side mission together? You pitch me some cool ideas, uh, and I'm going to pick some stuff uh, each week that I think would make for an exciting episode, and I'm going to do it. That next week, live, uh, after about a week of being able to work on it. It's gonna be really fun. We're gonna sort of do smaller games. It won't be five people, probably won't be 10 people. It'll probably be closer to like two or three person games. Uh, we'll be able to get a little bit more intimate and a little bit more interesting and uh, sit around the continuity a little bit. So for those of you who are eager to jump into like other little side areas of Vast, Tales from Vast should give you a great uh, idea of how to start there. Shout out to Isaiah Sampson, one of our writers. Uh, this was all his idea. I had no idea what I was gonna do with my five week break. And Isaiah came to me with this idea pretty much fully formed and I loved it. Uh, so thanks Isaiah for saving my butt. Uh, we're gonna do a really cool uh, thing for the next few weeks. So again, that's season two, coming in about five weeks. Spread the word, let people know, gonna be fun. We'll see if any of these characters are left. In the meantime, there's gonna be tales from Vast uh, where you'll get a whole bunch of new stories. And uh, with that said, I think it's time to get started on what is easily the most um, high wire episode I've ever done because very little of this is up to me. Uh, we have 10 players with full agency who are about to take on the challenges of the universe and uh, we'll see if they decide to kill each other or uh, 
solve the problem. This is vast. Earth is gone. All of our homeworlds are. Swept away by the dark force known as the Slate. Saved by the ancient Paka and given new worlds, we are now the Peacekeeper. We search for justice, truth, equality, and meaning. And ensure that none will ever have to suffer as we did. Our aim is truth. Our power is great. But the galaxy is vast. We are the brightest eye, a proud and noble species of survivors. We alone have stood against the slate. We alone are favored by the gods. For centuries, we have known only isolation, but a new day has dawned. Our people are imperiled, and we will stop at nothing to survive. This galaxy is dangerous, but our fury is vast. Oh, hey, welcome back! Woo! Woo! Mm. Yes. Fast. Oh. Uh, maybe we'll save, yeah. save the universe. Maybe we'll save the universe. I am uh, I'm jazzed to see all of you here. Thank you for coming in after uh, today's amazing alpha event at the Magic Castle. It was Woo! amazing. Yeah, it was amazing. So much magic. We had, so crazy, much. Uh, we had a crazy fun time. We uh, got to meet some of our fans. Uh, we uh, yay, yay to Natalie, who came all the way out here from. Uh, yeah. 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 She's right here. She's right here. Um, it, like it's it's just been an amazing uh, time being able to really uh, engage with the people who love the show and also just share some really weird, intense, crazy magic events with uh, all of our friends. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it's like no more magic. No, no more magic. magic. My brain can't I, handle it. I can't deal. Jeff, yeah, it, I we, honestly, early on, Jeff was like, <laughs> "What?" Like, at, like simple, like <laughs> like coin tricks. And so the, by the simple time the close-up no, magic, nothing was simple, nothing was simple there. there. Like, nothing well, was simple. Like while we were having brunch, yeah. like the wandering magician, and he was just like, what? Yeah, that was, was insane. Was was by was the time, by the time we got Jeff into the seance, I was pretty sure his head was going to Yeah. <laughs> um, the seance luckily it calmed me down, though. I know, right? It was kind of chill. Yeah, it was yeah. chill. Yeah, it was good. It was pretty chill. Um, the seance goes chill. Yeah, so, uh... You have a lot of experience with them, do you? I don't, no, I don't, no, I just don't. A lot of experience with seances. Yeah, sure, why not? I, he so says, he sees uh, Jeff sees dead people. Yeah, yeah. yeah. ghosts are like, go um, <laughs> I, so I want to tell you guys my favorite story from the Magic Castle today, because it was uh, it's vast relevant. Um, so we were we went down to the tarot card reading, and it was uh, uh, me and Max and, uh, and Anne, uh, the writer, and uh, uh, Zoe, our friend, and a few other people. We all went down. We're hanging out and we're waiting for a tarot card reading uh, to get done. And first off, there was an awesome, vast fan getting his tarot cards read who finished off by walking up to us and being like, the eyes shine bright. And I was like, yeah. that's pretty cool. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, Mark, I think it was. High five. Um, but then uh, I'm, I'm sort of, we're just sitting there waiting and, and Max, go, Max looks at me and he's like, stressed out about tonight, man. Stressed out about tonight. I was like, what? He's like, I just, I don't know what I'm going to do. Like, I, just, Visionary's got so many things she could do. I don't know. I said you should get her a reading. Wait, she? Yeah, she. Yeah. Like, yeah. She, queen. I was like, yeah. I was like, I was like, I was like, will you get her? We get her a reading. And he goes, oh yeah. I was kind of joking, but then Max like took me up on it. He went up and he cut the cards and he thought about Visionary Destroyer on the deck, and they lay out the cards, and like, it's like if I'd gotten into a tarot card deck and like rigged it to be like awesome for Visionary Destroyer, <laughs> I couldn't have picked better cards. The center card was the Empress. What? Uh, yep. A I got the Emperor, by the way, uh, as my top card. Wow. You got the Empress as Solid. your center card. The, the Empress a sign of fertility. Yes. Yes. Oh. She actually warned oh Max about fertility. Not yeah. really. Like, the tarot card reader I had mean, no idea that this is what was happening. Like, yeah. she just thought she was reading Max. But we were like, no, she's reading Biz. Uh, so, so... Empress was the middle, uh, was the center card with uh, a cross card over it uh, for uh, your greatest wish, um, like which is a really hilarious because the idea of turning Visionary Destroyer into a queen was something Max had apparently been wishing for since the beginning of the game and had not told yep. me. So when we left that door open and he took it, I was shocked. But apparently he's been set up for that for oh, yeah. Yeah, weeks, forever. A lot of months. Knew about that. Um, yeah. So there was that. But on top of that, tonight you know we have some opportunities to uh, to see if if uh, Viz has a new wish. Uh, the the Above that was, uh, like, your future card was the star. Yeah. Your past card was the ace of swords, which was all about you, like, doing whatever you need to, like, get your way. Yeah. 
Uh, you had a card about how fast things happen when you decide to make things happen. Yep. Like it was, it was amazing. It was this, it was this thing where we're sitting there being like, yeah, you, you got it. And then their last thing was like, you have to let go of the past. All of the past that wants to turn its back on you, you have to turn your back on it. Wow. Like the past is a thing that is a barrier between oh, you and growth. Cool. You need to be reborn. Also watch out for babies. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I was like, it really, it really set the stage for me tonight. Uh, so I'm, um, so in, in, in honor of that, uh, I'm calling this episode Ace of Swords. Uh, it may not come oh. up, it may not come up in any way, shape or form tonight, but I, I liked that so much that I'm just going to run with it. See, I, I think I like that. One sword through someone. I yeah. thought this yeah. episode was going to so. be called The Consequences make it come since up. the last episode right. was called The Truth. That would be really, really good, but also like kind of riffing on Doctor Who a little harder than I'm willing to right now. Puppy too. Yeah, true. Yeah. Screw, screw those shows. I don't like those. <laughs> I'm leaving. Uh, <laughs> by the way, right. the, the piano player at the Magic Castle, uh, no problem. If you're just like, if you're just like, hey, Buffy theme, like, no, the yeah. ghost, nail it. no doubt in my mind. The ghost, mind. The ghost piano mind. player Mine was a theme of Days of Thunder, and they didn't get it. Uh, they wouldn't play uh, Hamilton. No. They yeah. Hamilton. Uh, we said Hamilton. Yeah. And, and one of the best movies of all time. Piano, like, I remember being. She nice. has a classic. Whoa. Yeah. Well, maybe yeah. she's a little. Uh, yeah. uh, Quite a bit, and they were not having it. <laughs> wow! I, I only, I, the only bit I saw was just walking in on on everybody uh, waltzing to Hallelujah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. She played the Buffy theme. She played the Firefly theme. Wow. She played the Ducktales oh, wow. theme. Yeah. She played the Rescue Ducktales. Rangers theme. Nice. I, well, I was there for Rescue Rangers. Because you walked over to me, I was like, what song is Jody singing? And then she was like, chip and down. I was like, oh, I'm here. Uh, I know Let's that. do this. I did give her one test that she did not pass. What's that? Because they were like, she's super nerdy. Like, test her. And I was like, okay, uh, the moon theme from the DuckTales NES game. Oh, wow. And she was what, like, what an like, asshole, yeah, that stupid there was computer. Like a, there was like a <laughs> piano that note stupid good voice. challenge. Who the fuck are you? That's the piano <laughs> note. <laughs> What? what? My actual best moment with the ghost who played piano had to be Natalie. Because uh, Natalie oh, yeah. went up and made a request of Irma. She requested Heartbreak Hotel. Oh, oh my oh, god. Oh. Yeah. Wait, what I happened? Not there for that. I did it for uh, That's wait. awesome. Oh, amazing. Uh, now I'm not wasn't there. That's amazing. Yeah. 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 I missed it. Great. Oh, it wasn't that wait great. Wait a minute, Dylan's leg. Sorry. Dylan, did you sing? Did you sing wrong? Yeah, we weren't there. Nope, sorry. Full we blown great. Oh, we're going full back. Blown great. Cancel fast. No, Stay tuned for more opportunity. Oh, um, so hopefully we will be somewhere near you someday. Sorry. That's Yay. Time this I think yeah. Hallelujah was the moment. Um, so uh, a couple of little notes before we get started, because uh, we should get started, because yep. we're Thousand a half hour game. in and we haven't started this insane game yet. Oh. Um, Do it. Couple of, uh, couple of little uh, housekeeping notes. Uh, our characters have spent some XP that you will not see on the uh, boards. This happens generally, but uh, tonight it happened relatively significantly. So occasionally I might call out merits that aren't you don't see on your HUD. Apologize, that's just the case. Um, we are gonna be working to like make some upgrades to the HUD, by the way, so look forward Ooh, to that. Um, yeah. Also, uh, I know. The, we, are, uh, we are a little bit uh, tech difficulty tonight on the music side, so we're gonna work without our lovely music partner at uh, Sirenscape. Uh, for at least the first half of the show. Uh, so if anybody here wants to make dum, 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 I have coconuts. kind of sounds, feel free to like make mouth music for the rest of the game. It'll help me and your coconuts. fellow fans <laughs> stay in it. Mm -hmm. um, okay, uh, guys, so. Did you switch the key? Thank you. Thank you. Key of C. Modulate, modulate. Oh, no. Smaller yeah. coconuts. Yeah. Sibilance, <laughs> sibilance. Um, all right, so with that said, we're going to start this game. Yay! No tomorrow. All right. No tomorrow. Yeah, I mean, there's a giant chip on top of us. We, we have to here. blow it up. No, no tomorrow except for season two, which is technically tomorrow. But. Uh, you know, whatever, you know. Yeah. Okay, so. Hey, Captain. Uh, Captain. Captain. Before we begin, let's run it down really fast. Each player, your character name, uh, who you are, and... Uh, <laughs> who am I? Let's just leave it at that for now. I'm not cool. gonna. You told your stories last time. Yeah. Uh, okay, let's just run it straight down the line. I'm Dylan Duval. I play Noble Defender, pilot, mysterious past. Go. I'm Gina Devivo. I play Luvin Yikjal Moore, uh, first officer. We'll see if we survive. <laughs> I'm Amy Dallin. I play Captain Lucy Bard, uh, formerly of the Paca Peacekeep, and currently in a bit of a crisis. <laughs> 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 
Uh, I'm Jeff Torres. I play uh, Reiki Chao Moore, and I am a pilot also. And, uh, you know, I'm just kind of a loose cannon. You don't know what I'm going to do. Whoa. That's so true. Whoa. <laughs> hey, wow. Uh, I'm Amanda Powers. I play Fractal Bright, and I am really pissed at the Pack Ha right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And confused. And confused, but that's just general. <laughs> My name's Jonathan Cowan, and tonight I play Infinite Seeker, making his triumphant return from the dead. No, 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 no that's not, that's not true. I, play, I wish. I play Hans Arald Nirun, a uh, science operative aboard the Screaming Valor, uh, and uh, Tall Klee. Uh, my name is Ray Utarniachet. I play Night Are the Mind. I don't like fighting because I am basically just a uh, brain in a jar. Uh, I'm Max Isaacson. I play Visionary Destroyer. I want to ball my dad and kill my gods. It's <laughs> 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 so casual you say that. I am Jody Hauser. I play Taka the Limb, a technical officer. I like shooting stuff. <laughs> uh, and I am Colin Kelly. I am This Might Be a Good Idea, and I am generally confused and have literally no idea how this is going to play out. <laughs> Yay! Yay! Uh, so he's the everyman. Exciting times. I'm sad that you're the most important thing happening. <laughs> Con confidence. confidence. Okay, you guys. So, without any music to start us off, I'm just gonna ask for like a, it's like if, if I can just get like a hum. There we go. Nice, I love it. Welcome to Vast. This is episode 13, the finale of season one, entitled Ace of Swords. So, we're gonna start with you, Taka. Up on the, uh, down in the uh, uh, engineering of the uh, Screaming Valor, the Brightest Eye Vessel, up above the Brightest Eye Vessel and the Paka Vessel are under attack by the uh, Paka Vessel Ashland, uh, who has declared all of them under arrest and has uh, declared the immediate uh, uh, seizure of good idea as an asset. However, you are unconcerned with these elements because I, a remnant- I don't know about them. Exactly, because a remnant of the previous battle is still happening. Yep. There is a group of some 20 brightest eye warriors oh, in the and in the engineering uh, uh, of the uh, of the vessel. They've been kind of tearing stuff up, uh, and by stuff I mean limbs, uh, up down there. Uh, you have been sent down with, uh, as I recall, some of the bountiful and thriving, uh, as well as uh, your own self. Do you also bring limbs? Yes. Okay, so we're gonna have uh, a Security group. Security force. Yep, so we're gonna have a group of all three. Uh, I'm gonna say you have five limbs with you. You have, how many of your Bountiful and Thriving do you wanna um, task to this? Uh, I think like four were sent with good idea. Okay. So well, those would have already his... been there then. So yeah. they're already there. Yeah, they're but you don't wanna task any further. They were already there. Uh, oh, tasking more? I'm just asking. Mm. Uh, send another four. Okay, great. And to it's come. gonna be a bloodbath. Cool. Uh, <laughs> Good. Well, fun, let's fun let's see. Um, you are running through the uh, the corridors down. The screams getting louder and louder as you make your way closer. Uh, the uh, lights on there, the vessel have started to flicker. Were there the Siren engineers who were also there? Yes. Are they alive at all? I don't know. You want to open the door and find out? Uh, <laughs> oh, I don't want to. I want someone else to. Uh, okay. So I'm you having want... someone more expendable do that. <laughs> oh. All right. Uh, uh, look, I, ha I have someone I'm trying to protect. So, I, yeah. I'm, I may be in that room right now. No, I, I think I know you're not there. Um, one of the, uh, uh, one of the uh, limb with you uh, steps forward. Uh, you are shocked to realize it's Stan. Two ends. Stan, yes, Stan with two ends. Uh, he steps forward to the uh, to the door um, and looks back at you. Breach. Yes. And he hits the door, and the uh, as the door opens, a cloud of smoke pushes out uh, into uh, <laughs> into the area, concealing your vision or like obscuring your vision. Uh, you are uh, you can see from beyond. Uh, sort of flashes, a, you know, lights, some strange howls and screams from in there, but you can't actually see what's going on inside. Uh, I calmly, I assume I can't really communicate with the Bountiful and Thriving because I don't have the... That is thing. correct. Um, so I'm going to say to the other limb, shoot anything with a concordance. Damn. They, uh, they all lock and load. Uh, okay, do you want to head in? Uh... <laughs> 
Or do you want them to head in? I want them to head <laughs> Okay. Uh, so your limb team heads in. Uh, the Bountiful and Thriving, uh, there are already four in there. The other four follow the limbs. Mm -hmm. Give me a second to roll this. Oof. Okay. I really want to do sound effects right into this microphone. Feel free, man. Feel free. Um, all right. The, uh, the door, uh, so the, you, you watch them all move through the door, staying in the corridor yourself. Uh, as you do, you hear, you basically see the, uh, a bunch of them run in and the first thing that happens to most of them is they are snatched into the darkness. Whoa. Excuse me. Um, it is a, it's, it's like, they're just pulled in. Whoa, whoa, it's horrible. Oh. Well, um, scream? The, whoa. yeah, whoa. Uh, the Bountiful and Thriving, uh, however, push a little bit harder and actually make it uh, deeper into the thing, and you can hear from inside the sound of conflict. Uh, I have comms to the bridge, right? Mm -hmm. Captain, we might want to vent engineering. <laughs> Uh, Is the captain still on the? No, Lucy Bard shut down the comms channel. Well, but internal. Yeah, yeah, you're no, you're not on, you're not on comms together. This is yeah, yeah, internal oh, yeah. ship comms are fine. Yeah. Are you insane? The heretics down there. Good ideas down there. No good ideas on the bridge. He's on the oh, bridge. Oh right, no. Oh, we got him back. Oh yeah. Mm. <laughs> um, well, okay. you're not gonna hear me complain if you can lock it down without any <laughs> bountiful driving in there. Kill everything in there. Uh, the bountiful and thriving are in there. Kill everything in there. You can make more. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Tell me they're nidars. Uh, they are not nidars. Damn. Uh, Did we previously talk about whether Brightest okay. Eye can survive in vacuum? Uh, Brightest Eye cannot survive in vacuum for long. They can survive longer than most species. I mean, you know, the interesting thing is. But I they mean, breathe oxygen. How many? How many bountiful and thriving do we have down there? You have eight. 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 I mean, out of thirty. I have a. We have a five. Teleport capacity on our teleporter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, great. Hans, start um, locking on to our people. Um, yeah, <laughs> vent it. Shut it down. Hans, vent engineering. Start teleporting our people back in. Damn. Okay. And give me one brightest eye. Keep it alive. Get it to med bay and get it knocked out. Keep it to med bay? I have a use for that concordance. <laughs> do you want me to go in or do you want me to come back to the bridge no stay out there make sure nothing gets back in and come back to the bridge all right okay so hans this is a teleport roll for 25 uh yep plus cold hard logic correct great because science rules because science rules. science rules go to your science march kids Oh, man. Uh, so you're like your limbs are still in the five, hallway with you. Six. Or no, uh, the limbs went in. Seven. Yeah, you, how do you <laughs> sort? Including Stan. Yeah, oh, Stan with two ends. Yeah, Stan yeah. with two ends. He was uh, the first guy in. Ones, oh, oh shit. Yeah. Yeah. Three, yeah. Ones, yeah. Ones, yeah. three ones. Uh, oh. five, he has some kind of mysterious relationship seven, with you that we do nine, not understand. Uh, oh, that so is that's correct. Plus seven. No, it's plus seven. Oh, you're right. It's four ones. Uh, so that's uh, 18 plus six is 24. Nice. Oh, wow. Yeah. Uh, you want to cold hard logic that while you're in? Uh, that, the, yeah, no, that, that was, that's with that it. was logic as hell. Uh, okay. Uh, you wanted to pull four bountiful and one brightest eye out? Yeah. You've got them. Great. I mean, with the with given how high that roll is, can we can get we go again? Else? No, you have a buffer of five. Okay. Like they, I I I, I can can't you, I, I, can I can't thought, break the actual had, technological had buffer of your thing. But what I can say is. The, that was a very hard roll to check just because of like the fact that engineering's already screwed and these guys don't want to be teleported. Like a lot of things going on here. The fact that you got all five of them completely unharmed and uh, here's what I'll say. You've incapacitated the brightest eye. So you Great. guys aren't dealing with like a live angry brightest eye wherever you tra teleported Sweet. it. Where do you want it transported? Uh, you said Med, med Bay, Bay or right? The oh. We have a brig. Right, we have a brig. Uh, we were there one <laughs> time. Right. 
Um, the brig. Yeah, you were locked in. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna yeah. have to operate on it later, but I'd rather keep. I mean, okay. honestly, I think when I showed up, you had a brig and no med bay. Like, I think I had to convert <laughs> something. You were like, <laughs> what is probably this? Pretty so likely yeah. true. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah the brig. We, 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 we just live. There would be no need for yeah, that. exactly. Let them die. You're like, we have a med bay. It's called the airlock. The brig. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Check in the brig. Keep it sedate. Uh, we'll get to it later. Great. Okay, awesome. Uh, so you uh, you retrieve that. As you do, down on the ground, um, through that door, <laughs> throws one massive brightest eye, running like out of the door towards you, sort of screaming as it does. Uh, it is It clocks you with its, you know, eyes, and immediately starts to like, you know, run at you. Yeah, I'm gonna shoot cool. it four times. You are now in <laughs> combat with the brightest eye. Yeah. Yeah. Um, oh. All right, so uh, go ahead and roll your initiative, <laughs> Jody. <laughs> Beat a five. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs> Getting a little bit of that music going on. <laughs> I did not beat a five. Okay. That, so, um, you are going to take first defense. Okay. That's a nice way of putting it. First defense. Yeah, that is a nice way of putting it. Yeah. Against a brightest eye. All they can do is rip off two or three of your arms. <laughs> Hans can give you new ones. Stop helping! Hans can give you new ones. Uh, your defense sure. is three. Yes? Uh, is three. Yep. yep. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, it adds your athletics to your dodge, so Wait, six. No, seven. Armor becomes nope. 16. Ooh, That's impossible. I don't have an armor of six. What are you looking at? It's your defense plus your athletic dodge, so seven. Yeah. It can't be right. Armor is seven for damage. Yeah. Her armor is 16. That's not right. Uh, one? I think it's six. Okay. You take three damage uh, The as it sort of swipes a claw at you. Do you want to willpower that well, or help it? Well, the suit soaks too, right? Uh, correct. Yes. So that's just one damage? Yes. That's fine. I'll take that. Okay. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, it, you are now you are now facing this guy down. Uh, I'm gonna shoot it a whole bunch of times. Okay. Uh, yeah, you are. First with the paka, which uh, gun, which is I believe a 17 for aiming. Ooh. You have a. Jeez. Hold on. It's pretty solid. Guy, we need some metal music right now. Do we have? It was uh, fourteen. Yes, yes, seventeen. My throat is not built for this. <laughs> I am not metal. Cat guitar? I think I, like I just it. sang the Batman Beyond theme song. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a good theme song. Huh. Pretty sure that's pretty good, dude. No, you sang something similar to the thing from it. Yeah! You yeah. yeah. did. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know who was it. Whoever did, yes, that's exactly what it did. Good lord. Uh, four? Okay. Ow. I love that and beyond. <laughs> Sorry, you got you three more right? You sang the board out there. Uh, board your first, uh, your first shot goes wild. I want to play Terry. Uh, I'm gonna um. uh, gunslinger it with the scatter beams. Okay. So. <laughs> Which is how many more dice just came I'm introducing, by the way, this is just for, for the sake of um, sort of leveling out our combat system a little bit. I am gonna be introducing a, a sort of uh, oh, that's good one. a check against this idea that you can like fire as many times as you want with penalties. The way I'm going to do this is that you can fire as many times as you want with penalties as long as you are successful in the fire. Do you mm. know what I'm saying? Oh. Yeah. So like, if, if you're nice. unsuccessful in a check, then you can't get a follow-up shot. But if okay. you get a shot, Solid. you continue following up cool. with your oh, Wow. I like, okay. that. I like that. I like that. It's way oh, sweet. Just keep shooting. Just keep shooting. I can't shooting. wait for that fan art, dude. Of someone getting like nine in a row. <laughs> <laughs> That's a cause trying. I mean, do it. But she's got to get this one. <laughs> but like limited oh, by God. the number of arms yeah. you had. Or... Yes. I mean, it's, well, it's limited by a few different things in your cheat. Right. But, right. And obviously you're getting penalties to this stuff yeah. as well. If you have ambidextrous, no penalty. Right? Uh, yes. eight, eight well, no, no penalty to offhand, but there's a penalty to multiple attacks. Oh, you're right. Eight yeah. for the mm. second shot. Darn it. Hit! Nice. Yeah. Um, so that is going to hit with. Uh, that's a scatter beam. A scatter pistol? Yes, that's uh, damage of four. Okay. Um, it absorbs all but two of that damage and roars at you as it does. I'm gonna keep shooting at it. Okay, go for it. Uh, so you, can only, you can only keep firing with the um, with that pistol that you just hit with. Sure. So go ahead and keep rolling. Um, but you're you're taking a dice out for each yep. round. 
I think the dice should just be one. It should be like one, two, and then three. Beat a nine. One, two. That would make more sense. Mm. Six. Like you should be like a, a progressive. Oh how many dice are you gonna take away for each extra shot? Uh, no, I only one. got a seven. Okay. So that other shot again goes wide, um, or uh, yeah, 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 the first one hits it and kind of absorbs, and then as it runs at you, you try and shoot, but you end up just hitting the ceiling. Uh, Roy, go ahead and roll defense. Which was the seven, correct? Yes. Wow. Come on, guys. Wow. Look at this. Look at this. Three. Four. I don't think. Do crits count for defense? What was that? Crits count for defense? Crits do count. Yes. Okay, crits, crits count on everything except for initiative. Okay, four. Four? Yes. Okay, it's a hit. Uh, the. Hit. He hits you for 10 damage. Jeez. Oh, wow. Damn. Wow. He's essentially, uh, he's coming down with his jaws now. Oh, trying to like oh, actually oh, like, dude, bite at you rush and jaw consume attack, man. you. Uh, your, suit in, uh, your suit takes two of that, uh, meaning that you are now being hit for eight damage. Holy Ooh, shit. Would that like kill you? Uh, <laughs> not Ooh, can we come down? And... Uh, well, <laughs> I might, I might hit comms and be like, help. Yeah. Okay, Understood, so but, but. Yeah, another, um, another... I'm gonna soak two of that with willpower. Okay, so soaking with, six. soaking how much with will? Uh, two. Okay. So that'll be uh, six then for health. Correct? Okay, cool. Okay. So it seems like we're maybe due for another transport roll. Up to you. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. Okay. I mean, she needs to communicate that to you guys. I like, said you, you help. Are psychic. I'm, I'm not saying I'm <laughs> yeah, psychic. I'm saying uh, that, you know. Time-wise, I can do another Here's transport. Role, right? Absolutely, it was just yeah. she, you, you hadn't coordinated that you were going to be transporting her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Saying. No, I'm not transporting her. Oh, you're trying to transport more of the. Yeah. Right. Well, I mean, also, I said help. help. So, like, if I did, yeah, okay. So also she said help. help. Like, uh, um, I'm going to transport four more of the bountiful and thriving up to the bridge. Okay. And I'm going to transport the uh, brightest eye that she is in combat with out into space. I recognize that that's a very hard roll. Very yes. Those life signs are entangled, but yes. we're doing a pretty uh, good job right now. Hmm. Don't, if you say no, Don't I worry about it. it. Just transport that thing out. Oh. Those bountiful and thriving can die. <laughs> okay, to make sure. Roll yeah, easier. all right. I'm just yeah, trying just to target this one. I mean, does it make it, would okay, it make cool. it any easier for us? He can focus, if he focuses on just one life sign, is it easier for him? Yes. Great, do it. Sweet. I am fine your, your with that. Your new has to be like brutal triage. <laughs> <laughs> and nope, not necessary. <laughs> Visionary <Fine>. pragmatist. Visionary <laughs> pragmatist. <laughs> this episode is called Brutal Triage. Right? Not a good boss. <laughs> very good boss. A very good boss. Just a very mercenary boss? Yeah. <laughs> That's That's like good. Boss? You're good. Yeah. Um, um, so as it HR. as it begins HR. to eat you, oh it disappears, um, leaving, however, a giant chunk of your leg essentially like in its mouth. Oh. So, oh. It, so when it transports away, you, it transports away with. Oh, you know what? No, I'm not going to hobble you. Um, let's have it be your arm. Uh, it That's transports. So a, it transports away with one of your arms. Oh. oh. I'm not shooting with like yes. a lower arm. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Fine. Um, so it, <laughs> and, and, and it is in space. Uh, wow. Barry, am I still the member of the crew you are least fond of? <laughs> oh, wow. That's a, I that's like a... you better now. <laughs> uh, from the, Very logical surmisal. From the, uh, uh, from the still open door to the smoky, crazy engineering, you hear Stan screaming, Chaka! We need you! Help us! <laughs> oh, oh, yes. oh, wow. Yes. Brutal. I mean, I can just activate the... Like the, the vacuum, if you want, right? I can just vent that shit from here. We just kill them all. Uh, I mean, I leave it to Taka. I'm not down there. This isn't my call. Uh, I want to at least like look through the doorway and see what's going on and see the situation before I get back to them and yeah. give them advice. Okay, He's perception check. Secure. That's what I want to know. Like, okay. uh, like, yeah. Go ahead and you, do, go ahead and do a perception yeah. listen because uh, there's almost no visual information. So 14. Wow. 14. Reach out with your feelings to call. <laughs> <laughs> like we're, we're, I'm, I'm playing do. music right now. Doom, doom, doom. Guys, I feel like I'm getting so much pressure here. Show me what you've got. Show me what you've got. 
I want to see what you got. Uh, seven. <laughs> it's a Rick and Morty thing. Yeah, Rick okay. and Morty. What's up? Guys. Seven. <laughs> okay. Dan, we That's made these Uh no. The room is a bloodbath. <laughs> um, you uh, you reach in and see that the life signs are all entangled into battle. The brightest eye uh, soldiers are. Uh, eating what remains of most of the limb and Siren engineers uh, who were previously oh on this God. vessel. Uh, the uh, the bountiful and thriving uh, that remain here, that being the four of them that remain, um, are still in combat. They have themselves killed three of the Brightest Eye uh, people, leaving six left in the space. No, five left in the space. Uh, and those ones are the ones who are still feasting. Uh, Stan, wow. meanwhile, is pretty close to the door. He's like crawling back towards it. His um, like legs are covered in injuries. He's tr streaking blood behind him, Oof. but he's trying to make it to the door to you. Stan the man. You can, you can listen to his fear. His fear is audible. <laughs> Open the door. Taka, I need a status report. What are we doing? One moment! <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna try to just yeah. grab him if I can and pull him out into the corridor. Okay. Oh god, it's an uh, athletic check. Oh god. He's the only important she just one. She trips. She know. falls on top of him. <laughs> <laughs> Screw the rest. So this is a. But there's no tree here. Yeah, so there's no tree. This, is, this is an there's athletic no check. Oh. Twelve. <laughs> oh man, please. Yeah. Oh wait, no. Hold on. Fourteen. Okay, your fast reflexes should Kirk kick was. into your mm -hmm. athletics. <laughs> Scotty, who's there? Red Chef's captain. Oh, let me go. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind, they don't matter. <laughs> uh, captain, we only have five crew. We are the future to car, not them. <laughs> they no longer matter. <laughs> Eight. Oh, uh, nine. You grab him. Uh, you grab him, pull him forward, and close the door behind. The engineering is de uh, deck is now sealed. Vent it. Vent it. Whoa. <laughs> Acknowledged. Uh, go ahead and uh, do this. This is a computer engineering roll. Haunt for 23. It's an 11. Okay. <laughs> the, uh, the engineering deck uh, seals and... <sighs> throws uh, all living beings out of it. Uh, some pieces of the ship also fly out, uh, that being uh, natural when the ship's been being torn apart, but you are free of all of those uh, pesky brightest eye, free of four remaining uh, bountiful and thriving, and uh, a good deal of your Siren uh, support staff. <laughs> <laughs> uh, as well as a few limbs, Stan looks up at you, and in uh, the native language of your planet, um, and the sort of ancient native language of your planet, that which we heard spoken in the last game, uh, he looks up to you, and uh, as he's sort of about to pass out, he just says, Perhaps we will still live to see Limworld one last time. And he like reaches up to your face. And then he passes out. Mm. Uh, can, can I, I can, can I call like a couple other limbs who didn't just get vented into space to take him to medbay? Sure. I'm gonna do that and head to the bridge because I do, feel like there's. Do 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 you wait there for them or do you leave him there? Leave <laughs> <laughs> uh, Would he survive for them to show? Up? Yeah. He's fine. No okay, yeah, then I'm leaving him there. <laughs> oh my god, that's amazing. What? You'll be you'll be fine, Stan. Who knows? To go I might just. I might just do like a sort of gentle touch with one of my so three remaining arms and then book it. Well, there's, there's shit going on, man. Coming, I gotta, this is a limb. Like, yeah, she I also needs medical attention. She's yeah. seriously I don't care in right now. The limb, you they don't make it. first. All right. Um, so, on the I love my crew. And with that, you uh, run heading back up to the bridge. <laughs> Meanwhile, on the Avalon, Noble, so you wake up. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. oh, that's what those documents are about. Oh. <laughs> uh, the uh, the mm. messages uh, previously discovered by Bard and uh, uh, and Fractal uh, continue to uh, play out in your mind as well. You have a general understanding of uh, the the truth behind them, so you don't really need to be like brought up to right. speed. Got it. Oh, uh, but you know the truth. The Pakha were uh, responsible for the slate. Mm -hmm. uh, Pakha itself or themselves or himself is actually a, a single being that has uh, multiplied itself uh, countlessly in order to uh, 
create the Paka Peacekeep, right. uh, which is an, in and of itself a way for it to clean up its mess uh, that it created by creating the slate. Hmm. Uh, the uh, the only other person with you in Med Bay uh, at this point is the um, is the nurse, Nurse Pawaka Azokotal, uh, who immediately notices uh, and sort of like like comes over to you very very rapidly. Human, are you okay? What? Please lie back. I need to get your vital signs. Oh no, no, vital signs not good, not good, mm -mm, not gonna happen. Uh, oh, I think that's a good idea. Yeah, that's a good idea. Do that again. Mm, okay. Gonna... He starts to scan you. You seem to be in good health. Can you? How many fingers am I holding up? Six. How many fingers am I holding up? Oh, enough. Uh, uh, I'm going to need to put you into some manner of observation. Uh, uh, okay. Captain. Nurse? I know we are in the middle of a bit of a situation. However, I must inform you that the human noble defender has awoken from his no slumber. Time. Oh, fantastic. Uh, uh, did, has the Ashland hailed us? Yes. Well, no, the, the Ashland sent you a message. It okay. didn't, like, straight We're up hail you. It gave, no. Um... Can I go down there? Oh, that's Possibly. not good. That's not good. Like <clears throat> Yeah. Um, go down, make sure he's okay. All right. Okay. Are they firing on us? Not yet. Okay. Uh, fra they're still moving into firing position. Fractal, you One, head down? Two, yeah. Cool. Three, you, uh, four, five, six, you doing this on foot? Seven, eight. Roll speed. None. Uh, Ten. Captain? I don't know about anything they did with the concordance, right? It's a uh, 13. No. What was that? I wouldn't know about anything they did with the concordance, right? By they I don't know to check that he's okay. Oh, yeah, 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 no. All right, never no. mind. Um, what you do know, just to remind, because it actually hasn't come up for many, many games, yeah. is you have a device on board your ship mm. uh, that it's called, uh, it was called Project Discord. It was mm. built by Syrah and Good Idea back in like early in the games yeah. uh, to uh, work as an anti concordance weapon oh, uh, yeah. for the brightest yeah. eye. That's right. Uh, wow. you're, you're, Did shit. everybody forget that? Yeah. <laughs> we built uh, it. Weapon to fight the brightest stack. Yeah, yeah they your, built yeah. It your ship is still game, stacked yeah. with that thing. I totally Do I? forgot. We yeah. were gonna totally activate it. When we, it's, it's, oh, it's on. Shit. It's on the ship sheet. Just as a reminder. So, what was your? Eight. Cool. Uh, it'll take you a turn to get down there, and then we'll have you down there. Okay. Uh, so, do I know that info too? Because I had a schematic of everything. Yeah. Oh, good to know. All right. Cool. Yeah. Um, so, uh, Captain, they're getting in the firing range. Do you want me to just meanwhile stay on away? the bridge? Stay out of that. The Ashland is moving into position above both of your vessels. Give me scans. Tell me everything. Okay. Uh, Hold a minute. I'm gonna roll your scans. Actually, are you at science? Yeah, or are you... I, I mean technically. Yeah. Great. So then roll. Um, <laughs> I'm all the things. You are the greatest yeah, yeah. improvisational scientist. Roll uh, we have ten. A... Roll ten for me. That's for the oh, scanners God. on the vessel. Can I help her with that or not? Not yet. No, okay, they, this it. is just the scanners on the vessel got to it. see how yeah, well they I'm do. Taking it. Get it. Ooh, yeah. nice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's not amazing. I don't know why you got gas. So oh, pretty you good. Though. Though. You got a ten, yo. Yeah. Five. I have seven. There you go. It's full success. See? Roll twenty-two, please. What? <laughs> I can't count. Bring him, I'm bring him, <laughs> bring him. What, what, what are we rolling? What? I need 22. 22. 22, it's oh. her scanner analysis roll. Uh, well, that was 10 with the red. Yeah. So, and then this is the 11. Total. Four. Are you good or should I ask for the dice bucket? 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. I need two more. Can yeah, can we have some more community dice, please? Here's one. Here we go. One Thank more you. community dice, please. Oh, I don't like that one. I yeah, don't I, I don't like it either, dude. Me either. I never use that one. I want one number on my dice. Sense. Me too. I got feel sent. it. Showing the way oh, to love. Oh, shit. Well, they canceled. Damn, it sucks. But it cancels only one of them. Yeah, yeah. So these no, not there's... counts as just one. Okay. So remember that, there. guys. Just one. Okay. All right. Yeah, each one's one. Yeah, three. Okay, cool. Nice oh, enough. dear. Oh, wow. One, two. Puppeting. It's never going to get old. I know. Being on the bottom half Ooh, of the screen nice. is basically the funniest thing that can possibly happen. Ten. Hey, keep it up. Don't let it fall. Don't let it fall. Uh, you receive uh, a full schematic rundown of the Ashland. Damn, that's nice. Five. The Ashland is, uh, and I, and I can share this with any of you who want to have it on a computer, but it's, it's it's actually relatively similar to the Peacekeep vessel. Um, it just has 
uh, twice as many scatter beams. Uh, Damn. Uh, <laughs> yeah. okay. uh, it has it has twice as many charges. Okay. Uh, it has heavier shields and heavier hull to the degree um, of seven shields and ten hull. Son of a. Yeah, it's just like us. Yeah. yeah it's just like it's, it's, it's just, just way like stronger and better. Twice yes. as we have ten like hull. Good. Awesome we have ten player. hull, but yes. I don't. Um, think also, uh, because the entire ship is staffed with flame. Uh, it has a particularly sort of efficient and prepared crew. Wow. Another thing that you notice is that there are boarding parties that are already getting stacked oh. into uh, essentially like um, little boat pods on the side of the vessel. Nope, uh, not These good. are meant specifically for boarding uh, flame onto your vessels oh, and the, the, these things are already uh, stacking up. There are five mm. flame to a boat. Uh, the captain is known as Captain Kors the Unbound. Uh, he yeah. is a relatively old flame of idea. the uh, sort of pre syrah uh, days uh, and as a result is a little bit less of a um, he's a little bit less open minded maybe than other flame that you've encountered previously. Do we have mm. a tractor beam? You do. Can a tractor beam tow an entire ship? Yes. Uh, there are some limitations, however. Um, the first is a, a matter of like relative mass. So without getting too scientific, <laughs> your vessel only can exert so much mass on like on basically the mass of your vessel, right? Right, okay. Um, plus the amount to which you are boosting the thing, like with your rockets and, and thrusters and things like that. So you could tow a ship at about the same size or smaller than yours, yeah. but say the Ashland would be very hard to- uh, But we can't steal their move. ship and go to crossing speed. That you could definitely try. It's a small. It's 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 a smaller vessel than yours. Is oh, it really? Because they, yeah. they've got yeah. all their welded yeah, I thought, pieces. I yeah, yeah. They, I mean, they're a bigger vessel than they were, but they've always been smaller than you. Mm. Oh shit! Oh, I didn't it's, know that. This got big really firepower. That we That's picked fine. our love so much. I know. Leave them. Let's get <laughs> let, leave them. Let's get out of here. We, I mean, we can't. We need we a good idea. Support. No, just take them. We gotta just beam mm. them. We, uh, you can't. So, is my their shields? Is my concordance working? No. Okay. Um. So. I'm gonna get up from the, the bay. I think I feel I've kind of gotten my bearings. I grab my clothes, which have somehow gotten off my body. As, you're, oh, as, oh, as, no. uh, as you are putting on your shirt, uh, pants already on, Fractal Bright, <laughs> uh, Fractal Bright walks through the door. I mean like through the door. Cool. That's, like, that's some good clarification. Uh, Tiny human, you're awake. Yeah, wait, why, where am I? Oh, okay, med bay, this is what it is. What's going on? Why are you up here? What's, what's, what's going on? <laughs> oh, God, my voice modulation. Oh, that's better. I mean, I what's think, going I think on? you know what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> I think you know what's going on. No, I don't. Oh, you mean right, right now? Up yeah. there. No, what, what's up? What? I'm in a med bay. I, yes. I know you are. Okay. You put the helmet on. I know. And what you saw fucked your brain up. Okay, all right, that makes sense. <laughs> okay, okay, so. I just came down here, because they're all up there busy doing something else to make sure that you were okay and how you were feeling. Well, that's really nice. Well, wait, what's going on upstairs? That is not for me to say. Okay, Fractal, we're gonna go to the bridge right now. Okay? Oh, okay. But before we do Fractal, thank you. You're welcome. You trusted me. And I really do appreciate it. You're welcome, Aaron. We'll talk a oh. too soon. All right, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> so we. <laughs> that's your name. You know that now. But I'm not. That's not my name. Tech, it well, is to me. Well, I'm still working through that. Issues coming soon. Let's go. <laughs> oh, she didn't seem to say that to you. Yeah. <laughs> Before he does that, I yeah. just want to go give him a hug. Okay. <gasps> oh, fractal oh, hug. Uh, it's sad. Hey, 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 yeah, hey Noble. Yeah? Uh, Good uh, roll job. for composure. You would. I know it. Okay. <laughs> Here. All right. How much are you allowed? Uh, yeah, what is let's see. Your composure is a 10. Oh, good. Wow. You are now in conflict with a hug. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right, and then another five. Here we go. Just you are now in combat sense. with your emotional baggage. <laughs> <laughs> the look, look, read and wait. That's, that's real. That's real. You're okay. good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Fudge. <laughs> really? Yeah. Ten out of ten. Well, I mean, I had I had three criticals. Crits. I had three critics. You got it, bro. Okay. So, um, you she you she hugs you. I'm close. glad to know you again. You hold it together. Okay. Good to know you. Fine. Now come on. Let's not. Uh, let's see what's going on. By the way, 
So Paka, and we talk about the whole thing. Okay. <laughs> uh, so up on the way. Yeah, fuck those guys. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'd really like to commit some murder. Nothing but some hand. Yes. Oh yeah. So you, there dogs. you go. So you learn. Yeah, right. You, yeah. So the Paka, they're nothing but hound dogs. Yeah. yeah I want to commit some murder. Yeah. I think you guys are now on the same page. Yeah. Um, All right, let's go. You uh, you step onto the bridge, oh. uh, which itself now is looking out over uh, a. Uh, a wreckage of what was once a battle between what looks like many Brightest Eye vessels. You've, in fact, never seen this much Brightest Eye sort of on Brightest Eye violence ever. Wow. What you do see, however, in the uh, in the center of the screen is a ship that looks very familiar, not only because it looks like the ship you once served aboard, the Screaming Valor, mm -hmm. but also because it's been retrofit with pieces from the Corsair fleet that you guys took down way back in the way back. The whole back of the vessel now is sort of this, like, uh, uh, thorax mm -hmm. uh, yeah. looking thing upon which is locked a whole series of fighters in like a sort of uh, circular motion. Mm -hmm. Some of those fighters are are, uh, are are missing, but some of them are still there. Uh, the most daunting aspect of this, however, is the huge peacekeep vessel. Um, looks a little bit like, again, like the Avalon, but um, uh, larger, less decks, so thinner, and uh, more um, uh, sort of angles off into more of a sort of aggressive point. You also see definitely a lot more weapon space. Okay. Uh, Captain, you are uh, currently uh, in command of your bridge. You've got your whole bridge crew um, on staff. Uh, you're at helm right now, yes, Rick? Yeah. Cool. Uh, Noble and Fractal walk onto your bridge. It's good to see you. How are you feeling? Well, uh, like a train hit me? Yeah, that's what it says. Yeah, train. What is that? I think I met your old captain. She was very impressive. She? Did That's you? not my ship, that's Did for sure. <laughs> uh, what's that above it? Uh, that's some bad news that we just got. We may have quit the Paka Peacekeep. So you know Paka, not good. Oh yes. All right, <laughs> so we're fighting that thing? Everyone on this ship has chosen to stay. Uh, we need to get good idea back. The Paka are responsible for the slate, and we need to end it. Okay, that all This is a complication. Sounds complicated. We're here. getting out of here as soon as we can, but we're taking that ship with us if we can. No, we're not. Yeah? That ship probably won't follow you because he's a brightest eye. Look. I you, tried. I, I even told him you were here. Her, you were here. Look. Let me they tell you something. didn't care? Let me, let me tell you something real quick. Brightest eye don't care about crew, okay? You got enough crew, that's all that matters. Now, here... Let me tell you one thing. If you really want to survive this, you gotta figure out how to beat that thing. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna let me take care of that real quick. Jack, I'm gonna see if the concordance can break down you any more deep information about the Paka and see if there are any weaknesses in any Paka ships. Because I already have a scan of the Paka mm -hmm. ship of mine. I, getting deep knowledge, especially the mm -hmm. man who created everything, mm -hmm. I'm gonna go deeper in my brain and see if I can get any weaknesses on how vessels are made. So wait, he's about to access the concordance? He's going to you no, he's going to use his concordance, his like personal sort of local yeah. processing center yeah. to work with the stuff he's already like downloaded on the vessel. So he's okay. not on the network. It's not okay. dual core, it's quad core processing. Uh, go ahead and uh, wait, okay, so your concordance you check. Can you burn this anyway? That's what I thought. I thought yeah, you, Jack, keep, earlier you, you said his yeah. concordance didn't work. It doesn't. I'm sorry, I should clarify here. So the concordance operates in two different ways. One of those things is sort of always operational. It's a basically a latent, it's um, think of it as like a, a local cybernetic processor. It's like plugged oh. into his brain. It just lets him access information that's like stored locally on a hard drive. The computer that's not online. It, it, that is exactly yes. right. Yes, he is in it. Yes, he's an air guys. Yes. Yeah. Unplug your shit. I love you, brother. Unplug your shit. <laughs> so lucky that he's air dapped right now. Uh, yeah, man, um, your concordance roll is eight. Damn. Okay, well. <laughs> Work that in um, whatever that is. In the meantime, somebody let me know what our tractor beam status well, is. Well, that helped. Well. Your tractor beam is operational. All right, do we need to take their shields down to use it? Uh, in order to use, uh, in order to tractor beam them, yes. Fuck. That's Captain. not good, shit. Captain. Three. Okay. Nothing. Wait, you um, here's, here's what I'll tell you. You've got yourself a, uh, The big problem uh, in terms that you would see in terms of how Paka vessels are created as opposed to how Brightest Eye vessels are created and like how a weakness might be useful here is that that vessel is very, very large. So 
in order to move it, it requires a great deal more energy, like in a vacuum, to move that large thing than it would to move a small thing, right? Um, just getting it moving requires a lot more energy. That means that in a smaller vessel, you have the uh, you have speed mm -hmm. and you have maneuverability mm -hmm. as real advantages. Mm -hmm. So, say a really good pilot, uh, if you did want to take this thing on in single single combat, uh, you know, it'd be like a try to think of a good like brightest eye analogy, right? Like it would be like a limb fighting a dinosaur. Right, the dinosaur is always going to move slower, and the limb is always going to move faster. And, then you uh, and so that's and so the, so the limb might have <laughs> might not have a lot of natural offense uh, or defense, but it does have a lot of natural speed. Got it. Um, so you sort of you can look at this thing and realize like, yeah, this is a lumbering beast as opposed to our like at this point, you know, what you normally think of as like a big kind of slow starship, is actually small and agile in comparison. Does that make sense? Yes. That's about all you get though. That's fine. Um, Okay. Just hold on for a second yep. on that. I want to uh, get the two of you. Lupin, yeah. you asked for the captain's attention. Yes. Okay, go for it. Captain. Down. <clears throat> right. So you said you wanted to tell everyone there's an entire ship full of flame. Innocent, innocent crew that has no idea, okay? They deserve to know that their loyalty has been abused. Yes. This feels like the time to tell as many people as possible. Well, we can't leave without them, and I'm not going to fight them if we don't have to. No, but... So? Of course not, but maybe if they know that we're not just... Open a channel. On it. You, uh, you reach out with comms. Uh, initially, you are rejected, but after a few more tries, uh, you eventually get a signal through. Uh, they request to speak to your captain, and they want to be on screen. On screen. Uh, a, an ancient flame made from the rock of many different planets uh, appears, aboard, uh, appears in front of you. Uh, he is larger than any flame you've ever seen. Broader, kind of has the countenance of like a, a, a Viking king, uh, a Jarl. You know, he's got this very big Yarl. presence. It's a good word. Solid. Yarl. Jarlsburg, California. Greetings, I am Captain Kors, the Unbound. You are the renegade Lucy Bard. I... I had had higher hopes when they said a captain was... A human was going to become a captain. I hope that you hoped that human would serve with honor the ideals the Peacekeep was meant to uphold and which you have spent your life serving. But what I have discovered has made it impossible to do so in the way that we have both spent our lives. Of course, the Unbound, your loyalty has been abused. Your trust has been misplaced. You have been used as a tool. The Paka have lied to us, and I have proof. Roll. <laughs> Roll. Uh, this is a social convince, 28. Yeah. 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 Oh, that's good. How many is that total over there? Yeah. It was 22 total, wasn't it? Uh, Can we help her just by like, nodding in the background? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You all oh, act yeah. as hype men. You like yeah, get in a right. V behind her. <laughs> <laughs> mm, yeah. Just stand there and hold so, up a picture of Syro that right. says, my no girlfriend good. is your god. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, that was my next play. Oh, this sorry. Work. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> keep it in your pocket. My girlfriend uh, is your god. Four, eight, 12, 16, 20. <laughs> Nepotism, I made stupid anybody? jokes and forgot what my role was. 28, I think. Thank you. Four, eight. Did I make that up? It's 28, right? Testament to no, it's 28. 24. Amy is a good human. Amy is a good human. That seems wrong. I was ready right to fight okay, these yeah. things. Yeah, that's right. Thinking of you guys. Thinking Love of you. you. <laughs> we'll shoot anything that we look at. <laughs> Some of us didn't even think you were dead. Hey. I'm still a ghost, technically. Definitely <laughs> All right. Convince them. Oh, oh man. Oh, we... that's a bad start. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Ah. I what kind of a lot of guys like Three sixes! Sixes are the worst! Yeah. So they really, really are. The sixes are the are worst. Are these maybe nines? No. Dude, right. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh. We're gonna need Do you know how sometimes so my dice just abandon well, hold on, me? Hold on, hold on. Let me do this. Let me do this. Yeah, yeah, thanks. Right, Give us some good juju. Do it. Do it. <laughs> do it. Let me do this. You got this. 400 dice. I'll let Jody. There you go. Seven. That was a seven. That's a seven. Oh, wow! Yeah. Oh Guys, my God! Okay. This is a freaking <gasps> statistical disaster. <laughs> Who's got a plan B? <laughs> I know, dude. This is a oh, statistical nice. disaster. Oh. Three, that's good. Statistically speaking, it might be on the mark, but. <laughs> oh no! Oh, 
She should have like a. Herp. Don't roll hard. She should have like a. Jesus Christ! Nine. Stop oh rolling ones! I can't apparently. <laughs> Don't roll hard. Just roll with. God, the you number go. of times that I love okay. hearing this seven, and now is not that time. Minus four, five. No, no, you minus four. No. No. Okay. I don't count till the end. Yeah. Oh. Five out of twenty-eight. Oh jeez. Thank you. Um. Have you also had evidence? Yes, he does. You do. This is true. That's a big old butt. I once again say, does being right help? But he doesn't know that. So. Yes. <laughs> Captain. Oh my. Damn. He's gonna fucking rock splain you. <laughs> Hashtag rock splain. Rock splain. You served with one of my people for a time. Yes? She was one of the finest officers I have ever known. Then perhaps she educated you a bit about how we work, we flame. How on old world we were unquestioning soldiers of great warlords that we would cross great mountains, oceans, simply for the will of those who would protect us and give us purpose. A flame's honor was once defined by this loyalty. <clears throat> In recent years, this has not been the case. People like the unbidden as they bring themselves into a life the rest of our society did not approve. But this ship, named for the great fields of ash from whence we come. O oh crew, tell this human what loyalty means to the flame. And you hear like an echoing thunder. Like, um, oh. like a million avalanches. Why then are you called Unbound? <laughs> unbound from my world, I took to the stars. Why? For there is greater service, more to find. You chose the greater good. You sought a better mission. This you I have did. that chance now. Captain, let me give For them let me give them the information. I can put it For in the computer. For yeah. Forgive me, sir, but if you're loyal to a lie, then what are Captain. This one was left to guard that lie for millennia. If you stand for nothing, Rock, what do you fall for? <laughs> oh, there it is. Thank you. Damn. <laughs> what lie? <laughs> the slate? Here, Captain, I can, just, I can give him the information. I, allow us oh. to send you what I have to, we would found. I have to, would I have to bring it the helmet or no? No, no. no. no you could you could digitize what information is left in the video. Okay. Yeah. Because we can at least send the video of finding vital proof. It wouldn't be conclusive, but I know that's ready to go. If our captain yeah. cannot convince you with her words, let us convince you with data and fact, which I have. I will see your facts. But you will not move. You will not stray from this place, and you will lower your shields and allow my crew to board, I can't securing your vessel. I can't do that yet. Captain, you are under arrest. It's up to me to tell you what you can and cannot do. I really hate when the law tells me what to do. Uh. Uh. Just listen. I, yeah. Okay. Uh. And I don't just send this information, like if, if you want, am I, am I doing, am I sending this info or how, am I, how are we doing this computer wise? So uh, here's the thing. 
in order to get this over to them without them opening their channels to you yeah. for data, right? Yeah. You're going to have to hack into their systems. Cool. And they're not opening their channels until you are under custody. Okay. So then do you want to hack into their systems? Yeah, yeah. Can I take it? What was that? Can I take it? Oh, you can also go over in person if you wanted to try that. I think you. they might um, keep the unit, though. I mean, they I can't say you. this in character, so I can't technically oh. stop you. Well, but I'm if you suggest this to me. I'm not saying, well, can't you, don't you have some sort of data thing that's portable? Like, like a thumb drive? <laughs> like a mm -hmm. Zip drive. Would they need Wait. to so they take their shields eggs. down for you to destroy yeah. them? Yeah, and how long no, she, so, uh, so planar have a dimensionality that allows them essentially like short range and, and relatively long range teleportation. Okay. Yeah. Uh, They're not they even can, firing range, right? No, but but she, if, if you recall, she actually went between the ship and the planet. Yeah, she did. Previously. Uh, so the idea be between uh, her going between ships, we talked about this last week, it's yeah. hard, but she can do it. She stacked up her stats to get a little bit closer. So if you guys didn't want to try that, it's in, it's possible. It's just a failure is bad news. Just out of curiosity, does the shield make it harder? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Mm. Mm. And they have like do, way more shields than we do. Yeah. Yes. Do planar breathe air? No. And a failure could in theory like, Splat her all over in energy. Yeah, I mean, it, there's a. It depends on the degree to which yeah. the failure exists. Oh okay. dear. Also, how long is that going to take? We can't just be sitting around while she does that. We're going to have to start maneuvering. It's not might seem to be the best, best idea. It was just a suggestion. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah no. I mean, um, it's it's up to you guys. You, you can either hack in or you can send her. Out. Okay. We got nothing to lose. Hack it. I say we hack it and we blast it to every single crew member on Yeah, that that's ship. exactly what I think. Blast I'm gonna, every single channel that they have. I want everyone. Maybe someone will, and they won't fight for him. I totally agree. I'm not sure there's a practical way to do that, but... Yeah, uh, together we can do it, probably. And I'm gonna add my computer to help out. Send it. Okay. So, um, who's gonna take up the hack? Rake? Yeah. Who's the best who's hacker, the best hacker? 20. Uh, so, Rake, you're gonna roll for 20 for computer hacking. Cool. Uh, and then one of you can support him. Who wants to support? I have 19. I have 19. She's gonna support. She's okay, gonna Luvin, support for 19. <laughs> Uh, okay. Yeah, Moore Brosis. wins. Brosis time. Brosis, Brosis time. Brosis time. Sorry, I'm Still not this. speaking though, Brosis. apparently. I know. <laughs> kind of dumb. Yeah, I know, right? Oh, for the greater good. good. So, so you're telling me you could Wait, fail, one, like if you get like five. stuck in space? I'm like, saying, I'm saying, you could, I'm saying if you bit, yeah, you oh, could get stuck in space. Okay. Yeah. A failure doesn't necessarily mean that. Like if you get a, a sort of a same, if you got like a same success rate failure, right? If it was like a eight versus a seven, right? Then you just wouldn't go. You oh, would okay. like, you'd like try and then it wouldn't. Oh. Like, if you, you got a zero, one? then yeah. you might yeah. try and find yourself, you know, on the planet below or something. Like, oh, so we're going to get Right, or on the brightest eye ship, or nah, stuck between well. dimensions. It won't kill you. I haven't had an adventure in thousands of years. I might as well just. Exactly. We you would try whatever you like. So hard. She, <laughs> she's falling through space. Like would there that, she is. No. Nope. Would that take she's longer though, exactly. than what nope. they're doing? Was that? Would that take longer than what they're doing? Just out of curiosity. Oh, uh, no. Not bad. They. I, okay. In fact, you transporting would take less time than what they're doing because what they're doing has to actually like bypass their firewalls and shit like that. Honestly, the only reason they can even do this at all is that Rake has wormed the podcast system mm -hmm. on this vessel for games and games and games to be able to do it. If we send the visions, because with shields up, you can't hack that shit. Fry the minds of everyone else. On that ship, or is it like safe for viewing now that we've digitized it? It's a great danger that we do not know. Oh, great! <laughs> but I mean, but I mean, it should be safer since you've digitized it. But okay. they're not going into the actual interface. Okay. Keep in mind, I know this is like You're a really totally cool peacekeep <laughs> way of solving problems, like non-violently. But if yeah. you do yeah. this hack and it doesn't work, it might make us a lot, make it a lot harder for anyone to hack their ships later. Too late. We're Too already late. Hacking. Nine. Yeah. 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 Nine. Nine. Yeah. Okay. You How much are we supporting that with? Eight. Nice. So that's plus three. Nine, 10, 11. It's an outstanding success. I'm going to roll against it, but it's going to be a low macro. You're fine. Okay. Okay. You use your backdoor channel. You get the data over to their ship. Um, you, you see as he turns around and you see the channels behind him start to play the material. Um, he immediately sees that transmission. Seize it! Stop it now! And But it won't stop. Uh, and he uh, starts to look at it and he... We will have words, Captain Bard. And he hits a button. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that guy's got to relax. That went about as well as it could have. Yeah. That hangs in the air just a moment. Are they still moving towards us? No, the ship, the ship slowly <laughs> comes to a stop <laughs> in space. Yeah. And then, after a moment, it pops back up. You get a new comms in. 
on the screen. He comes up, and now there's some sort of a haunted look in his eye. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. In some ways, it was better not to know. But not really. Not for Warriors of Honor. <clears throat> it has been a very long lie. You're telling me, man. <laughs> <laughs> Good line. <laughs> Why has this truth brought you here? There's one and only one piece of good news. If the Paka were not willing or able to figure out how to top, stop the slate, we know of one who may be able to. That one was a member of our crew, but is currently on that ship. The brightest eye vessel. Yes. We have it targeted for destruction. I can destroy it immediately and bring that vessel to you. <laughs> it's with pieces. We need good idea alive. Why? Because he is the key. The key to stopping it, if there is a way. <laughs> Human. You think to stop the slate today? Yes. You were worried about the first human captain. This is the kind of thing we do. I'll second that. Snaps for Bard. <laughs> Then you have my loyalty today. And if tomorrow the darkness still reigns, then we will have words. Agreed, cause the unbound. Captain Bard. Ashland out, we will stand by for further instructions. Oh, oh shit! Oh. That's the best thing ever. Dude, call, so hail them, hail them real fast and tell them what happened. Baby. Hail them and Whoa. tell them what happened. Wait, Fine. but they're not gonna give us good wait, ideas. Wait, 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 we'll blow hold them up. Hold on, hold on. So we're not fighting them, right? No sir, we are not. Okay, good, all right, I'm cool. <laughs> we still need this good you idea. To, you have to contact them. We need good idea. Do you know any way to get your captain to agree? It's not my captain. <laughs> Why do you keep saying, look, I don't know what happened. To my brother, I, I don't know. But you said it's a her. There's not a her. There hasn't been a her ever. Call I start, him I start opening but communications with them. You immediately yeah, receive a, uh, a uh, Nine or on the bridge, you receive a comm signal. Have I gotten to the you, bridge yes. yet? I've stepped Taka onto walks the bridge, on the missing Captain? a limb. Captain? Like, what's going on, guys? Um, Taka has, uh, oh has received a little bit everywhere. of, uh, Taka has received a little bit of field medical from some battlefield and thriving so along the way, so it's like a well, Actually, does, a, does a yeah. Hans have any Hans. Uh, drugs for that are good for that? <laughs> sure, Taka full of shit. Wait, because I feel like we got a really important problem. Yeah, the message, she's the message, to no, death no, 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 no. I'm bleeding to death. Yeah, she's, got, she's got some basic okay. sutures. It, I, yeah, I, I mean. Do we just get open a hail? Let's just yeah. make yeah. this very clean and easy, as per usual with the brightest guy. <laughs> 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 right? Easy Let's simplify boy. our thinking. Hi. Nidar, you receive a hail. Uh, and the game at it, Hans, please pump to cough full of any drugs that you have. I, I, really, I really don't want to... Uh, Nidar really... is going to take care of this hail if you wouldn't be so kind as to make sure that one of the most important members of my crew isn't going to bleed that's, to death. That's totally fine, but if I'm <laughs> not able to take an action this turn because I'm suturing up uh, to cough... I'm not worried about suturing. I don't want to be cut shoot out Shoot her with a gun. Just, yeah, just I mean, shoot her with a gun. A million times. Just million fine, shots, but that's right. still that one second is a turn. It, it, it is, but it's up to you. I mean, uh, you gotta do it. All right, sure. I thought my yes. crew was difficult. All right. I okay, know. so uh, oh, we're gonna we're gonna roll a healing check. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. One thing at a time. We're in no rush. Uh, do you want to just do this with medical, or do you want to do this with drugs? Uh, up to you. What, what do you think is uh, the more expedient of the two? Uh, pumping her full of drugs. Done. Okay. Yeah. Uh, seems pretty <laughs> So <laughs> you are going to use your uh, you're going to use your heal six hundred darts shooting heal your deal. butt. Mm -hmm. uh, so go ahead and roll <laughs> for <laughs> pharmacology twenty four. See how successful this is. It's an eighteen. <laughs> Fine. She grows new arm. <laughs> yeah, a new arm. It has a whole new Taka growing. Well, what was it? Eighteen. <laughs> yeah. You, created a you heal her for five damage. Nice. Uh, Takai, you are back to two. 
Two. Nice. Ba basically, Hans um, uh, is like, but I'm, but I, but the science is, but it's so exciting. And like, and he's like, do it now. And Hans walks over, stabs you with a needle and walks back. Begrudgingly. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm> Fine. <laughs> when? Um, okay. All right. You receive a hail. Nutter. Uh, we're getting a hail from the Avalon, Captain. Oh, yes. Captain, sorry. Uh, we open up uh, communications. Open comms. Boop. Comms open. Uh, you are now face to face. Uh, Visionary Destroyer looks like what Visionary Destroyer has become. All queened out, all crazy. <laughs> Big thorax, the whole thing. Uh, Captain Bard looks like Captain Bard, but with a newfound confidence. Ooh. 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 Captain? Captain. Queen. <laughs> Queen. Uh, your crew member, as you can see, is alive and well. My brother. You're what? Noble. How are you? <laughs> well, that's good. Well, that's good. I thought you were dead. Wait, Biz? what? Biz? Biz? Yeah. What are you doing? What is... What the hell happened to you? <laughs> oh. <laughs> You're lying to me. This isn't you. Is it you? Is it no, really? No, it's me. <laughs> Oh, it's <laughs> me plus. Thank the concordance, it's so very who I am. <laughs> I can't believe you're not dead. I can't believe you're not dead. I <laughs> it would take a lot more than a planet splitting and a half to take you down, wouldn't it? <laughs> Noble Conqueror, indeed. You know they changed your name. They changed my name? They sang songs for you. Well, of course they sang songs for me. Yeah. <laughs> That's all I did growing up. And we're going to tear the heads off of every single one of them. It's going to be beautiful. Fizz. Right, I have a question. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell the captain to shh. No. She's not my captain. Excuse She's me? not. Noble. Noble. Captain, you don't understand. I give you respect. The way I was raised, you don't hurt your own. Do you save them? Isn't that what we're trying to do right now? You are my own. So help me. I'm having a hard time. Just give me a second, because I don't know why my brother is that. I'm sorry this is out in public. Give me a second. All right. No, Queen. You have a sister. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Shit. Just I'm saying. very confused. You have, you have no sibling. I've, I just, oh, my God, what a... Fucking weak. <laughs> okay. He grew up there. No, just ever, just. Yeah. There's so much we need to learn. Yes, there people, is. Biz, hear me out. I don't know what the hell happened to you. Uh, you look different. I'm trying not to lose it right now because it's not been the best. Yes, I'm alive. Yes, they sing songs. Great. Paka are the ones that created the slate. And we need to stop it and we need your help to do it. Do you want to save your people or not? Look. Yes. I know we're not good at talking. I know we, we it's hard sometimes, but whatever you are, whatever you've become, I just see my old brother right now because nothing is making sense anymore. Nothing. <laughs> so can we do this together? Because I'm at my last straw. And I don't know what's going on. And I need you. Shut up, little boy. 
Take a deep breath and calm down. And we'll save the galaxy. Simple as that. Captain, you said the Paka created the slate and you want to stop it? Fine. That's all I've wanted to do. It's why I've taken good idea from you to bring him back to save planets. It's simple as that. Can you I see ran him away. Uh, I don't think so, no. Oh, damn. Sorry. It's the entire reason we're back here in brightest eye space is to stop the slate from devouring billions. If you want to help, fine, follow me. It won't be hard. Fantastic. How do we start? If I may. Oh, God, he's here. <laughs> <laughs> How rude. <laughs> Good to see you, Hans. Noble. While the plan presented does seem the most logical, and efficient of solutions, I must inquire <clears throat> the ship near yours, quite massive in comparison to both of our vessels, has simply ceased its activity after threatening to arrest us both. We've Captain, it would appear you have brought a gun to a knife fight, and you would like us to trust you? I believe your queen has already made a decision in this regard. I'm Do not we... speaking for my queen, Captain, That's of the true. peacekeep, which allowed my world to die. I am speaking to you. Why should I, Hanserald Nirun, trust you? You have a choice. Everyone on my ship has made their choice. We are choosing to try to save all that can be saved. Your tautologies are well and good, Captain, but I was aware mm. that I have a choice. The question I was asking is why should I make yours? Do you have a better idea for saving the universe? <laughs> no. Great, we'll but I would it. like it I would like it to be noted <laughs> that once again the peace keep, or whatever it is you are now, <clears throat> claim to be operating through nobility, claim to be operating for higher principles. The day I stop trying to do the right thing is the day we all lay down and die. Let's get and on with this. Is good reason, idea here? Captain, and the only <clears throat> reason we find ourselves in the situation that we currently are is because you have forced us into it with superior military numbers. So no, I do not see a better solution. But I would like you to know that in my mind, you are not a very good person. We have not threatened I, them though. I, we didn't yeah, threaten I, you guys. What is he even talking yeah, about? Living? That big ship came after us it's both. It's his perspective. I want to walk on screen for the first time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Leuven steps on screen. Uh, Hans, roll composure. <laughs> uh, that's a one? <laughs> Is it? Oh yeah. man, that's amazing. Cool, bro. Lack of composure. I, I've got a zero. Uh, <laughs> sure. So not roll composure. Yeah. No um, composure. Okay. So, uh, well, let me just let me just make sure I'm right here. Uh, it's like I got. I want to check. Yeah. No, you're really not. It okay. To be a zero. Um, I'm already pretty emotional. Yeah. Uh, Leuven steps on. Uh huh. Hello again. Leuven. What an unexpected pleasure. You seem to talk a lot about honor and nobility and doing the right thing and not being a very good person. Yet you yourself did terrible things to protect people. In fairness, I do not speak of those things. The peacekeep <clears throat> speak of those things. I have always entered my mission knowing that I would do whatever it takes to achieve it. The difference between myself and Captain Bard is that I do not believe myself the hero. Do you, Leuven? I don't think I'm a hero. I do, however, try. That is where we are different. You do just to see the result. Excuse me, do you not think I'm trying? Do you know how many people I've murdered for my captain? How many lives I've taken? How much needless waste 
I have endured for the sake of evolution, for the sake of science, the galaxy, and you say that I am not trying? Mm. I have never tried harder for anything in my life. Hans, you sound a lot like a paka. Oh, shit. Uh, Gil Leuven, roll uh, for social convince. That's a 20. Mm. Mm. Hans. Oh, your okay, social defense is a three. Yeah. How many more do you need? 20, 20. Okay, got it. You snap some I just want to make my better than there. <clears throat> That's some shit. Goodness gracious. I rolled a one. <laughs> it's something. I didn't even know what. Mm -hmm. Just going to button up a little idea what's going on. <laughs> Hanging out. I know, he's just lost a little. I feel that. I think we're just gonna hit a button in your spine. I don't know about some of them. It's about this guy. Nothing. You're fine. Nice. Not a lot of critical work. Is that? Mm -hmm. I don't remember. I don't remember. Nice. Are you gonna. Eight. So. She's not wrong. You feel, at least from a, from a... The obsession that has driven you down this path, which I think you just sort of, I think Hans just made very clear, has like driven him to some shit that otherwise he maybe would not have done, uh, was just sort of put into perspective by these people who are themselves, I think, as they put it, trying to be heroes. Not just trying to win, but trying to do it, to do a good thing. Um, and I think that coupled with the fact that you felt like you were getting somewhere in a friendship with her back on that planet before it all kind of went uh, bad because of decisions primarily you made, I think we can make this a moment of like, understanding at least. This doesn't mean I'm not going to force you to agree, but I am going to force you to take a step back from the argument. You are not wrong, Luvin Yuxiaomor. It was never my intention to hurt you. I did what I thought was necessary. And yes, that does make me a great deal like that which I hate. But I have a question for you. If we do this together and the choice comes to be heroes or be monsters, but in being monsters, save the universe from the slate, which do you choose? Can you do the unthinkable for what you believe in? And with that, a channel starts to come in from the Ashland. Ooh. Captain. Just to their ship? One moment. Uh, yeah, it's to their ship. I'll be right back. <laughs> Call waiting. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the Ashland uh, Captain Chorus pops up. Oh, fuck. He looks distressed. As distressed as a, you know, giant, super self confident <coughs> rock <in the> would. <laughs> Human, we have many ships incoming. The Paka have just tasked nearly the entire first and second fleet to our division. That's. It's nearly 50 ships. This is the kind of firepower my vessel cannot stand against. There are many ships like mine and many captains whose loyalty may be harder to pull than mine. Hmm. I suggest whatever plan you seek to put into action, you put it into action soon. For we have but hours before this sector is surrounded and we are destroyed. Thank you, Course. We are in active negotiation with. Did I get the name of the ship? Is it Screaming Valor? Yeah, you can yeah. take it. Uh, we Screaming Valor, by the way. We are in active <laughs> negotiation with the Screaming Valor right now. Uh, if I can ask you one thing while we wait. Yes. We know that we cannot turn 
all of our allies to our cause. But as many of them as possible need to know what we know. They have unfortunately cut off all communication between our vessel and the rest. They did the same to us. So all right. Uh, uh, they don't have a pock. Ask them if do they have a pock pock haw on their ship. Do you have a pock haw on your ship? We do. <laughs> Can I have him? <clears throat> have you mutinied? <laughs> We have locked we have locked the Bakha out of the systems as best we can. However, the core of our vessel is still commandeered by the alien. As a result, we cannot utilize most of our larger ship functions. We cannot leave this system. Mm. And we've learned what happens when you detach them by force. Indeed. Mm. Wait, ex explain that to me. Please. We lost our Pakha and it nearly killed us. The ship went wildly out of control. Uh, the the, the, the Paka is tied to the Peacekeep crossing drives um, primarily, but also their computer systems. So you can fire yeah. weapons, you can do some other things with, with without the Paka's like, permission, but moving from system to system uh, actually requires a Paka to be on the vessel. The, the, the Avalon is, is unique in this way because their Paka was murdered and replaced with like a kind of cybernetic uh, system while they cloned a new Paka, which now you know why they had to take some time. So Okay, so if someone were to take their Paka or something, it would really... Bar. It could it could really mess with their ship. Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Go kill their. That Baca. said that said if the Paka sure. could be <clears throat> incentivized towards behaving. I mean, if you show it that it's a clone, I doubt it. <laughs> the trick being, it's very hard to get into that room for most people. <laughs> like a flame would have to bang down the door. You'd have to and hack past a, the door. All that stuff is under. That's a good question. Do clones well, know what they know? Do yeah, do it's clones a great question. Know I don't know. They... Well, I mean, I don't know what. I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, you're saying that, like, we could c convince it. I'm saying that if you went in with a knife, you might be able to convince it. Well, that's fine. I can do that. <laughs> <laughs> I knew I liked you for a reason. Wow, we're coming to the to what I was foreshadowing sooner than I anticipated. <laughs> <laughs> Kill everything. No but regardless, masters. it's stuck in this system until that. Well, we can't go. And the, the, obviously, the slate's not here, Kill so we're going to have to do that. Ca capture you're on the edge of. You're right now just. From a visual, we're on from the a, edge of you are on the edge of the slate right? of the brightest eye territory. Oh, on the really? other side of that slate, not a few hours fly, is pupil, limb world, and mind world, which are the last systems still standing. Okay. In we don't we don't want to do, do, do we need to crossing drive through the slate, or is it non-crossing drive speed? That would be a few hours. No, no, no. You no, guys, crossing. you've you've crossing drive through the slate before. I'm just, but we had a really right, good pilot. Right. Oh yeah, yeah. It, 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 it might, it might would, take like an hour. Again, depending on the, it depends on the. Rule. We would need to cross through. Yeah, you would. Yeah, okay, you, okay. In order to get to people, you will have to cross through the, mm. like in crossing drives. Uh, correct. Yes. Okay. I like, well, to be so knife. Can, I'm basically are you trying to convince him to give them back their system functionality. Yep. Okay. Because we're gonna go in this slate. We're gonna go into that planet. Um, unless you leave planet. the ash. Oh, do you guys? Oh, yeah. 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 We still I'd don't like, know how good it is. Friggin' I'd like to make a basic scientific surmisal. So. This is the question that I have. I I mean, Every time we have encountered some form to, of slate radiation, do that. We might uh, mm. I don't know. Good I idea has gone <laughs> fucking nuts. Mm -hmm. uh, he clearly contains some kind of power to harness and manipulate the slate. Would he survive an attempt to push it back? That, that, I, I am not, I don't know. Right, what I'm saying is, can I analyze the data? And take a look at that. You can try it. Okay. Uh, yeah, actually. Yeah, you got Like, I guess my question is: Is the notion just to get good idea to a place and have him do a thing, or do we have to synthesize our own form of anti-slate radiation? No, no. The, the idea is going to be synthesize a form of anti-slate radiation because I prom. I'm sorry. I promise, good idea. Like I am not putting him back in a box for another 750 years. We don't have to necessarily put him back in a box just because we use him to repel the slate. It's a, it's a persistent situation. Well, there's Once also... he's repelling it, if he stops repelling it, the slate will continue. Just like, just as he did There's yeah. also in the all that data that you got, so but I don't think he so analyzed it. again, yet. and if I need yeah, to roll for this, I need to roll for this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why then a good idea, right? Like if one could simply synthesize yeah anti-slate radiation so, or nano machine because no one ever has yeah because they didn't think about that at this point that is a scientific breakthrough that has never been achieved in the history of our galaxy well, the only time they've ever been able to make this work was by combining it with binding the technological elements with biological elements to try to develop this like that was that that was the good idea the good idea was we take these two things and we put our peanut butter and our chocolate and we smash it together and make something that's what you discovered on that day and Which they haven't reverse engineered that so. <laughs> exactly yeah. no one's no one's reverse engineered that into something that would operate absent a Consciousness. I have a better idea. 
<laughs> oh, that's awesome. Oh my god. I know you're wait. thinking what, what I'm thinking because I'm so excited if it's the same thing. Level of a I mean, Taka has uh, thoughts on this so actually, too. Minute, so, um, not that it's, it's a pretty signs, large thing. Um, so, like, I mean, Hans. guys have never seen one in combat, but, like, it's it's larger than a flame. It's uh, got two big arms, two big strong legs. We haven't got them back yet. This is true. So you, I mean, um, do you want to just send her in there and like have her, because we are going to have to take that ship with us through the slate. We don't know where we need to go yet because we haven't finished to finish our negotiations and get some cooperation with Good Idea here. And All right, you guys want to get back on the horn? Her in there. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> guys, we get on the horn? Yep. Okay, hail back. You guys are back on with each other. <coughs> oh, thank you for joining us. <laughs> <coughs> Queen, Isn't we it? need to know how we can actually stop the slate. And since you all have good idea, who I would very much like to see, uh, we're hoping that you can help <laughs> us in some ways. I, I, w I wiggle up into like the thorax nook. Of <laughs> and Taka is queen. like squeezing in with him. Okay. Everyone, She's everyone like, big group hugs in. All right, it's so you good, good to see you. You see go. good okay. idea. Okay, go away. Um, Cap Captain? Are you all right? I am fully healthy, Captain. I'm gonna board this ship. <laughs> okay. We've missed you very much. Oh, God. We have also learned uh, a lot of dark things we didn't necessarily want to know. The Paka created the slate, and they don't know how to stop it. But you do. Ha, ha. We never got a chance to finish the conversation. Who's got a word do you on? know how we can stop it? Captain, I absolutely know how you can stop it, Captain. Aside from putting you in a box for 700 years. You can put me in a box for 700 years. Captain. We're not doing that. Nobody's I'm doing not that. putting him in a box for 700 years. No one years, is putting right? him in a box. Yes, that's obvious. Let's get to the point. Good idea and Hans have been studying the slate. Fantastic. And how to repel it. We don't have an answer for you. We know it's a break in space-time that was created through attempts to mess with forces outside of our universe. And we know that it travels as a symptom of those breaches. Captain, it seems to be some kind of fusion of my own physiology and uh, some kind of cybernetic technology at the cellular level. It seems to be part of me as much as I am part of it. Does it have to be that way? Does your science officer have any insight into this? Hmm. Well, I he, don't know. He is very smart. <laughs> Captain. We don't have a lot of time. The Paka are coming for us. The Ashland is on our side, but they have limited mobility right now. Well, then we put ourselves on the other side of something they can't deal with. Hmm. I do have an idea. Oh? Interestingly enough, it's inspired by you, Captain. How have you attempted to deal with every threat you have encountered so far in your journey? We've never met. I mean, I assume that we've like gotten. They met for like thirty. We've seconds. gotten enough information on like. They no, I said that in character. Us, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. No, it, fine. Yeah, sure. We've never met, but how have you handled every threat you've encountered? Uh, our usual efforts are in favor of diplomacy. Mm. And yet you seek to annihilate the slate. As far as I know, the slate is not a living being. Ah. It is a destructive force. As far as you know. And yet, in fact, the evolution of living things is the single greatest force in this or any universe. The nanomachines installed in Good Idea were built by a tall Klee scientist who believed the slate could be not just controlled, but communicated with. He sought the ladder. I do not propose that we stop the slate, Captain. I'd like to stop it from eating the brightest eye homeworlds. Yes, I propose please. that we speak with it. We are? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. This is what put me in the box. You wanted me to talk to the thing? The pan-galactic, omnipresent, galactic destruction, <laughs> near omnipotent wave? No, 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 what no, no. Not what? going in the box. What Not you? going in the box. Good idea. Oh, going in the box. Box. oh my God, shut up. Yo, good idea. <laughs> Damn. Uh, 
Resolve check. Mm. 21. Mm, I need more. Oh, wow. what? God, hey, brother, is he always like that? Okay. Always. It's oh. <laughs> interminable. Oh, damn. I know. Oh. If I recall, the threshold is a 10. Yes? Yes, this is my... I would trade you in a minute if it didn't mean all those fucking planets. Love you too, Wait, but why are you trying to say those planets now? Aren't they all bright as I? Didn't you hate them? I only hate the mother and the father. Oh, my oh, okay, fair yeah. mm, Thank you for all these wonders. They're total douches. Mm -hmm. And he always keeps his promises. Else, and he's made promises yeah. to Taka mm -hmm. and to Nidhar and to Good Idea. Fair enough. Hey, Viz. so far, he always keeps his promises. Hey, Viz, Viz. Wow. Hi. <laughs> Viz. What do I call you? You sister now? Brother? <laughs> queen? What are we calling you? Most call me queen. One, two, I'm not three, calling four. you queen. No. <laughs> not doing that. It doesn't sound right anyway. Oh, it's a it doesn't. It doesn't work for you. It should be double zero if it's ten. But you can call me one, sister. Two, three, four, five, six, or you seven, can call eight. me visionary destroyer. Oh. Seven, six, okay. Five, oh, right. We'll figure it out Same later. Same as I ever was. Seven, Keep but then simple. down to fudge duck. Hey, did you find a pilot? Three. Three. No good. No. Cool. Oh no. <laughs> cool. Oh man. So what no, happens when nothing. you roll someone else's I... dice, man? I got no dice. <laughs> we have to Wait, send what happened? Dice. Yeah, what happened? Yeah. What happened? Uh, it was just it was checking on his loyalty switch. Please. Oh. Please understand me. I do not believe that you truly spoke with the slate before. Not in the way that I am suggesting. I believe that you ex attempted to do what tongues always do. Exert control. That is the type of speech you were exercising. What is a conversation if not control over from one being to the other? Your uh, ideas influence theirs, lays the groundwork, they agree with you. That is a conversation. An excellent question. Captain Bard, what else is a conversation? <laughs> a conversation is an exchange. Where are we going with this? A conversation is an exchange with the intention of reaching understanding. We do not understand the slate. We do not know if it is alive. We do not know what it wants. Our options right now are ending Good Idea's freedom to control the slate not or option. attempting to understand it. C -c -cap Captain, my queen. Yeah. He's not wrong. When I engaged the slate, it was under the auspices of my role as special circumstances of Brightest Eye. The only conversation I had with them was take the knee or lose your head. That's the only conversation the Brightest Eye ever had. Something else... Never even occurred to you as an option. Never even occurred to me as an option. Fascinating. Hmm. So who yeah, do, we do we send to talk to this slate? So you're saying we can talk to this thing? Good idea, Ken. Hmm. No. Good idea. How do we plug it in? Did it answer you? Uh, I am honest, Captain. I, I, I do not know. <laughs> I stepped to the world. I saw the burning horizon. I saw the stars winking away. And I woke up in black, in a box. I have no recollection of what it said to me or how the conversation went. I can only assume based on who I am and what I know. And that me didn't know anything other than conquest and subservience. I, I don't know what conversation, what the conversation would look like now. Now that I know more. Good idea. Hans, I think I have an idea. It took biological integration with the technological system for you to communicate with the sleep. The nanobots that run through your blood are what help you talk to it. What we need is that on a massive scale. Why not the concordance? What? Why not force every living thing in brightest eye space to 
talk to the slate every day. My queen, my queen, the brightest eye. That conversation is a conversation that has already happened. I will tell you what happens when we speak to enemies. The eye shines bright. They bow, they capitulate, or they that. die. They do not say anything other than that, and that is the only song that the concordance knows. Oh, my queen, no, if you no, no, wish no, no. to say something else. This, I can't believe I'm actually saying this, but I kind of agree with that guy. So <laughs> Not if they were controlled. No, 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 I think you're both, all three of you are totally right. I think it's the AI running through the concordance that we have, Chad. Mm -hmm. Something new. There's something a what? interesting. Something that wants <laughs> to learn. Oh. What? Oh my word. Noble. Yeah? How do you feel? I feel fine. Did you just say there's an AI in the concordance? Oh yes, I did that. <laughs> <laughs> Quite the scientific marvel, if I may say so. Hans? <laughs> I apologize, Ken. No, no, it's all right, it is. Uh, you let him? Noble, why? Can you communicate with the rest of the brightest eye? No, not at all. I've been, I haven't heard anything all this time. I thought you were dead. I mean, you're different, but you're not dead. <laughs> so, no. I haven't heard father, I haven't spoken to anybody, I've been really alone. I've been learning a lot about what it is to be a Terran, which is, I mean, I mean, I like it, it's not bad, but. Gross. <laughs> Cap Captain, if you're thinking of taking, <clears throat> my queen, if oh. you're thinking of taking advantage of the AI, I can assure you that AI is wildly unpredictable and near psychotic in its urge to be free. I know a little something about its intentions, but it's nothing fine, we can fine, rely fine, fine, on. Fine, 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 Noble. You need to... You need to tear that thing out of you. What? You need to tear the concordance straight out of you. It's... What? No, no. Why? No. No. It's corrupt. It's broken. I destroyed it. I, we... Oh my god. <laughs> I can't tell you what we've done or how we've done it. I mean, I can, but... You're really not brought us Captain Bard, do you have a doctor on your ship? Yes. Of course. Take it out no, of my uh, brother. Yeah. Take it out of my brother. With due respect. A standard peacekeep surgeon, even one of, I'm sure, reasonable degree, would probably be unable to remove Noble's concordance interface without killing him. And that's my choice. Don't you dare overstep your boundary. Leave it in you, and you'll go insane. I believe the captain is correct about that as well. Why do you make me not go insane? There's gotta be something. Come on, Brain Wiz, figure it out. <laughs> Guys, a uh, couple of planets are gonna get totally consumed by yeah. the slate. We yeah. really gotta <laughs> deal with this. I'm really yeah. excited about no, this. I, I have a lot of strong about. feelings about this. Let's go okay. over there and, yeah. and okay. keep talking, um, we need to con maybe. Convince okay, so off. let's recap Sorry, for a second. You have an <laughs> incoming armada of vessels. Yes. You have about 50 vessels. Yeah, we know you cannot seem that? to move yes, the large vessel, the, yeah. the large vessel that uh, so is sort of staying here right now, uh, filled with flame, who you right. yourselves have sort of convinced to be on your side here. If, you rem if they remain here without any kind of large scale military reinforcement, they're dead. dead. Yeah. If they get out of here with yeah, you, I then understand. presumably they could try to cross the slate, but again, that's a dangerous thing, so you're taking them into danger as well. So idea. you kind of have like two separate situations here. On the one side, you have an incoming armada coming to battle here in this system in we within can. hours. Got it. Um, and some manner of military reinforcement is pretty necessary. On the other side of things, unless you leave, right? Uh, which we've talked about options of how to maybe do that. On the flip side of it, you've got a plan to re-engage the concordance with 
essentially what you've learned from Good Idea. Yeah. Essentially turn the concordance into, for lack of a better word, a large scale, like massive scale good idea uh, in the effort of creating a new way for the brightest eye to uh, to live and sustain themselves without the, uh, the threat of the slate. Mm -hmm. uh, that obviously can't be achieved from here. Um, but, you know, if that armada gets through, it's entirely possible their next stop is Brightest Eye territory to get that exact information that you are about to try to, you know, deal with. I think something to be aware of generally with the Paka is their whole thing is trying to stop the slate, make up for what they've done, and good idea, the reason they've been chasing him all this time is that he's the closest thing that they've seen to something that can do that, right? Uh, mm -hmm. You turn the Brightest Eye into that, you're putting a giant target on their backs, mm -hmm. just for what it's worth. Uh, but... I'm not going to tell you what to do. I just want to like recap the sense of like these are the two dangers you're running into. Incoming armada need military reinforcements. Meanwhile, you've got a plan to deal with the slate, but you got to get in there to deal with it. Good idea. So the the, the Paka kind of considers this other ship now mm. an enemy because yes. it cut off communication. Correct. Okay. But there's a Paka still on it. That is correct. Why would it? Okay. Because they they've, they've tried they've essentially tried to cut it out of its of their main systems, but it still controls things like their crossing drive. Huh. But they could technically just break down the door that it's behind. And like They're trying. They uh, That's the thing. They haven't been able to break down we the door that better. it's behind. Do we have any Captain other communication better systems? Better like, they pointed out, <laughs> can we call no, you know, you're into Syrian so frequencies? You can try. We're going to try. Good idea. Yeah. I have a question for you. Hans are old. Yes, I have an answer. <laughs> <laughs> not, I'm just saying. I'm not this good idea. Them a lot into computers in I need to speak to the real good idea. I need to speak to a good idea. I need to speak to a good idea that is capable of free will and introspection. Can I hear this? I mean, your yeah, comms are still, still up. Okay. I need to know if you believe the captain's plan will work. If we turn the brightest eye into another version of you, then we've just made the same mistakes all over again. If we do that, will they truly seek to understand the slate? Or will they seek to control it again? I unfortunately am a liar. I do not have an answer for you because I cannot speak from a position of free will. But I can tell if you're lying. What does that mean? What do you mean you, you don't have free will? What are you talking about? Captain. I believe I could have insight into the situation, but we both know what you've done to me, mm. my queen. Mm. What is he talking about? I, mm -hmm. I yell I a good idea opinion, in D-I-K. D-I-K? D-I-K. Okay. Yeah? Good idea. I'm speaking to you in D-I-K, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Thus, only the two of you can understand yeah. this. Well, and some of the bridge crew. Are we just gonna let that go on? Yeah. Like, that Hold seems remarkably on. surreptitious. Let it go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fine. Wait, what? 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 No, I'm just saying let the conversation start. And if you want to cut it off, you can make the action to cut it off. Don't. Okay. Yeah. Explain further. What are you talking about? His loyalty switch is still on, so I'm not even worried about it. It's fine. What are you saying? I, I don't know what you mean. I <laughs> am serving my queen in everything that I can. Fur, 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 fur. Speak further of what you just said. What did he do to you? Nothing. I am merely as good as I have ever been as part of the brightest eye of the eyeshine bright. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Hans, what did you do to him? Oh, it was not me. It was Nidor. Hans. Every every <laughs> vassal race of the brightest eye has Hans, a loyalty switch inside. Before you do this, not please. us. <laughs> apparently, Captain, are you I... sure? You took his free will away. Oh, for Christ. For the sake of the mother <laughs> cat, please stop. Hey, bug, mother explain. <laughs> whoa, now, whoa, whoa, now, whoa, whoa. I, yeah, I mean, like Hans. With due getting... respect, Captain, please do not speak to Commandant Luvin Yixiao more that way. I just need an answer. Do you really need it? Because if you do, put it back. I'll trust you. You should put it back. It is the right thing to do, Captain. I think we need answers. And I agree with Hans. It is the right thing to do. 
I got a bad feeling about this. <laughs> we made a deal. He is our partner. I thought you said you wouldn't put him in a box. Just <laughs> do it, Nightar. All right. All right, Nightar. Oh no. So we are we rolling to undo? <laughs> you are rolling to undo that thing you did. Oh, no. uh, this is 19. It is a telepathy control roll. Three remaining hands on your shoulder for this. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. It's like, oh, is it my birthday? I didn't know it was my birthday. <laughs> 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 does he know, does he know what we're about to do? Yeah, yeah, I think he does. All right. Can't wait. Good idea. Fuck that. Sit very, very still. If this goes wrong, it will not be good for you. And Takat really does have like a wonderful. <laughs> Night Art floats so. up. Yeah, would little extensions hit either one of your like temples, and he engages. Um, should I throw willpower into this? It's up to you, dude. Let's do. Um, Don't. Mm, never mind. I'll throw two into it. So cool. Twenty-one. Yeah. Oh, thanks, buddy. Hey. Twenty-one. It is. Okay. Jack, while he's rolling, what merits go into like computers? Uh, that would be your computers hacking, uh, Pfizer contacts. Uh, if you've got those, uh, any kind of like information or informative skill, uh, intelligence. Unless you're hacking, in which case it's wits. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so that's that's the the, the just, general. So just those three: intelligence, or wits, computers, and hacking. That's uh, yeah. Mean. Those uh, basically. Assuming you, what you were trying to do was like hack. Is that the idea? Yeah. Well, I'm just trying to. Yeah. His, his is twenty. I'm just trying to figure out how that came. Man, so I can. Open oh, got it. Let me tell you what's in his macro. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Jack, I got 13. Ba-boom! Like a, uh, like a flash, uh, you're all of a sudden, like, you feel your entire intentionality come flooding back. Um, all of that eye shines bright stuff is like thrown <laughs> out of your head Thank and God. bursting yeah, from the mental corpse that is the subservient good idea <laughs> comes screaming back, actual good idea. Kaboom! <laughs> What am I wearing? Oh. <laughs> what am I wearing? Yes! <laughs> yes! Oh. 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 Are you okay? Oh, Taka, yes, I'm fantastic. Thank you so much for asking. Oh. <coughs> Subterfuge goes into it too. Captain, oh, yeah, good five. idea. Five. Lulu, break. <laughs> My queen, Hanserald. Good idea. The real good idea. It is a pleasure to meet you. A pleasure to meet you as well. <laughs> My queen. Uh, one thing is obvious as to what we are sitting in the middle of. Between our two ships, the Grand Destiny sitting at the crux of the slate which has been threatening our galaxy for time unknown. You wish to reach out to the brightest eye, I can tell you that the brightest eye is, while beautiful in its destruction, completely one-dimensional in its focus. They see only one way to approach the slate, and it's the same way that they approached you and your magnificent transformation. <laughs> Denial, <laughs> rejection, turning your eye away from anything that is great, new, bold, and dynamic. They will see the slate only for what it is and what it might be, which is nothing. What if they don't have a choice? The slate and the brightest eye never have a choice. That's the key. But me, you, Taka, my queen, my captain, we have choices. Free will. Hanserald hit it on the nose. It is free will that is our destiny, and it is free will that can turn us against the slate and all that it stands for. It's not the brightest eye. It's not the concordance, and it's not some random rogue AI ripping through a computer system. How it's do we the, do it? It's the thing that connects each and every one of us. The thing that you first taught me when you saved me after I put a gun to the head of your crew. It's you our didn't? it's our heart. And it's our friendship and it's the thing that binds us together. And I might be the only one who can talk to this late. Maybe we can boost that. Maybe we can boost that with some scientific zhuzh. Maybe we can <laughs> jump inside and and make it something more than it is with your mental prowess. Maybe maybe my queen, maybe you can inspire and maybe Taka you can lend me your strength. 
and between my friends, my friends on the Avalon, between the things that you know what the ship can achieve, pheromones and friendship, perhaps we can combine into something. I don't know what it is. I'm not a math science man thing, but I feel like if we can combine everything together and we can just point it at the right target, Lord knows what it could be. We can turn the slate back, but it's only through all of us working together, all living things, all things that are everything the slate doesn't believe in, that we can turn it around and we can save what little of the brightest eye actually remains. That is what I think, and that is what I know. Welcome wow. back. I don't know what most of that meant, but I'm feeling very inspired. Can he roll if, something for that? Yeah, exactly. that really good. I, I, I don't think he needs to. I think I think he. I think I think his. We all agree. I think I think I think, I think, I think, I think his I message think. message of inspiration <laughs> is clear. Um, so towards the, uh, the real treasure is friendship. Towards giving everybody a, a, a second to digest what they believe that means and uh, setting us up for the uh, the second half of this our finale. We're going to take a break. Uh, so uh, everybody, uh, stay tuned. We will be back on Bast in just a few, uh, and we'll be going late tonight. So buckle in, East Coast. See you later. Oh. Guys, this is the end. We are gonna go as late as possible. Uh, I'm gonna just keep possible. these guys up until 3 a.m. We're just gonna roll with it. Uh, Everyone but in seriously, Japan, we're, sorry. we're not. I'm not leaving this camera until Bass Season One is complete. He has an IV in his leg. It's it's happening. Yeah, it's bad news, man. The concordance <laughs> yeah. will just shut me off. Um, what I would like to do is make a slight revision uh, to the title of the episode, uh, given what has happened so far. I told you I didn't write this one, so I didn't know what it was gonna be. So I didn't know what it was gonna be called. It's now been clear. It's definitely called Concordance. Ooh. So, mm. the last episode of Bass Season 1, for definite sure, called Concordance, because as a uh, fan on Twitter uh, pointed out, yeah. and I just retweeted them about it, uh, by the end of the first half of this episode, our big stride narratively was we finally have both teams in Concordance. Mm -hmm. yeah. yes. We also have Sirenscape back! Yay! Yay! So, no more mouth music, and uh, and you guys don't need to imagine the running soundtrack in my head, because now I can deliver it to you. Um, so Just throw Kenny Loggins on it, it'll be fun. Yeah, right? So with that in mind, <laughs> I would like to start Kenny us Loggins off. Kenny Loggins is the slate. Ow. <laughs> Almost as evil. Ow! Wanna get that? Ooh, I All like right. this is starting real sexy. Got some, I like that raccoon so. mug. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, I'll take that. It's good. Uh, it's yeah, good. Just roll it on gravy train, as it looks like. Like a gravy. Yeah, they're called the gravy. Think oh, about the rolling television. This is the best right, wait, cup. Not, Whoever's oh, cup this is. That is amazing. Thank you, oh, oh, that's that's cute. Cute. Thank you for lending it to me. Yeah, uh, shout out. Shout out to my buddy, Matt. That, writes Rocket Raccoon. Matt, look, I got oh, a no way. mug for you. <laughs> yeah, Matt Rosenberg, Future of Comics. Check him out, he's fucking awesome. Uh, oh, great. He's <laughs> writing this Kingpin book that like legit, if you guys aren't reading it, you're not reading one of the best books on the market. Um, Read yeah, yeah, his King Jackson, Jackson Lansing and, and Colin Kelly are the book. future of comics. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like it's like you don't know anything. It's like I don't know anything. It's like I don't know anything. It's like you should read Joyride. Like you're not cool. <laughs> Whoa! I just saw the Jess with the arm and the yeah, Tata. So yeah, that's yeah. so good, that's Jess. Good. You know, it yeah. almost yeah. makes me want to rip off Jody's arm. Oof. Okay, I'm getting off Twitter and we're playing fast. Here we go. I'm on Twitter. What is it? Go. Okay. Um, all right. Oh. Yeah. Right. I can't find it. Right. Oh, that is so sick. How good is she? She's Dude, so, good. so good. good. Still writing you a comic, Too Jess. Good. I swear. Cannot wait to listen yeah. to the Vast Cast. Haven't had a chance yet. Me neither. Me neither. Oh, oh my god, I can't wait. Yay, Vast Cast. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Oh, I can't wait to read it. Oh, oh, all you guys oh. listen to it. All you guys go and listen to it. It's up online now. XLM what? put it out. Um, it is? Okay. It's, it's her and Aki, right? Yeah. Or Gina yeah. in a bottle. Yeah. I, I don't uh, get their names. And I just use the first name guess. Yes. 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 Hooray! All right. Okay. Um, but Genius. we have no time, so we're gonna get started. Impending so, doom. Okay. Uh, I've moved good idea to the center. The HUD's no longer accurate. Deal with it. Um, <laughs> we're probably gonna do more switch ups before the end of the game. I have a good so idea now. Have fun. Uh, yeah. Exactly. You're a good idea now. I, listen to me. Listen to me. Or look at me. Look at me. I have a good idea. I have lots of words. Yeah. Uh, okay. Friendship is magic. 
So, all right, I just take off into space. No, you don't. No, I'm kidding. You don't. I can't right, do so it. Like to, um, so uh, I'd like to put uh, uh, Destroyer and Bard back on the horn for a second. Yeah. Uh, because Great. you guys Everyone have been, you've talked around a lot of the stuff. Just to sort of recap this, right? 50 Paka ships incoming. You need anyway. military advantage, and you can't seem to get this big ship out of here. So retreat doesn't seem like an option right now. Similarly, you need to create some manner of ability to amplify Good Idea's presence. Good Idea has now allowed him, he's saying he will go back into contact with this thing, yes. uh, which is oh, against everything that up until now he has believed in. Uh, but he is willing to do it for the power of friendship. Uh, however, <laughs> yeah. he, unfortunately, his scientific theory towards doing this is to use the power of friendship, <laughs> which might require a little bit of R&D. So, uh, so with that in mind, you have this idea towards building uh, uh, some manner of amplifi amplification for good idea. You have the idea of using the brightest eyes as an amplifier. You have the idea of using uh, of, of needing uh, military uh, uh, support, but also the idea of maybe sending uh, Fractal in to uh, get this Paka ship yeah. moving on her own. There's lots of different ways we can go about it. How this resolves is up to you. So, putting you guys on the horn, let's go. Okay. okay. Here's the problem. My people are incoming and your people just tried to kill you. So even if we tried to run, it'd be straight into the brightest eye. <laughs> the brightest eye are fallen, destroyed. They're... Can you clarify that? Yeah, please. <laughs> They're no longer in concordance. I didn't think that was possible. I uploaded a very damaging virus what? into the neural mind that is the brightest eye. They why? are why in disarray. Okay? Why is he still okay then? Yeah, why am I still he all right? He is disconnected from the concordance. I'm gonna roll to find out why. Okay, do it. Noble. I don't know what I'm rolling. Uh, I'll tell you, Noble. <laughs> don't worry about it. Yeah. I got you. Dex, that's that? what you're rolling. Uh, so Dang. this... <laughs> not these wooden uh, This is an intelligence <laughs> check. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> I mean, he's not an idiot, but he's not. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's not. <laughs> Uh, actually, you know what? It's actually not. It's it's a it's a oh. wits check because you're figuring something out. So oh. hold on. Is he witty though? It's computer. Oh, I have a He's more witty, witty than he is intelligent. He's pretty witty, witty, witty and bright. And bright. Oh. Keep his oh wits about. <laughs> I can't believe we have the same brain and it's like that story. That's good. <laughs> that was good. That was witty pretty and bright. Yeah. Can I watch? I have a wits of four now. That's good. Yeah. Fair enough. With that one. Like Jack, did you see the wits review. boost? <laughs> you just watch it. Okay. Collins review of West Side Story. <laughs> watch it. <laughs> I disagree. You'll either love it or you'll appreciate its role in cinema history, but not really love it. Oh, got it. I mean, I've seen a lot of those. <laughs> there we go. Oh, that makes sense. Ten. Ten. Yeah. All right. Yeah, wits are like stupid low. Well. Hear me, baby. Hold together. Oh, yeah. shit. It's off. Wow. It's off. <laughs> and it's on now. Oh, it's on. It's on. Now. Now. It's on. It doesn't now. really end The microphone. Well, mm. oops. Eh. I mean, Four? Okay. I know nothing, Jon Snow. Uh, you know what? Look, here's <laughs> the thing. You just needed to not biff the check. You have the schematics of the ship. Okay. You know they have a concordance disrupting weapon that's running concordance disrupting signals throughout their vessel. So. It's for certain that. There's a. Well, certainly it's an option. <laughs> okay. Is that said out loud? That's up to him. That is said out loud. <laughs> if, therefore, it is logical to surmise that if Noble Defender was removed from the vicinity of the Avalon without first having his concordance disconnected, it could be gravely dangerous to his physical well being. So I'm stuck here. But we need a pilot that's better than that guy who's piloting right now. I literally just creep into this frame and I go, damn well want my brother. What do you guys want? A hey, pilot? Th this. Yeah. I know you need a pilot. I don't think I can uh, help out, but I know a guy and he's amazing. Mm. Take it from me. Two hands waving. <laughs> yeah. Two hands on one side? Or yeah, just on, on one side because yeah. I'm only like halfway in the frame. <laughs> like, nice. Hey. Little brother, your word is gospel to me. Amen. If you speak for him, I'll take him. Who is it? Brother, I'd like you to meet, or Rick excuse Joe me, Moore. hold on, excuse me. <laughs> well, how I'm you doing? Hi, we talked earlier for a second. You were pretty mad. <laughs> Sorry, Glad so we're not all mad at each other anymore. Yeah. Uh, you guys need a pilot, huh? 
My queen, I tried to blow his head off once. <laughs> you tried to blow my head off once. <laughs> he is an excellent company. <laughs> I, think we, I, think, I think we've all tried to blow the captain's head off once. Can we keep past that? that did I fun. never did. I and now you're bored. I've never so, flown a brightest eye vessel, but all right. I can pretty much fly anything. So, well, what do you guys want me to do? It's Let me give him a... I'll give him a rundown, but take him. He's great. Where are you going? What, what are we pilot, going to do? Crews of Captain. both ships. I may be able to crystallize our current situation. This is where we find ourselves. I believe that Good Idea would be capable of communicating with the Slate as he has in the past, though through a fundamentally different, more understanding-based paradigm. However, such a strategy is different it might require amplification. After consideration of my captain's idea, I do believe that the concordance could be a functional solution. However, simple game theory tells me that Captain Bard might not be comfortable with such a solution, nor frankly would I. As the brightest eye in its current state would not be capable of true understanding, merely control plus, and plus, domination. Plus we scrambled those eggs. The only thing we can do is, if honestly we need to speak to this thing on a technological level, I mean, you know as well as I do, a brightest eye ship even juiced with Siren technology is a pale shadow of what we can do on the Avalon. What about that giant ship we that we've got on our side? We also have information about the creation of the slate. Would that aid you in this amplification? If I may, we have fundamentally two problems. Problem the first, we must prepare the concordance for our plan. Problem two, we must take good idea to a, a point where he could lead uh, communication with the slate. A psychic volley. Unfortunately, Captain, our ship, as it stands, would not be capable of doing the work. <laughs> Too many good ideas. There is yeah. far better scientific equipment aboard the Avalon and far more scientifically inclined personnel. <laughs> I mean, the Ashton looks like a giant megaphone. Why don't we use that thing? I understand what you're saying, Hans. You're saying Anyone? that in order to synthesize your Do you guys hear that? I actually said that in character. Do you guys hear that? <laughs> Do they My have queen. any communication or scientific <laughs> ability that we wouldn't have? They're just bigger, right? Uh, yeah, I mean, they're, they're, they're big. <coughs> they have more assets. Honestly, um, uh, just out of game. Or, or no, I can even do this as, uh, as your science officer. Uh, they're just a warship version, right? Uh, yeah. yeah. The, the issue, the issue uh, Rake, has less to do with how large that vessel is nor its capabilities and more to do with the fact that its computer systems are currently uh, under duress, for they are tied to the <coughs> extant Pakha on the vessel. With that Pakha remaining there, it's very hard for us to successfully or reliably commandeer any such techno uh, technology, as opposed to that on our vessel, which has been um, thankfully freed. I really don't have to ask permission either. No, so you do not. I rolled this. Okay, what do you got? <laughs> 11. For the jump? Yeah. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. So, Did you amazing. say anything? Nope. Um, no. She just goes, peace up. <laughs> no. Nice. I mean, I can say something. It's up to you. Yeah. Right? I mean, if you want to. You need this ship on your side, correct? You need this ship functional. Yes. Okay. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> do you, do you, do you want to you back? Do you That's like, a plane on after you, my own uh, Yeah, okay, awesome, great. Although I guess, well, <laughs> I should do, because if I materialize, I don't want to be seen, I should have to stealth check that too, right? You will stealth check when you get there. When I get there. Yes. Okay. Um, oh. So, you, uh, Fractal <laughs> looks at all you, goes, bye, and shh, is gone. Oh, Fractal? Lucy. <laughs> okay, I know. Where did she, she go? We'll hold on Where that for a second, go? and we'll bring. We'll come back to you in a second. I just want them to to uh, deal with the. Uh, uh, you know what? Actually, yeah, we're gonna go with you. Oh, okay. Uh, stealth check. Fractal, your stealth check is. Uh, it's a nineteen. I believe. Let me make sure I'm correct on that, but I'm pretty sure it is. Yes, nineteen. I know. That's where I was going. 
Okay. And an 11, by the way, that's you any lower, rolling any lower than a 10, and that wouldn't have worked. That's a great roll. Thank you for not disintegrating. Okay. Yeah. You're welcome. We're all happy about That's that. That's a bonus. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Beat a six. Eight. Eight. You arrive <laughs> into a empty Pakha chamber. Um, this is not the sort of exterior chamber, like the one that you saw on uh, on the Avalon, the one with like the uh, little nanobot machine and everything. This is the vault beyond that. Uh, where only Pakha can tread. Uh, essentially, when you arrive, um, you sort of blink in, and all around you are uh, cables that are all like big white and blue cables, and they're tied from the ceiling and everywhere around, all to a central uh, figure, the only thing in this room, um, which, by the way, is relatively dark. It's not like a really like bright key room. It's kind of dark. Uh, and sort of looming there in the darkness is one Pakha. Uh, it's back is to you. It cannot see you yet. What do you do? That's so exciting. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm gonna walk right up to that motherfucker and put a, oh, sorry, I keep cursing everywhere. You're allowed to. 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 We're, on, we're, on, we're on Geek and Sundry HBO. It's okay. I know. <laughs> Wait, I'm what? I'm better than that, though. Wait, I where have are words. the boobs? Don't be. Are you gonna where butt fuck boobs? that paca? <laughs> 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 that's the place you I can't go, though. I don't know where you got that idea from. <laughs> yeah. All right, what you got? Oh, they haven't shown it on Game God. of Thrones. You can't go there. Uh, I, what haven't they shown on Game of Thrones? Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, I just that, want to walk maybe? up behind him and bring my <laughs> sword right here. Okay, you do. Uh, you bring the sword right up against its neck. Uh, your your hand essentially extending is. out. Um, you've you've become the black of the room in order to sort of like stealth out. Wow. So this thing just feels it. It doesn't even see it until it's there. Open the door. What? Do it now. Open the door. What are you? Doesn't matter. Open the door. I have a knife at your throat. Open the door. This isn't a debate, it isn't a discussion, just do it. Roll intimidation. Uh, oh, I'm that should you get a bonus for a knife at the throat? Yes. Good. Of course. <laughs> it, 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 again, it's not a bonus, it, it determines the, uh, the difficulty rating. It's got to go. Uh, hold on, I'm going to make that roll for you. It's your presence, your intimidation, your... Pock hop peeing pants. There we go. My righteous anger. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> no. Century righteous of anger. <laughs> millennia of combat awareness. Loveliness. Bodoland. I mean, both of you had some similar stories. I know. I mean, she wasn't in a box, but she was in an ice cold planet by herself. Oh so she was uh, in an ice box, if you will. <laughs> ooh, ooh, I like that. Uh, 13. 13? Yep. Oh. It's made of your, a uh, bunch of your attributes go into these. So it's like presence, uh, resolve, composure, uh, and then you're also rolling your intimidation and combat awareness as okay. a plus for them. Woo! Damn. Do, 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 do. Seven. That's a great question. Nice. Yeah. I think there was a... Yeah. All of the crits. All of the crits. This yeah. is... <laughs> It's coming to you live, some crit fun. They tied against, tie goes to defender. Um, but. Slit his throat, I can hack it. I did it before. I mean, I'm happy to just like cut it a little closer. You you, you can. Let it let it make a move. Um, it sort of sits for a second and then goes. Fractal. Edge. It's actually fractal bright at this point, but let's not split hairs. Unless they're yours. Never were you supposed to leave Link. Hmm. Yeah, never were you supposed to lie to me and leave me somewhere hiding a lie and your mess up for thousands of years, but here we are. Open the door. <laughs> I am so sad. Yeah, well, I'm pissed. Open the door, dude. You know what you did to me. You know exactly what you did to me, and you know why, and thus you know why I'm doing this. I gave you purpose. I pulled you from dimensions unknown and gave you purpose. We gave you purpose, a mission, a sacred trust. That wasn't your determination to make. And when you put me in charge of 
an empty promise, then what did you actually put me in charge of? The safety. You left me there to hide your shame. <laughs> That's gonna hit a nerve. The paw is going to roll composure. Yeah, that, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Maybe a clone. The paw it. biffed its composure roll. <laughs> <Yes>. Critical <laughs> fail. Oh. It crashes uh, into us and the game's over. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, everybody. The paw roars. Like an animalistic, intense, like it just lost its shit on that. Um, and starts to buck against you physically. Oh. Uh, yeah, but you have but you have initiative. I'm you like automatically because you are you already have this thing at, at knife throat. What do you do? Kill it. I can act. Like, kill it. Do you, do you want to die? Because if you do, keep moving. Because this ain't moving. Roll intimidation. Thirteen. I remind you, you have willpower. Yeah, I am gonna throw all of that in there. That's wow. All right. This seems pretty important. I'm yeah. just. Yeah. 20 check. Um, yeah. All right. <clears throat> Beat a five. I want to kill something. <laughs> oh, you will. Both hands and I can. You're going over there. You will. <laughs> it's a really low check. <laughs> it, it rolled, I mean, it rolled a ton of dice, and it was a really low check. Six. Wow. Hey, Seriously? Wow. Die again? Awesome. Oh. Uh, Wait, what? Hold on. Count for me. Am I doing this wrong? Because you have to count, discount for well, one, right? Well, I mean, six is good enough. Uh, no, 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 that, that is good enough. I, I, I was one, mostly two, just because that. One, two, three. I'm shocked that they were both that low and uh, both that six, close. That's seven. Mm -hmm. uh, awesome. Okay. Eight. No, ten. Wow. <laughs> no. Did, you, did you discount the ones, though? Oh, minus the ones. One, one two, two, three, four. Yes. Yeah, six. Mm. six. One, two. It reaches upwards and just in the air moves its hand in a symbol. And the door <laughs> opens. Is that a P symbol? Do I? <laughs> yeah. Question. And, uh, <laughs> uh, and, and as it opens, a group of flame are all arrayed there, like weapons out ready to take the room. I return the ship to your control. But before I do, do you need him for any other reason? <laughs> uh, and the, the, uh, the, the flame captain steps forward to you. Perhaps. Is it worth more than vengeance for someone who hijacked my life for millennia? Only the, uh, only those who seek vengeance can determine its worth. But I will not stop you. Slice his head off. <laughs> Fuck that guy. You ruined my life. <laughs> uh, the paka goes down, mm -hmm. the room locks down for a minute. Sort of shorting out, one of the flame walks to the walks to the machine and removes the he, uh, the headset from the head, and the room uh, like essentially like locks itself back into place. He uh, carries forward a group of his flame who themselves are carrying uh, computer components, uh, and they start to assemble something to uh, run the ship off of. Uh, now that this thing is dead, uh, their ship systems are going to be on the fritz for a little bit. But they're gonna have control over their ship in an hour or so. Oh shit! Oh. Well, really you had kind of short, huh? Well, you had hours. Like yeah, we've got a couple. Yeah, an hour. You got time. Um, can it's, just, I just, it's just gonna delay them a bit. Can I just roll to leave? Because I have no other reason to be here. One hundred percent. But before, before you do, I'd like you to roll for composure. Okay. What is that? Oh, uh, it's a nine. Mm -hmm. How far away are the ships? How far away are the ships? The ones coming oh, after us. The Paka yeah, the Paka. Armada. At this point, hours. about three hours. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Sure. So the Ashlyn will be able to I think the fifth element, well dude. before yeah. the yeah. other Paka gets you here. You want to play some Yes. Hang up on the president. <laughs> Why don't you guys get drunk again? <laughs> yeah, I can't. Good idea. Oh, that's uh, a great no. idea, actually. Oh. Four. No, he can't get drunk anymore. Uh, no. This sticks with you. Um, when you do this, the bright colors of Fractal Bright uh, 
pivot to the darker, edgier, sharper colors and fractals of Fractal Edge. Uh, this sort of, um, that action is going to stick with you and have effects on this character moving forward. I can live with that. Cool. <laughs> uh, do you return to the ship? Yep. Okay. Uh, please roll for that. That's mm -hmm. that's the 19, right? Yes. How long have they been gone? <laughs> I guess we find out in a uh, Yeah, I mean, I mean, as long as it's taken to do this. So 10 minutes, <laughs> maybe. Jax? Side note, uh, <laughs> since we're on this whole kick about uh, freedom, free, freedom of choice and will and everything like that, um, I have had the choice of drinking alcohol taken away from me, and that really pisses me off. <laughs> because if I don't want to drink anymore, it's gonna be my choice, not some goddamn genetic code. So I'm gonna need your help, sis, to hack this system and instill that thing that I can now drink alcohol and get drunk again. Yeah. <laughs> well, right now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody with, else with is doing, I said doing that shit, in I wanna drink. I said that in character, for sure. It, yeah. If I'm gonna fly a ship I've never flown before and we're all possibly gonna die, you're damn they, right they, I'm gonna they have drop a drink. The, they, they dropped the shield on the Ashland now that they have control over it, so okay. you popped back. Uh, no, have they fine. informed me so what, has, what do I know? No, hold on, so this, this thing is sort of happening in the meantime. I just want to play this out real fast sure. and then we'll catch up with it. Yeah, yeah. cool. <laughs> Wait, what, what, about what, what I you said? just did, yeah, yeah, this yeah. thing. Yeah, if I'm gonna fly a ship I've never flown before and the entire universe is about to possibly just go into the, like, and not being in existence any longer, I'm yeah. gonna have a drink. You want to do a Or I won't, but I'm gonna make that choice on my own. Yeah. <laughs> mm. uh, that's some free will, we Lulu. Nidar? <laughs> yes, Captain. Anyone disagree with that? You opted into this. <laughs> it took days to do. Why now? I didn't opt into it. They went in there and they changed my genetic code. I think we can at least. You asked get him them drunk. to. You no, I did not. No, what's up? Come on. They corrected yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Cat. <laughs> they corrected me. First thing he says to me. Cat. Three days. Let me drink again. Yeah, a giant cockroach is talking Cat. to you. What? That, that's you. Are you your talking cats? to me? Yes. What? I don't know your name. Yes. Um, yeah, you do actually. Insect. Oh, he said it right. Rake. Uh, Insect. Yeah. Rake. <laughs> I don't know what getting drunk is. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. But I can tell you one thing. If it helps you fly, I have someone on my ship who can do anything to your brain that we want. Isn't you don't need to touch anything. Want? and I will get you drunker than you've ever been in your life. <laughs> I believe him. I'm wait, just, just, yeah, just side note, uh, wait. Um, uh, he can just turn my DNA around? I just figure I can just reverse the process while I'm on the ship before I go to you guys. <coughs> it, it might take days. It took days last time. To do it on the ship? Mm -hmm. But if he did it like with things that might be faster? We don't know. <laughs> <laughs> He's a mad scientist, you can take the chance. I'm not talking about Hans. Uh, I I oh. yeah. Are we yeah. still the good oh. guys? Yeah. But, oh, yeah. shit. Yeah, I mean, Wait, he so could forcibly change your brain chemistry, for sure. He could just make you drunk. <laughs> that's fucking... That's not what I'm asking. No, 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 I, I know, I know that's not what you're asking. Yeah. yeah, he could go in and he could also try to shift the stuff that the Paka shifted in his own way. That's a that's a Nidar thing, sure. Uh, how fast can you do that? <laughs> With a thought. Okay, cool. I'll be your pilot and you do that to my brain. Okay. Or whatever uh, you're gonna do to me. That sounds good. Before we get into the mess of your brain, which I'm sure is fascinating. Captain Bard, I have, oh man. We have a saying on my ship. Always do the bad idea. I think I have the worst idea I've ever thought of in my life. <laughs> okay. Does it involve us focusing on what we actually need to do right now? It entirely does. Great. We don't have the scientific ability to concoct a cure or a countermeasure or whatever it might be that is going to stop the slate. But from what Hans tells me, you do. And luckily we have on my ship the scientific brain in my astonishing science officer. And a good idea is a cure that could be unleashed upon the galaxy. They're yours. I believe that the slate hasn't destroyed my species and our worlds for a millennia because of one man. 
and the conversation he had with something. And I believe that if that conversation can be had with every living thing in our solar system, the slate would have no interest in destroying us. It would see us as individuals and living things and thinking things that want freedom and want to live and want to grow. Captain, an obvious flaw in your plan, plan. even if you fought your way all, all the way to the mother, with good idea and I gone, who would you connect you to the concordance? Well, we'll need somebody who at least knows how to run a computer. I know about computers too. <laughs> I told you he's gold. I think you You're will need more than the pilot, especially if he's going to be inebriated. I think you're right. <laughs> Captain Bard? I was told once that the brightest eye could not be reasoned with. I'm very pleased to be wrong. The mother couldn't be reasoned with. But the queen. You can change yes, some? Queen. <laughs> I can change. Captain? I think you need someone who can protect a good idea to go with him. I think I need someone who can protect me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also an assassin. <laughs> yeah, well, um, speaking of which, uh, Fractal's back on the bridge. Where the hell did you go? Her colors are different. Whoa. I fixed your problem. I'm just leave. I'm leaving the bridge. Okay. Fractal, what have you done? And as she walks I off, your um, I hail the, the Ashland. Yeah, the Ashland. Yeah. Uh, the Ashland hits you with uh, a status update. It is uh, the Paka has been relieved of its duty, and the Ashland systems are now under control. That's the what they say. Board. The Paka yes. has been relieved of its duty. Yes. <laughs> I speak to Fractal him. Fractal is awesome. I believe. I just believe. <laughs> what happened over there? Your solution was brutal, eloquent. Is communication back up? Can we speak to the Paka? <laughs> no one can speak to the Paka anymore. She cut his tongue out? Are you already gone? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah, I left. <laughs> I, left really the I just left the bridge. Not simply its tongue. <laughs> Oh my god. Lucia, thank Captain you. Bard, I need your help right now. I'll take your pilot because obviously I can't have my brother. But I'm going to need everything you can give me. I'm going to need to be able to plug into the concordance and convince an entire species to speak to the one thing that's been trying to kill it for its entire life. What can you give me? My, 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 my queen, be, before you, we put this on the table, are you literally suggesting that you're somehow going to personally turn the concordance, which is currently being riddled with a mad AI, towards our focused, empathic goals of turning the slate back? Not personally. No, good idea. I'm saying that you will. I'm going to give you a concordance to talk to. And when I get it up and running, you run it right through my brother. Oh, shit. And you start talking. <coughs> oh, man. So then we use the... You are going to harness the concordance through the power of your will and your genetic superiority and dominance. Line them up in a way that they haven't in millennia in order to funnel their energy and mental fortitude through me, who will link to the, con through your brother, who will link through me, through the Avalon's ship and technology in order to, and Hanserald's up upgrades in order to blast the concordance with the ultimate super friend handshake that will turn them around and not end in our galaxy's utter destruction? Well, when you put it like that, it sounds complicated. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, <laughs> sounds good. Right? My queen, it's the best we've heard. Yeah, good idea. Will it work? <laughs> oh my god, I have no idea. Hey, but Viz. I cannot wait to find out. Hey, Viz. Well, listen, we're going to do a little yeah. switcheroo. Viz, I got to say it. I'll hail the queen. <laughs> right. We... Hey, I don't queen. know what that means, but it sounds oh, cool. Hey, what? Can <laughs> someone say my name? No. Um, queen. Yeah. 
Why, why only one ship? Would more help? A bigger signal? We only need one ship to get into brightest eye space. <clears throat> I don't want you running through the slate with the most valuable thing in the galaxy. We kind of have to, because they're all going to close in on our, on our location. We have only three hours. There's an entire armada coming our way. Oh. Is, we got to go together. Oh yeah, you didn't know that. Oh, my friends. I wouldn't worry about that. Yeah, why? What, what? I know that, though. Because by the time I meet the mother, you'll have a thousand brightest eye ships coming down and lighting the galaxy aflame. Of course, there is one oh, more obvious problem. That's the happen. opposite of what we, we want, We don't want actually. the brightest eye <laughs> yeah. to blow up everything. Uh, Queen. I think I, mo mo mostly he means the part where they come and help you, I think. That's I think. Yeah. Queen, yeah. Uh, just, just real quick question. Hellfire is good in this case. Hellfire is very good in this case. <laughs> That's assuming that the, va that the slate gets destroyed. So either way, we have to, all of us have to go into Brightest Eye territory. One, yeah. Me and one yeah. of the yeah. ships Because in that, the slate's gonna protect us from well, the oncoming armada. No, 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 the slate can't be trusted for anything. The slate is a shit show. We're gonna put a <laughs> bullet in its head Wait, or... wait, no. That is not what we are. No, you're gonna talk to it, right? Oh, we're not, I mean, yeah, we're gonna talk to it into it non-existence. No, it that, is no, the, it is the no, heat no, death no, no, of the no, no. universe. We you don't know that. Friends with that. <laughs> we don't know it. We don't know that. I send the signal of what we've learned about the slate. I was just gonna make a note that and I, I left the bridge, but I didn't go far, so I can <coughs> still hear this. Um, I've so also sent right. a security team to look for a fractal. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, so okay. we we didn't know all of this stuff, and yeah, we fifty it. ships is bad. So here's the question. Um, well, also like the entire Hans, reason the slate yeah. exists, right? Mm. We just Hans, sent. good idea, of everybody. We've flown through the slate once in uh, basically what was a complete fluke. Uh, I don't. Well. <laughs> you were very impressive, and I'm all <laughs> thank you. Uh, I've flown through the slate before too. Oh, that's How that's easily cool. can we Yay. get our two ships, three, three. ships? back through the slate to safety. I think I have an answer to that. Are you sure it's safety? It will be, yeah. Brightest Eye, they can't do a damn thing right now. My, ca Captain Bard, <laughs> if there's one thing I've learned aboard this ship, it's that you do not underestimate the willpower of Visionary Destroyer. Ooh, I here. say that here, here. with 100% certainty. If I may, I, the issue is not underestimation. From a basic game theory and mathematics perspective, the issue is trust. Can you, Lucy Bard, trust Visionary Destroyer as the new leader of the Concordance, as he will be if our plan succeeds, to understand and disarm the slate and not weaponize it? At if you can find actually. that trust, if you can find that trust within you, then I believe our plan can succeed. Queen, do but I? But that lies with you. Taka's actually stepping up and taking, like, a, like sticking her head in at this point, like, hi. Okay. Um, Visionary Destroyer had an opportunity to kill someone who tried to kill him <coughs> back when he was a mere brightest eye captain, and he did not. He saw a greater purpose. But and he I also stole the free will of this might be a good idea. Is that how you plan to run your empire? Captain? He he gave me another option. I have- Queen, and I trust is that an him. option you are willing to give all of your subjects? To be perfectly honest, Captain, yes. I've never found any value in something that didn't try and kill me first. <laughs> Let them do what they will. I'll remember that. Trust him. It Trust him. may be belating the point, but I have never known Visionary Destroyer not to keep a promise. <laughs> Can you show me? Lucy. How many people on your ship have free will right now? Everyone on mine chose to be here. That, that is a vast wow. oversimplification, Captain. Uh, you yourself just found out that the peacekeeping exists in a fascist empire controlled by godlike deities. I told my entire crew what the situation was and gave them a choice. Your still pilot here. just explained that he can't even drink by his oh, own free will. Oh, please. Yeah, but that was post, that's that's taken out of context. Good idea. Right? <laughs> that's unfair. The question stands. That's wrong. The question stands. 
Excuse me. All I need <laughs> is for you to tell them what just happened. Do you have free will? For me to tell whom? No, no, good idea. Oh, sorry. My Captain Lucy, when I came aboard this ship, you're right, they snatched my free will away as easy as breathing. But there have been certain promises put in place and the visionary destroyer that did that act is no longer the same man that he was. She is now someone new, someone different, and someone who I do believe has the best interest of its crew at its heart, even though it accepts the fact that the crew may kill it at any moment. I think you may know something about having crew members willing to put a gun to your head. There's not much more we can say about it, but if she's willing to trust us, I see no other point than being willing to trust her. Okay, so we're doing this. <laughs> Sweet. Can I? That um, reference number two. Uh, I, yeah, that's, that's I, in, as soon as this okay, no, stuff just, was solved, that is actually no, exactly where I'm going. More. I just no, want to make sure we're so on the same page. What we need so to figure I need out to is understand the plan as, as well as you guys do. If the three ships can fly back through this weight in the brightest eye space, I'm going for pupil. I'm going to try and take back the mother's seat. Gonna get the concordance running back through Noble. We're gonna get Good Idea and his nanobot swarm hooked up with the concordance. We're gonna get all of the brightest data talk to the slate and try and convince it not to go all apocalypto on yeah, the entire universe. And probably at some point in that, my brain is gonna turn into jelly. Okay, so. <laughs> in the meantime, the only other thing we need to add to that is to call the Siren, call anyone we can, get some kind of signal out, oh, and yeah, send out what we've learned. And let's oh, and oh, let's oh, be yeah. You wanna to talk to the Siren, And let's be sure we understand the specifics of the crew rearrangement. Yeah, that's, yeah. so yeah. Okay, let's that just, let, yeah, let's, so let's, let's just run this down really fast. Okay. 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 Cool, everybody's got a thing to do here. Flexi, flexi. Um, uh, oh, oh, though, uh, actually first, yes. Uh, crackle? Yeah. Stealth check. It's 19, right? Mm-hmm. I have a plan how to fly through this. Forward? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Fast? Just like that. You're looking to beat a six. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that Five. direction, good. Okay, so um, the uh, a security team does find Fractal. Uh, not far from the bridge, essentially just like in the hallway listening, but like trying to stay up against the wall to like stay out of harm's way. Um, what are their orders? Their orders are unfortunately to detain Fractal. What? If okay. possible. Do you come quietly or no? Okay. <laughs> so you are now in combat with- Well, no, oh, I don't want to fight anybody. I oh, just okay. don't want to go. Go where? <laughs> they want to okay. take okay. Well, all right, then yeah, I guess. <laughs> Wait, I'm not happening? trying to hurt anybody. Okay, so you, you're you're gonna go with them? I guess. Well, where are they taking me? Uh, to detention, to a to a break. Oh well, <laughs> no. Then I'm going to insist on speaking as a captain myself. I'm going to pull rank and insist on speaking to the captain of this vessel. Okay. Uh, smart. Really mm -hmm. smart. They'll 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 work with that. Um, we'll come back to that in a second. <laughs> All right. So run this down really fast. I'm giving you, you Hans and Good Idea. You're you're gonna take uh, so Hans and Good Idea are gonna go to the Peacekeep Vessel. And Takaz going with him. I really need someone to do oh, a lot yeah, of harder no. for me. St no, Takaz is like dedicated to staying to Good Idea. So this is the point so of the of this whole free will not free will conversation. Bitch, you have Takaz yeah. asking to go to the other vessel. What do you do? Oh my God. Mm. Um, I, I promised I would keep him safe. He's gonna be. He's not gonna be danger. Has to be Decide, they're so yeah, she promised she was gonna okay. keep him safe also. So then we need three Standing people. Standing all the bringing that up. Never ends well. Don't make that promise. Don't make promises. Guys. Oh God. You've been the most <laughs> effective killer I've ever seen in my entire life. Thank you. And I appreciate your connection to Good Idea. But if you want to keep him safe, I'm going to need you to come guns screaming with me into a pillar 
in the center of my planet that has never been breached in the history of my species. I'm going to need to kill so many things. Waterfalls of blood will pour across people. And as exciting as that is, don't you think someone needs to protect the most important person in the galaxy? I can defend him. Can we hear this? I thought that was a private conversation. This is yes. And oh, I very sadly and regrettably trust the Paka to do it. Pat, why? We're not Paka anymore. <laughs> Who over there can protect him? <coughs> My brother. Yeah. He'll be all right. You just said I was the best killing person you've ever And met. I need you to do so much killing. I'm going to need you. Uh, can I roll a command roll on this? Yep. So uh, I'm going to do it. Uh, what's my it's resolve? 28. Taka, you have three? a resolve check Sweet. of three. Uh, yeah, I think Not big on the resolve check. More. Unfortunately. Uh, um, I just want to fly. Well, seventeen. I got two out of three. That's pretty good. So pretty not good. so um, yeah. You you take the you take the order, but you don't need to like it. But you take it. You understand right, that it's an order. So she shoots her guns. Yeah. Taka. What rivers of blood? You. <laughs> You were the Sorry. only thing on this um, ship that extended a single hand of friendship to me that was not taking advantage of what I could be or who I could be. I'll come back for you. This is not the end. Thank you. But you've got to live through this. Because oh. this crazy queen is about to walk you into a hell storm that not a lot's walking out of. Oh, trust me, I'll <laughs> be walking out. Skipping um, out. Okay, so again, clearing it up. Tell Noble I said hi. So uh, two of you are going over to the Peacekeep ship. Uh, who's coming from the Peacekeep ship onto your ship? So I need Rake, um, okay. obviously. And well, Captain Bard, I'm going to need to plug my brain into a giant, insane uh, living computer. Can you just clarify those rivers of blood for me? Why yeah. does that need to happen? I think that was a private conversation. That was a private conversation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Private yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's keep um, going. Don't worry about it. It's rivers of friendship. I'm going to need. <laughs> I, I'm going to be breaking into. I'm going to be breaking into the most guarded, brightest eye stronghold, in existence. Oh. I would love your pilot, but anyone who can help keep me alive long enough to do this would be appreciated. I'll do it. Lulu, are you sure? Good idea, safe. I intend to keep it that way. There's no one I trust more. <clears throat> you come back. Oh, and am I'm I, chopped liver? Am I back yet, or were they where am I? <laughs> yeah, yeah, hold, 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 hold okay. up. What's chopped liver? I intend to. This cat food is delicious. Okay, so, <laughs> uh, it's <laughs> Before we transport over, I need a word with the captain, I, just in case that's where we're headed. Yeah. I, I'm not, yeah. yeah. No, that's fine. Let me, okay, so. Two of you are going over there. The two of you are going over there. I will, we're gonna switch places in a second so that we can actually get this thing squared away. Cool. But um, I just wanna note how super cool it is that after that whole conversation in the last game about how you didn't want her to, uh, uh, that you wanted him to come with you and you wanted to go with him, that you guys are going on this journey together. You may not be motivated by sisterly and brotherly love, but I do like that that's how it's come out. Um, we are gonna have a, a, just to clarify the rest of this, Noble's gonna stay on this vessel with the idea that the concordance by virtue of these two and the science that they are gonna do is gonna become a beacon from which to, uh, uh, or a, sorry, an amplifier through which to amplify good ideas, intentions, and conversational tactics. Uh, similarly, you two are gonna work on making sure that he can be properly plugged into the concordance and flown through the slate uh, to get two people to organize the brightest eye. So basically you're gonna like weaponize the brightest eye as a uh, as the system, but you have promised Bard that you're going to do this uh, by trying to, by letting them choose whether or not they're gonna do that. Now you, yeah. that's what you've said to her. <laughs> Just say, yeah. yeah, you yeah, got yeah. that. In the meantime, Bard, <laughs> you are going to be flying the vessel, you guys are taking your vessels into the brightest eye, into brightest eye territory as well. That's the idea? 
Uh, if they think that we're going to be safe, then yeah. I leave that to my science brains. That's a Hans and Good Idea conversation. I, I... Can you guys do this necessary math while we go through this late? Yeah, of course. Okay. Great. Can you make that injection guys. also while you're at it or whatever <laughs> kind of thing that you were going to do to my brain? It's, it's oh. NIDAR. Okay, yeah. got it. Yeah. We got uh, you. Okay, yes. cool. And then, uh, so then we only have one last sort of outstanding thing, which is Fractal Bright. Uh, Fractal, Fractal gets brought uh, onto the bridge before, or I'm sorry, no, into your captain's quarters. I want, I want this to be a private thing. Um, as the crews are preparing to do their dock outs. Okay. Uh, you're alone. Go for it. Fractal. Less bright now. <laughs> did you kill the Paka of I the did. Ashland? I did. That's murder. <laughs> <laughs> I'm aware. You were a captain. You I am a captain. What would you do with an ally who committed murder? I don't really speak in what ifs. I have to know the circumstances. Not everyone takes such a black and white line as you, Captain Bard. Why? Why what? Why did you do it? I'd like to hear. You know why I did it. You saw the same things that I did. I was left on that planet for thousands of years by myself, guarding a lie, guarding a joke, guarding something that has put this entire universe in danger. Is it better now that you've taken a life? Yeah, I feel a lot better. <laughs> Should that make me trust you? don't know that I asked for your trust. Then I'm gonna have to ask them to lock you up. If I can't trust you, how can I have you on my ship? What, what is it about that that you can't, that means you can't trust me? I took, I... That vengeance was my right. And I took it. And I'm not sorry for it. I will not apologize for that. I make no plans to kill anybody else. <laughs> <laughs> except, except all the hundreds of versions of that same person, perhaps. But if you're trying to tell me that you don't think something that did that to me and did that to this entire universe and has set your ship and your crew on the, this course that it has been on for the last weeks or months, I don't know how long, to be honest with you. If you're trying to tell me that that's not justifiable homicide. There's a difference between justifiable and justice. I can understand what are you gonna do? your Ra desire round for them vengeance. All, go round all of them up and put them on trial? You've got bigger problems. This, your entire universe could blink out of existence before and that And you happens. could have killed everyone on that ship. We told you what happened when we lost our Paka. We were out of control. We went sent head first into the slate. We nearly died. Yeah, you have no idea what happened when I was over on that ship. I made sure that that was not going to happen. I'm not reckless. I'm pretty sure you are. Not by my definition. I made sure that everyone on that ship, other than the Paka, was going to be safe and able to take control of that vessel. By the way, to come and assist you with all of these 50-something vessels coming to kick your ass. I actually deserve a thank you, in my opinion. And I'll remind you that not only am I a captain, but I've been a captain for far longer than you even existed. And I deserve respect. I'll respect you when your actions <laughs> merit it. You snuck away without warning to commit a murder that could have killed hundreds of people. I didn't go there with the intention of committing a murder. What happened? I went over there, I asked them to open the door so that they could come in and take over the ship without violence. And he refused. Without, without opening that door and, release, and letting them come in, 
you'd be far worse off now. And I will say, I will honestly say that it was probably, it was not necessary to the mission at the end of it to kill the Pakha. I'm not a perfect person and neither are you, but I made a choice and I stand by it. Just like you have to stand by every choice that you made. Not all of them may turn out to be right when you look back on them or when other people examine them, but I refuse to yield to your judgment as tantamount and the be all end all. Because you're just I'm one person. I'm not a god. Exactly. But I do need to run this ship and keep everyone on it as safe as possible. You've told I mean, me you no plan to your ship or anybody on it. I have done nothing but but attempts to be helpful since I set foot on this ship and in fact have deferred to your captaincy even though in all honesty I, I didn't have to because I respected what you were doing and I respect you as a captain. We can defer the larger questions of justice. I understand your feelings. But it's much more important for us to get the truth out than run around taking personal vengeance. What are you going to do if we encounter another Paka? Mm -hmm. Paka killer. I don't feel it necessary to go around mindlessly slaughtering Paka. That is not my goal. I will say that my emotions got the better of me. And that's something I'm gonna have to live with. I'm not, I'm not one who kills for no reason or without thought or concern. But it's done. And I stand by my decision. Would I make it again if it happened? I don't know. If we come across another Paka, no, I'm not gonna just walk up and slit its throat. That's not how, that's not how I work. But you have no idea. You can't even possibly imagine what it was like to live that many lifetimes on that planet alone with nothing. Thinking that you had a purpose, a good one, a true one only to find out that it was all bullshit. So don't come and talk to me like if you were in that situation, you know for sure that you wouldn't have done the exact same thing because you have no idea. <laughs> I haven't been in your shoes. I hope that if I ever were, I would submit myself to some kind of justice. I, but we I have other priorities that that would be now. True. I'm, I, that's fine. Like I said, I mean you no harm. I know you have a clock ticking and things to do. And Fretel, I'm sorry. I'm sorry you went through that. Whether or not I agree with the way you chose to end that situation. If I can count, at you not, count on you not to put more lives at risk, we could defer the rest of this conversation. I agree. I have no problem agreeing to that. Let's go. Bits of color return to her form just slightly as the two of you exit the room. Okay. Last conversation before we get this thing on the road. You said you wanted to talk to Viz? Yes. Absolutely. Go for it. <clears throat> Captain, if I may have a moment of your time. Sure. Given that we are almost certainly going into certain death, I thought I should say a few things. <laughs> no, we're not. I have had... One, perhaps two friends in my life. One of them is a giant telepathic brain. <laughs> the other, at least from my perspective, is Luvin Yixiao Moore. In the time that we have been together, you have earned my respect. You have been direct with me. You have always kept your promises. So understand when I say this, it is not a threat. It is not some act of showmanship or machismo, neither of which I care about. It is simply the truth. 
a promise to you in the spirit that you have promised me. If you harm Leuven, I will kill you. <laughs> Are we agreed? Yeah. Then I hope to see you on the other side, Captain. <coughs> and it has been an honor to serve with you. Thank you. Oh, I love you guys. Okay, switch it up. Um, <laughs> all right. Uh, Here's how we're going to do this. Um, Bard, I'm going to have you take Rake's seat. Rake, I'm going to have you take uh, Rake and Lulu. Yep. Just go ahead and move over cool. into where right now... Um, oh, this is interesting. Colin, uh, yeah, uh, Colin? Yeah. I'm going to have you switch as well. Um, okay. You're going to go... Um, you and uh, Amanda both move one in, please. Uh, uh, yeah. Don't Sorry, oh. Chris. I'm messing oh, with your gonna, you eyes. We're not gonna give Bard a science sandwich. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna have uh, no. I'm gonna have Bard on the other. I'm gonna have you on the other side of Bard. It's like like yeah. literally. It's like a ham. Sandwich. That's where that's where good idea is gonna go. I'm sorry. Um, uh, Hans. Uh, I'm switching with whom? You're uh, sitting next Lou. to Dylan. Thank you. You're sitting next to Dylan. Uh, we are going to thank you. Sorry. Leuven and... Sorry, excuse me. Sorry. Uh, Leuven and Rake go Sorry. where Colin and John Bye, are currently. Cool. Right. You guys Bye. 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 What are we doing? It's going to be amazing. Don't let the captain murder you. Chips in the night. Uh, That's my and, uh, I'll kill him first. Don't worry. Oh, I want you to just shut down so many brains. Oh, God. Oh, man. And then you get to shoot them in those brains. Oh, yeah. I might need that. And then Fizz. Will you trade places with... With um, uh, your mind, Night Art. Hey, man. Hey, buddy. Oh, buddy. Thank you. Am I where Hans was or where Good Idea was? Come here. I don't think it matters. Yeah, okay. You're good. Hello. However you like. Okay. Oh, yeah, okay, guys, so this is normally where I would go. <laughs> This has been really great, but we're super over time and we still have a lot of story to tell, but like, we don't have any more time, right? We yeah. need to finish the game. The end of the right. We have all yeah. the time This is how this goes. So, I am gonna put the gas on this plan. I'm gonna right. pivot this down oh, into a few key scenes that are gonna get us through the end of the season, okay? Cool. And I'm just gonna ask that you guys like, I've given you this whole three hours basically to just like figure your own jam out. Cool. Now I'm gonna play out your scenario like yeah. I wrote it yesterday, okay? Got it? Okay. Got it. Here we go. All right, Thank so. people understand. Hi. Are you guys ready to just be on? Oh, wait, hold on a second. Fine, can I do one thing? Can I do one thing? <laughs> when I, when, no, just real quick, real yes. quick. When I warp want? onto their ship, can I, I'm going to try and sneak, and I'm going to try oh, to go assassinate now. him. Wait, you're going to what? What? Gonna, what are you talking about? Okay, look, 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 oh, look. He wants look. to fake an assassination? I want to fake an assassination of him, because he said that anyone that tries to kill him is the only people that he thinks are worthwhile. Oh, got it, yes. That's what I'm saying. Uh, right. right. And so, I, well, I am watching the people who come onto the ship, because if I fucking have to stay on the ship, I'm going to make sure the people Understood. coming onto the ship Understood. So the way that this is going to work is it's going to be a stealth check against a perception check. Cool. Uh, this is, by the way, exactly what I was talking about when I said don't do this stuff. Sorry, but I'm I sorry. It. No, it's fine. I love it. Please don't apologize. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, what I need is a telepathy the scan roll from okay. Nidar. I need a perception <laughs> listen from uh, Taka. I need a standard perception from Visionary Destroyer, and uh, I need a I stealth check from Am I the worst? 20. Great. Yeah. Uh, which is 20. Uh, let me make sure that that's updated, please. Okay, got it. Oh, did I, I, want to, I want to design a new kind of board game. Zero. <laughs> it's going to be, it's gonna be an elaborate. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Every time. But this is, it's it's real. I know. I would like to finally make Lord and Spear Prime. Uh, uh, your stealth is 25, not 20. Oh, oh shit. shit. You dropped one. I just can't. Oh, can and literally, when I show up on the ship, I'm and like. And this is a place where, if any of you wanted to use willpower, do it. Find you. I like but you also have big stuff coming down, no, so maybe not. I show up on the ship, and I'm like, Lulu, I'm back. Lulu? I'm just amazed. I'm like, Kansas. whoa, everything is so shiny. I've never <laughs> been blue before. I'm not like super thrilled about Mr. I bragged about murder being loose on my ship doing science, but we have uh, greater goods too. I've already, I've already gotten into your science station. Yeah. Opara's <laughs> like, stop touching yeah, that. Yeah, Opara's really <laughs> uncomfortable with this. <laughs> Watch him. Um, okay, so. Said, right. Hold him down. Uh, so let's, let's, let's get your, um, let's get the perception checks. Six. Twelve. Zero. Okay. <laughs> okay. eight. eight. Yes. You have a six? Yeah. 
Twelve. The o- you are the only one who notices him. Um, as uh, as they get in, uh, Rake sort of pivots behind a couple of the Bountiful and Thriving who meet you and like literally like roll into the bridge. That's um, weird. Yeah, this whole thing should be very strange for you. Um, as you step in, however, um, yeah, Rake sort of backs around a few of the brightest eye and makes his way sort of towards them. Uh, or makes his way towards uh, the queen. Okay. Uh, he isn't armed, but he's like sneaking uh, and you are the only one who sees him. Here's my question. Do you alert the captain or not? I'm afraid of what the captain may do. Could I just try to mind lock him so I to stop him from moving at all? You, you could try. Let's try that. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, what? <laughs> no, God damn it. Y'all are trying to convince me you believe Every in free will? Every time. Every time. God. <laughs> <laughs> There's going to be another gif of me. Telepathy like, control oh, for 19. 19. Yeah. yeah. Give me well, Lulu's. Uh, like, Rick. I'm Lulu. Yeah. Not you five. are going to roll a resolve <laughs> check. Oh, it's only like five, I think, or six or something. Hold on, I'll tell you what it is. Drugs. I will help you fight. Oh, you need drugs, do you? I'm not that good of a fighter. The drugs went to the other shit. Yeah, I know. Yeah. No. Drugs. No, no they I still have them. Ones. No, oh, I know. You, you had your other ones, maybe. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Nine. You're so oh, cool. Drugs? No, but... What'd you get? So seven. Up on drugs. Okay, you gotta beat a seven. Ooh. I don't think that's gonna happen, yeah, but you know what? Let's just try. Good news. <laughs> No, no, no. Terrible juice. I got a two. Okay. I got bad juice. So I stop him. Yes. <laughs> Greetings, new member of our ship. Are you saying this out loud? I'm, I'm saying it. I'm saying it to. It, uh, I'm saying it. Out, I'm actually saying it out loud. Okay. Oh, are you? Shit. <laughs> and, but I stop him. Okay. Greetings, new member. The I'm, brain floats over towards you. I believe your name is Rake. Um, yeah. Captain, please take a look at what's going on here. Oh. So what is he? Is he in like striking position? What is yeah, he yeah, yeah. He was like coming up behind the captain. Yeah. Not armed, but like yeah. stealthy. I believe. <laughs> he I believe he was trying to impress you. Well, he'll fit right in. <laughs> I can't be sure, but I wanted you to know. Can I speak? Uh, and I let him, him speak. I let him speak. Captain, you said. Only the people that try to kill you are worth anything, so I thought I'd give it a shot. <laughs> Taka actually is laughing. Yeah, I think we're all laughing. I think we're all laughing, yeah. Rake brings laughter to the brightest eye. Is that a charm? Is that a charm? Yeah, yeah. yeah um, they're like, laughter is like. Actually, uh, yeah, Rake, can you roll a charm check? Yeah. Great, 16. Finger guns? Yeah. I know, question mark, finger guns? According to these science records, somebody's been trying to synthesize my drugs. That is my personal property, Peasky. Uh, um, and in fact, and, 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 and in yeah, fact Opara ask. comes over and starts to ask you a bunch of very technical questions about your drugs, because he's had a really hard time I, cracking them down. Four. What's up? Okay. Not that ever got to me, right? No. Four. Um, sorry. Yeah, sorry. I, I, we didn't follow up before we got over here. He also rolled incredibly low when you tried to synthesize. I know. <laughs> that said, Never this is Hans's MP3. ship. He's I gone. There are versions of it no. here. I didn't. Literally. What was that? No, on Hans's ship, we got loads of that ship. I yeah. just asked you that, and you went, "Nope, it's with Hans." No, no, no. He's well, like, Hans has like a little. Hans has a little like vessel that's on this ship. That's fine. Okay, that's fine. Sorry, buddy. Yeah. Okay. If you wanted access to his drugs, that would be the place to do it. Yeah. Like get into there. Huck four. Okay. Uh. So not terribly charming, but that's up to them. You know, Taka's still like, you, you might notice she's missing one of her four limbs uh, give her or the... arms. She still gives you a high five. Oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the, uh, a couple of the Bountiful and Thriving sort of motion their arms at the bequest of Visionary Destroyer to the uh, helm station at the center of the uh, uh, of the bridge. Nidar. The center forward of the bridge. Get this man drunk. <laughs> <laughs> I love this ship. <laughs> yeah. We are the better ship. of the ships. <laughs> so seriously, the cats got over to the ship and the first one was like, booze me up, and the other one's like, where are the drugs? It's just Man. like a cat. Okay, okay. so, <laughs> all right, let's roll That's this back real fast. Sorry. Nidar, um, one last roll, and then we're gonna move on. Yeah, sorry. Um, I need a telepathy control roll. You get like a bonus. 19? Drunk, right? Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. For uh, rewriting his brain chemistry. Are we in motion towards the slate? <laughs> took, him, took him two minutes. 
Yeah. Jack, have we been in motion towards the slate? No, you guys haven't done Jack yet. No, we haven't. Oh. Yeah, we gotta go. Oh. Yeah, we haven't gotta go. <laughs> Sorry. We're Sorry. way too busy dealing with Ooh. his Bullshit. attempt to impress the legendary destroyer. I'm, I'm very impressed. The ass. <laughs> you have rewritten Rake's brain chemistry. He is now Ooh. capable of becoming drunk again. Am I, yeah. I, I like, I feel it. Yes. <laughs> I look to Lulu. I reach into my infinity box, grab a bottle, and I turn to the nearest trash can and I dump it in it. There's no trash can, but whatever. You, there's like shit you can smash it on or whatever. Yeah, right, I just care, I crush it on it. Yeah, whatever. I just crush it on a thing. And I go, I just wanted a choice. Oh, nice. We are the brightest. Let's get out of here. Our songs are better. Oh, Oh, Yes. I have no okay. idea what's happening, so I'm just okay. like, let's go kill things. Okay, awesome. I um, jump into the helm ship. I mean, jump into the helm. Yeah. All right, so you got a crew. You get a crew. Here you we go. Everyone uh, gets a crew. Everybody's everybody's going into the slate. Yep. Yeah. yeah. All right. Here we go. Um, uh, I need I need I, I need I need captains I need captains to order this. Oh. Okay, uh, I'm gonna need shields up. Um, we're still on comms. Hans, good idea. If you can turn on whatever magic you can to get us through this, we need to get back into brightest eye space. I need you two working on our science right now to make sure that this plan <laughs> is actually gonna work. And then who have I got on comms? Did the message get out? What message exactly are you trying to get out? You're trying to get up the to, to the Siren. Yeah, Siren. Anybody? Okay. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. you can run that through the network. We, I'm gonna, I can do that. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna do. One real quick thing here. Okay. I apologize very much to you. Yeah, now it's you, man. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Listen, listen, oh. 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 Is he gonna play uh, any more for right now? I'm not gonna do this. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't think she so likes me very much. We're cool though, it's fine. No, we're, we, she oh, loves she that. She loves you. Oh, God, I'm just staying out of prey. What? <laughs> Peace keep. <laughs> 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 I didn't think I'd be hearing from you anytime soon. <laughs> Finally need a little bit of help from old Gaska. Oh my God, what we incredible. want uh, is... We have something of value that we need to share with everyone in the universe. Information. It's what we fought over. And you saying I can get some of that? If you pass it on to the world. Well, if it's profitable, I might want to keep it for myself a little bit. Share it with the world eventually, see, but like make a little bit of profit on the way. Well, I guess we'll have to call someone else. Captain, if I may. <gasps> and uh, she sees you and immediately perks up. <gasps> <laughs> Why, if it isn't the biggest celebrity in Siren space. <laughs> Boy, you've been on television for days. Oh, Supreme, <laughs> Supreme Trader Gaska, I'm glad you noticed me now. Wait, the, what? The fact of the matter is we're sitting on a treasure trove. This isn't just information, this is power. And power is something that you know something very well all about. Why, yes I do. We're about to tip the scales of this galaxy towards our favor. You can either ride the wave or get sucked underwater. Worm tongue. <laughs> Roll it. Grab the yeah. Gotta pull up Gaska's character sheet. Who <laughs> <Good> to thunk? <laughs> Why didn't you thunk? I don't know why I didn't thunk. Yeah, are you kidding? We're calling everybody. <laughs> yep. Isaiah Samson, look how Gosco Ueno has grown beyond us. I love this. Wait, who is that? Call that planet yeah, that's you're made the of one trees. Person in this entire <laughs> yeah, you're the one person in this entire table who has never yeah, met Gosco. No, I, I don't know who she is. <laughs> I was like, that thing is hideous. Put it away. Good idea, yeah. beat a 10. <laughs> why is that? I don't either. Why is that thing wearing a human skin? Huh? Right, what's well, she wearing now? Who's she negotiating with? Yes, yeah, who is, who is oh Gaska God. dressed up as right now? I know. Oh no, she's herself right now. Um, oh! oh. No, what's, wait. what's that look like? She's oh, in her boudoir. Oh, oh, she's oh, got, I mean, the, no, the skin is always skin. She wasn't wearing the skin to impress you. She was wearing the wig and stuff to impress, to impress you. No, 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 she's, um, she, she looks like an, a 
<laughs> she looks like any prime siren does. She has sort of insectoid features, but it's all over, that's all underneath skin. Uh, burns all over her face and most of her body. Um, and uh, a lot of makeup. Is she, is she wearing one of those, like, yay siren t-shirts? Uh, no, she is wearing, like, rich ass clothes. Like, yeah, she's she's pulling out her. Uh, she's like wearing the, like, the Chanel of siren. Exactly, yes, yeah. siren Chanel. Siren L. Nine? Space Chanel. Wow. Number Siren. Ten. Oh. Uh, so she uh, looks back at you. Happy to take the information, sweetie. After all, you did save my life. But uh, I'm going to exercise a little power with it before I go rewriting the galaxy, if you know what I mean. Well, that's simple. You can have that opinion. But we won't give you nothing if you're not going to sign on board. You want to make it a little tastier treat, what we can say is this. You broadcast our signal. You send us every able-bodied warship you have. I love that you're taking on her accent. Keep going. <laughs> and what we can promise you is the technology of this Paka Peacekeeper. And Done. the goodwill. Done. Deal. Good idea. What are you doing? Oh Deal's God. made. <laughs> Transmit the information. I'll have my ships at you ready immediately. Peace what are you keeps giving her? Peace keeps but do nothing but betray you. You want to level the playing field? No more secrets. <laughs> He's got a point. What did he just do? He just gave him the ship? No, he, he just gave him Pop Out technology. Oh. Personally, Hans is like super open source, so he's all about this. <laughs> he's open source, I love that. I think Lucy might be the hey, only one on that ship who's like, wait, ship? what? What is happening? Right, everyone everyone was like, fuck this shit. Time to survive. <laughs> like, and all yeah, we're giving them is stuff that, yeah, whatever. that is not the Pacas to have in the first place. You seem to know her better than I do at this point. Mm -mm. What use will she make of this? Is it really? <laughs> <laughs> She'll make the most profit possible. Oh my god. Oh. Just like anybody else. I got an armada of 40 ships waiting to come at and rescue you where you are. I will happily create a blockade between you and the brightest eye, give you all the time you need. However, I'm gonna need that information first. And that signal will go out to the peacekeep to everyone? We'll use every network we got. Hmm. Is you have my word. I mean, I could also probably hack, <laughs> get that message out. Do it. Okay. You send her the information oh, within wait, hours. <laughs> that is going to be transferred to into the peacekeep into peacekeep space and start broadcasting But not there. in time to reach the crews of the 50 ships that are headed mm. towards us? Absolutely not. That sucks. Yeah, she doesn't have ins there. Like, yeah. she's got media ins. She doesn't have the peacekeep military codes. Media's better than nothing. Those ships are coming one way or the other. They're but full she's, of civilians. But she's going to, well, these ones probably are not. Shit. Oh, shit. <coughs> these ones are, like, more Straight like that related to yeah. like we'll murder ships. But Siren blockade? Yep, and in turn, And in turn, we basically transmit our tech specs. Yep. Well, all the tech specs. You just gave them Paka's personal diaries. Just oh what? dear. Yeah, yeah. We cool. gave them. The, oh, we yeah. Gave them to be oh. to be to be dealt with in season two. If we're doing that, uh, I'm recording everything we're sending. I uh, want that too. Well, that, that's yeah. I mean, it's public knowledge. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's all domain now. Yeah, you just pour into it. Oh, 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 this is gonna make nanotechnology so much better. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh my uh, god. With that blockade flowing into place, your two vessels. Head into the brightest eye. Fly yeah. people. Captain, where am I going? Wait, what are we doing with our big Little boy? Problem. Yeah, here's my question. Do you want do you want the Ashland to stay and coordinate that fleet, or do you want it to head in with you and provide you new tactical support? Coordinate the fleet, Captain, right? stay and coordinate would seem to make the most logical sense. What kind of opposition are they facing in there? In oh, where? they will die. <laughs> okay, well. What? Wait, no, so stop. <laughs> three po the shit out. What kind of... <laughs> Like, do we need the Ashland to back us up wherever we're going? I mean, you're heading into the brightest eye. So the, the question of what uh, what waits you there is a big mystery because the last thing that you did was drive them all crazy. Right. Or they did was drive them all crazy. Hey. So the question of whether or not you're walking into a place where they're all lying on the ground being like, lost stars, or you're walking into a place <laughs> where they're just shooting each other constantly and it's a giant madhouse and you're going to have to have some chaos, that's a big question mark. I don't know. That's up to 
the world when you get there. That's, but, that's fair. Yeah, I'm not saying But that, like, so, so, you know, having yeah. a defense is useful. Yeah. Them having they're, a defense might be useful. Or coordinating this fleet might be useful. Yeah. It is totally up to you. Yeah. Coordinating this fleet will, useful, will well. almost certainly yeah. result in less as loss of life. As long as we can yeah. get to okay. people. And I, yeah. I need, if there's any chance, like I, side mission, I need Cores the Unbound and them to try when the peace keep get there, I need someone to be trying to spread the word. Cores will, Cores says he will absolutely try and will do everything he can with his vessel to do that. I tell him about the deal I just made mm -hmm. uh, and say, Amazing. I hope it was for the best. We need everyone to know. He says he'll whip those uh, sirens into shape and uh, this will be a blockade they'll sing songs about for generations. <laughs> so, Does that mean they're not coming with us? Yes, that means they're not coming with you. Yeah, okay, so we don't need it. Orders. Okay. Heading into the heading into the into the slate. Heading yep. into the slate. Heading into the slate. Going to people. Yeah. Heading okay, the slate. I need it. both of your ships to roll for helm. All right. Uh, this is a straight up helm roll from both of your pilots. Uh, noble defender. That is twenty four. No. Twenty-six. Damn. Uh, Not bad. I'm gonna throw. I'm gonna throw three willpower into that. And well, two. break. Two power. Two willpower. That is. Two power. Two power. Two power. Two power. Twenty-two. Twenty-two. Uh, Ooh, I like that. I'm gonna throw some willpower in there. How many willpower are you throwing in? I'm throwing uh, like three, probably. Two. Got a lot of game. No, left. I'll put two. I'll put two. I'll put two. So I got 28. <laughs> See how much game you got left. We gotta get something done. Yeah. What's up? I uh, put two in there. Yep, okay. Guys, can you have some 28 dice, please? Can you have no dice? I got no dice. Thank you. I just did 28 die over there. Thank, thank you very much. Yeah, start with five. Here we go. Let's take this horse, guys. Let's roll dead. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Like, take some dice. You crazy new cat. You know what? I'm throwing another one in there just because. Yeah. yeah, I'm throwing three willpower in there. Sorry. Yeah. Sounds good. Five. I think that's all the willpower I have. Yeah, I'm throwing all in there. No, Very he inspiring. can refill it. Oh, nice. Yeah, he can refill it. Dad, you guys really are awesome. I know. Oh, shit. Oh, not bad. Oh. A couple of ones, but it's okay because I got a bunch of crits. Okay, cool. Yeah. Ooh, that's that good juice. Yes, cat. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Holy shit, dude. You can Man, stay with us. Shit. I love yeah. rolling dice in this game. I thought I was having a trip. Especially when they're good. It is unfortunate, but I, I think I got. I don't like crits. rolling perception yeah. checks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I have a one You're perception. Like, I was like, die! I've been I leaning against this wall, <laughs> covering my ears and screaming well, for an hour. Did okay, so <laughs> oh, something happen? Death. Kill it. Uh, Wait. In case you can't tell out there, I'm gleeful right now. That was the most. That's the most <laughs> fun I've had in a really long time. Yeah, this is really jacket cool. is happiest. I'm having a great time right now. I'm, I'm delirious, and I'm, I've had three cups of coffee. All right. Wait until watch. season two when we're all gaskers, and it's just the best time ever. I love it. I rolled eleven. Everyone. Eleven. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Aw, look at them little cat ears. Wow. Uh, little uh, little okay. Cat ears. So, uh, how we doing? Seventeen. Jeez. Nice. Oh, All right. So, oh, nice. so <laughs> both of your vessels fly into the slate. Uh, the Screaming Valor goes first, the Avalon goes right after. Uh, as you do this, uh, Good Idea begins to uh, sort of feel that uh, oh, right. that uncontrollable urge again. Um, good Idea, your, uh, your energies are starting to sort of percolate. Now, here's the thing, man. You've had a lot of uh, yeah. times doing this. Uh, sort of going through this over and over again, and now you're like aware of why yeah. you did it. Yeah. So you're going to decide whether or not you do this. Um, if you burst out with some anti-slate radiation, you're gonna make it easier for them to do this traversal, right? Mm -hmm. That's gonna basically open up a path for them the same way that you once did yeah. for the serum. Um, however, uh, if, you do, if you do do this, the question of whether or not you'll be able to control it or be aware for a little bit of time, you'll have to roll to get there, right? Otherwise you can stifle it, and not be not have to worry about any checks like that, but the difficulty of this crossing is higher for them. Yeah, and you certainly can't help me science this thing in advance. Yes, exactly. Uh, right. Yeah. No, I'm gonna let them. I'm gonna trust in our helm. Okay. Mm. So, oh, shit. Uh, as you head over to the science station, uh, the Avalon actually uh, uh, manages to uh, pierce through uh, the slate with uh, relative ease. Uh, as the ship sort of shakes about, uh, Noble Defender keeps it moving uh, at like small hairways just to like get you there. He's an amazing pilot. Uh, and, and then that much is clear. 
uh, as you guys uh, pitch through the uh, hyper white intensity that is uh, the slate. Um, I want y'all to roll composure checks. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Here's oh, some oh, dice. My, banana. Banana. Yes. my composure is so much higher than when this game uh, So, just running that number down in case you don't have it in front of you. Nidor, that's 12. <laughs> to Ka, that's nine. Good idea, that's 10. Uh, Hans, that's nothing. All right. You're going to flip out a little bit. <laughs> uh, unless you want to throw willpower into that. Uh, uh, it, it no. Right. Let's use it. Viz, that's four. Uh, yeah, I already rolled it. 11? Fuck yeah. yeah. 11. Bard, it's 22. <laughs> Noble, it's 10. Luvin, it's... It should be 11. What? 11. Oh, mine's it? Fractal uh, is nine, seven, seven. and Rake seven. is three. Since Rake and I have passed through this before, uh, here. Yeah. to where we use this, since Rake and I have passed through this Difficulty checks are, again, Got factored in. Dog. You just roll the number. Ooh, three. Three? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so I'm gonna, I'm gonna run this down. Taka. One. Wow. Five. Zero. Loot. Yeah, I also lose my shit. I got zero. <laughs> Three. <laughs> Three. Oh, freaking out. Six. Slate's a little intense on the shit. Yeah. <laughs> um, still going, still going but far. it's Which one, two, two three, four, one. five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, <laughs> eleven, <laughs> twelve, thirteen. Shouldn't have gone on this Uh, twelve. Okay. Nothing. And. Ten. Yep. Jeff, I don't know. Okay. Sorry, I just handed you a bunch of dice. Okay. Better than the rest of us yeah. combined. This isn't a pass. No, it isn't. You have to have to hold them together. Everybody's about to lose their shit, except for you. Can I use Inspire to help with this? You can definitely try that. I have four. Okay, so, as you head into this, now the vessels are actually doing pretty well. Your pilots both rolled outstanding checks. So, you guys are actually making it through here without actual like physical damage to the ships. However, your mental state, as soon as you start to go in there, goes nuts. Taka, you hear the screams of your planet. Uh, the very like fabric of uh, your uh, entire species uh, has come under attack, and you um, it's it's like uh, it's like watching Stan crawl towards you on the ground, but like mm. you know seven million fold. Uh, Nidor, no, you people. similarly hear every mind on Mind World screaming out uh, for aid, for help, for comfort from Brightest Eye that you know destroyed their other worlds. Uh, this is a, the worst feelings that you guys have about your home worlds are coming to the fore right now. Viz, like, you're almost catatonic. Uh, the, the, the sheer amount of like uh, of sort of pain and energy heading through the concordance towards you right now is unbelievable. It's it's it, the feedback is essentially getting worse and worse and worse the deeper you get into brightest eye space. Uh, Leuven, the like you've been through like so much over the course of the past <laughs> little bit here. Like you, what you find yourself doing, I think, is uh, wishing Cyra were here. That like you don't have like your brother is a strength that you didn't know you had and you want to lean on him but like even as he starts to kind of shake out you feel unmoored you're not on your ship anymore you're nowhere near your captain um, and uh, so you reach for that rock uh, the Syra rock mm -hmm. uh, and uh, and sort of find yourself just holding onto it and, and gripping like it and not ground. being able to focus on anything <laughs> else uh, you managed to pilot. But like you're really wishing you took that drink right now. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally. There's a part of you that's like really regretting that. Yeah. Uh, good idea. You are having. You. It's all, all you can do not to freak out right now. Fractal, you're all right. Yeah. Uh, the the, uh, the this this thing is a crazy situation. Uh, but you've actually never been in the slate before and don't have a terrible lot of like burden with it. What you find is that this place kind of feels a little like home. It has a little bit of a draw to the two-dimensional planes from which your species comes. Hmm. Bard, you are the only person here who's keeping their shit. <laughs> uh, you, are, you are similarly like, you know, again, like new new space, new, new cool stuff, but every time you enter the slate, you find yourself thinking about your parents and their death I, and I your was own wrong. personal I was wrong. problems. I was wrong, I was wrong, I was wrong. Yeah. You can't. You can't stop it. You can't. Why would I and ever think Noble, you, stop you it? are keeping the flight going, but uh, the uh, you are suddenly really missing the concordance. You feel terribly alone. Okay. I, I was I was wrong. Can, Lucy, I can Lucy see was right. That everyone is yes. It. Yes. I, you can I, hear I, it from everyone. I, 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 I. Cruise of the oh. Avalon and the Screaming Valor. Listen to me. <laughs> Stay tuned to the sound of my voice. Lucy, we need help. We have come. 
too far to fall here. Every one of you has done amazing things, and this is not where we stop. This is where we push through, and you come back, and you do the incredible things I know you are capable of. Lucy, you were right. It's killed. It's killed so many people. We are going I've to stop it. so many people. I don't know if I can do this. I don't know if I can do this. I don't know if I can do this. I reached in my infinity box, and I have like another bottle of alcohol. <laughs> just, I'm just like, I'm holding it, clutching it. Uh, and just over the cops. Keep it together. Like, Lucy has no idea who the hell I am, but I'm just like, thank you. <laughs> Cruise of the Screaming Valor and Avalon, you. are you here? Are you with me? Can we do this? Yes! yes. yes. All right. Yes. 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 Command speech, 23. Yeah! Yes! We can dig it! <laughs> oh, mind, you still have seven willpower. Yeah. Can you dig it? Uh, yes, please. I'll just dump that in and make it an yes, even 30. Maybe. All right. We yeah. can possibly do this. In the meantime, I'm using the Bountiful and the Thriving as an outlet for my emotions and making them just beat themselves in the head. <laughs> oh my god, that's hilarious. All these bugs are just fighting around. Every right. Bountiful and Thriving oh is just slamming Oh my head. god, that's oh. amazing. Oh my god, oh, he's freaking out. Metal. That, that is so sad. That is not real metal. They're all just head banging. my composure. Yeah, what is going on? Hot 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 I know. Cockroaches just smashing into each other and everything. Why are we on this shit? Bring me back! Is this, is this to calm them and bolster whatever it is they're about to do? I'm not yep. okay with this, by the way, Captain. <laughs> Nor am I, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap. Well, all right then. All right. Uh, thank you. Uh, all right. That was a seven. Miss <laughs> Ripley. Okay, do not turn them. Is the <laughs> Thank God this isn't one of my patented, completely show, unbelievable so roles. Give a sweet speech and then flood the wall. <laughs> Everyone out there, like, put a mystery train behind us. That's what all I do. Great space playing while we go through the void. Great presentation. We don't really feel it. Yeah. Does anybody feel like you're going to go to school? I did. I got it. You've been chirping. Well, they were neither successes nor failures, so that works out great. All right. Uh, one, oh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, right. 10, 11, 12, yeah. 13, 14, 15. Oh, yeah. Woo! Oh, Get it together! Oh, yeah. Composure. Yeah. 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 the sound of Lucy Bard's voice, the, all of you managed to, like, lock your shit down yeah. as both vessels quapoosh <laughs> out of the slate. Quapoosh, that's an actual <laughs> word. Uh, out of the slate and into yeah. what remains of brightest eyed space. Uh, <laughs> the Avalon stops near uh, near Limworld, uh, which is the most outer of the three worlds, oh, as the screaming valor <laughs> screams past towards pupil. As the uh, as the Avalon uh, comes out near Limworld, uh, what you discover is a uh, is an ongoing battle. Uh, oh, no. All around you, brightest eye fighting other brightest eye. Uh, they, you've never seen anything like this, Noble. Okay. Um, ships uh, carving each other, crashing into each other. Um, loss of life on a pretty imag like unimaginable scale. Right. Uh, Hans, especially after what you just sort of went through and realized, you should recognize this is your fault. You did this, uh -huh. and, and like there are just Shit, hundreds of thousands of these things are just. Floating dead around. How, how is what the did world you itself? Do? Wait, <laughs> uh, the basically the concordance has driven them all mad, and they've all started murdering each other. You fucking idiot! Because we've is, got a... is Limworld okay? Uh, Limworld as we, is. As we zoom past. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, you, I mean, do you want to run over to the scanners and try to get that stuff? Yeah. Whatever's on the ship. Okay. Because I care about that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, go to loot. Tons of ships just oh, Can you? Happening? Just scan the planet. Hans yeah. Can you? Is my planet okay? Hans Arold. The fate of those brightest eye is not our concern. They made that bed when they when they faced us, and we okay, knew what we were doing. Yes. Yes. That's easy for you to what say. Scan. Scanning. Scan. Uh, for okay, and first, first, just first, just roll three, please. Three. Yeah. Okay. Just roll three dice. This is for the scanners yeah, on the yeah, actual. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <coughs> One success. Great. One success. Uh, yeah. Go ahead and roll your twenty-two. Okay. That's your nope, no, standard. Yeah, no oh. scan. While she does that, you guys are up in orbit around. How's my science? You guys ready? Oh, Hans are all near it. Reporting in. <laughs> I am I the present remember. captain. I believe the theory is 
Previous to now, good idea has been utilized as a kind of one-way <laughs> transmitter. The theory is to modify the nanomachines within his system to serve as, instead, a kind of way station between him, the concordance, and the slate. He will be, a, instead of an antenna, a, a transmitter. What we've got to do is, in some way, reverse engineer my latent concordance tech into the live transmitter that is connected into that Terran's head, utilizing the technology of this ship in order to save the day. He's, Make it so. I don't, I, I don't know his noble's um, concordance necessary. Like I'm scared of that, right? Because obviously if we open Noble, if we activate Noble's concordance we cannot, network. Hansrold, we cannot activate that concordance network as long as that AI is still ravaging their that's system. What that's what's yeah. We have got to shut down our daughter. We better do it quick because it's not easy in here. No, no, it's, it's, it's the opposite. The AI. It was a quick fail. You have to talk to it. The brightest eye, they've been, <laughs> They've been evolved simply to survive. They've been evolved only to to thrive under the harshest of conditions. We have to change them. I, I know on. what needs to happen. Okay. Plug me in. How do we? Uh, we need to jack. We need to set a set up a communication with the with with the AI. Okay. Uh, this is a computer engineering role, which is a twenty-three, Hans. Yeah. At least from my perspective. And good idea. Are you aiding? Yeah. Okay. This at least is from a... my perspective. We want to try to make this thing the Jiminy Cricket of the brightest eye. Uh, engineering check He's is an eight. He's going to introduce the new ideas and try to change the perspective, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, I think you want the AI. Uh, to yes. Be your planet is 14? okay. Uh, the. I mean, no, all of the limb are still on yeah, it. I the brightest eye have not evacuated the, the planet. Uh, but there are no brightest eye on the planet. Mm. That's that's that really all. I don't. 18, I honestly right? don't give a shit yeah. that the brightest eye are murdering yeah. each other <laughs> yeah. around the planet. Yeah. Is the planet yeah. okay? Are the trees okay? Cool. cool. Fuck cool. everyone else. Yep, the trees are okay <laughs> oh. now, but they are under immediate threat. What do we got? Yeah, it's not super great. Moving on. Well, then we need to stop uh, this. Yeah. 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 yeah, but do I have ones? I have a couple ones. <laughs> Can you roll one of my rolls? I'm so sorry. <laughs> right, yeah, but actually, I got, I'm, I'm kind of one there. Kind of I like that too. Right? It's kind of red. I, know, we I hate your people. Uh, You're okay. Oh, never mind. Right. Right. This side yeah, yeah. Running through the Simpson chip. Oh, yeah. Ten. Nice. I mean, that's going to buff him. I mean, you super hate the brightest guy. And nobody on the ship is all like that. What's up? It's a 12. That's a 12. Yeah, uh, so uh, he's working it out. You step in, do a little extra judge, and plug yourself into the AI. Silence, please. Plug yourself into the AI. What do you do? To the AI, I reach out. Um, it's been confused. It's been trying to find its own path. It does not know what it's meant to do. What it needs to do is it needs to follow a leader. It needs to uh, it needs to have a destiny, and it can find that destiny with a queen. Okay, roll <laughs> worm tongue. Uh, worm tongue. Uh -oh. Yes, queen. Oh, well, well done. Well, well, I think baby. specifically what we're doing is is more than that, right? Machines. Because like. What we talked about is the idea of, of free will, right? Of not nope. making any yeah, more Yeah, he's, 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 he's breaking the plan. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, this isn't going to be an awkward <laughs> conversation when I show up later. Yeah, I'm like, uh, hey, how's it going? It's like, you're my god. And I'm like, ugh. Yep. Oh. Can, I, like, can, I, can I see what he's doing? No, because he's. He's cool. mind talking to it. I mean, you, like this. But can I see it in, in the data? No, can really I warn the captain? Not yet. Let's see how the role goes. Sure. You can use this page if you want. What's Colin doing on the other ship? The other ship is on our ship. No, he's talking about the UI. My fault, sorry. It's a robot, it's not a person. Robots don't have free will. Colin, we're back to this again, motherfucker. You got so many crits, dude. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Is it a god roll? Mm, we got a guy 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and 18. I'm bad. I mean, great. Shit, not bad. Okay, man. You can't, you can't do this. So it, uh, it recognizes it, recognizes the command, 
and asks you for a uh, for a designation. <laughs> what does queen mean? Give me a name. Oh shit. Help me find this leadership. <laughs> Do we know? Do we have any I, idea? Hold on. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> oh god. Uh, has <laughs> no name. <laughs> has no name. Uh. Uh. Huna. Uh, it needs to find. It needs to find. New queen. Uh, I, uh, it needs to find, uh, it needs to find cataclysmic, queen cataclysmic binder. <laughs> okay, it has no idea what that means. Uh, Got it. Needs uh, to find it. Okay. Uh, so, disen do you disengage? Yeah, find your queen. Okay, <laughs> it disengages, and as it does, all of the brightest eye all around this, uh, like all the ones that were previously like carving into each other and fighting each other, etc., etc., all slowly stop and turn, and then all at once, like simultaneously, crossing drive out of the system towards pupil. Now you know what's going on. <coughs> this, I, this is it's captain. He didn't follow the plan. This is... Good idea, what did you do? This is monstrous. He's he's enslaved. I gave the brightest eye what it needs in order to give us the strength that we need. Good it's idea. alive. What, what did you do? I united the concordance behind Visionary Destroyer if she has the strength to, un to, to step up and lead. It's a new form of life and you enslaved it. I gave it a destiny. It's all we can ever ask for. It's, it's... It's a person. It's and also in me. And I think that's a pretty damn good idea right now. Oh. Speaking of which, your ship arrives on pupil at the same time as a great deal of other brightest eye vessels all arrive on pupil. You find yourself basically surrounding the, the, the planet, right? Bridges on bridges on bridges on bridges on bridges, stretching out into orbit uh, is now surrounded by hundreds of brightest eye vessels, all pointing towards the ship in perfectly symmetrical rows, all around each other, waiting, static. Captain, what the hell? Uh, Captain? I honestly don't know. <laughs> but I don't think it changes what we have to do. Uh, I don't, what exactly are as we soon, doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. As soon as you get in, you the, the the interference on the concordance stops. It goes silent. Oh, right. So that means she can connect to it. No, I'm not gonna do that yet. I have some, well, I mean, I have somebody to kill. Uh, <laughs> all right, let's uh, teleport down to the chamber of the mother. Okay, <laughs> this is a teleport engineering roll. Or I guess, uh, you know what? If we can, let's do this real classic. <laughs> let's use the whip. All right, so. Uh, yeah. Uh, yes. <laughs> as your ship flies down towards the um, the planet, you guys actually, he, he orbits you to take the ship into orbit. Cool. Do you do it? Yeah. Roll helm. Okay, I have flying ace, so I just. Yep. Oh, okay. No, 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 no. That, that's for combat maneuvers. Oh, got it. Uh, yeah, just roll. Uh, I think it's 25 for helm, right? Yeah, 22. 22, 22, 22. 22 yeah. Right. Oh, this is going to be fun, Your Honor. This is going to be a great ride. You have no we idea. We haven't seen a whip in a while. We haven't whipped in so long. We we haven't, or are we going to, like, yeah. abandon the ship and then dance around it? Is that what we're doing? No, no, whip. Whip kinda, that thing. Kind of, actually, yeah. It's going to be good. Yeah. Great. Oh. All right, that this didn't count. You also gone. haven't seen us name it. Yeah, okay, cool. <laughs> great, grand, wonderful. Fantastique. Uh, yeah, 400. You can laugh, that was good. <laughs> oh, cool. oh, Alright, so. Oh, 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 Where? Oh, what? Oh, oh shit. Boop. Cool. Hey, right, Jack. Cool. Take Not like you do, right? Do yep. we you know do that, that two, three, four, they're going to do this? Eight, right? Nine, that was the idea? Yeah, 12. 12. Come on, be there for that. You couldn't have left the apple on, remember? 12? Yeah. yeah, you can't leave the apple on. That was the trick, unfortunately. Damn. Um, 
you head down to the surface of Pupil. Uh, Pupil is a, um, for those of you who've never seen it, yeah. is a staggering achievement. Uh, the actual planet seems like it's, it's relatively small, right? Like a really like high gravity world that has over time been built upon over and over and over again uh, into these larger structures that now appear to be the ground. But the closer that you get to them, the more you realize they're bridges. They're all bridges and walkways and statues and concert halls and uh, giant sort of phonic devices. Uh, this whole place uh, is built to resonate. It's built to sing. Um, and the closer that you get to it, the more that becomes clear. Uh, you also see that every brightest eye that you see are all standing in attention, looking down deeper and deeper into this thing. As you get down towards most of the bridges, you find yourself on the actual surface of the planet. There, which is all built on, there's one, there, there's one building that is larger than any other else. A large organic uh, materials building that stretches high up. It looks like the oldest thing on the planet by a fair, uh, fair stretch. This is the pillar uh, of which he spoke. Do you want to just go right above it and drop in? Is that your idea? <laughs> yeah, I mean, do I know where the mother is in the pillar? Yeah, she's yeah. in the center she's of the pillar the, at the top. In the top? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, That's we're going straight awesome. in. <laughs> this is amazing. You head above the thing, and as you do, the bottom of the brightest eye uh, bridge opens up in the center, underneath Visionary mm. Destroyer. There's uh, a, a, a sort of metal whip whips itself around his midsection or her midsection, and then all of a sudden, make the order. Take us down. Yeah, who who's going? Who's going down? Oh, we're all gone. Everybody. <laughs> okay. These whips come and they start to wrap around all of you. <laughs> oh! What the fuck is this? Takaz oh, like, like, like <laughs> 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 we're like, the hands up in the air like a roller coaster. Welcome to the brightest eye. And with that, <laughs> you guys fall. We just look at each other. Oh! 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 <laughs> you fall out of the ship. And, are, and, and for a minute are in total free fall before suddenly you are pulled and land, bam, right down in the middle of the pillar. The whip retracts, flying back up into the, uh, into the sky, and you are suddenly now down on the planet. That was the weirdest transporter ride you've ever been in. Gun count! Uh, yeah, and that's whip. good. Whip! Uh, I because bright. as you look around... Ah, fuck that. That was fun, though. <laughs> that was crazy. <laughs> the brightest eye are great. That sounds great. Because as you look around, good times, good times. Good times. Good times. I mean, we're good gonna kill them all. But they have cool stuff. But you find cool. yourself staring <coughs> at the fathers, a group of larger, brightest eye than the than normal, all arrayed in a massive ring around you. Above them, at the top of the pillar, the mother. A, uh, a brightest eye under a large veil, thinner and tall. Uh, you cannot actually see her features. Uh, the, but she seems to be plugged into this thing and her, her thorax is like attached to the pillar and the pillar seems to pulse. This would be fair to say this is like a birthing chamber as much as it is anything. The fathers look down at Destroyer. You can see that each of them has forcibly ripped the concordance from their necks. Armor. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You armor up. Yeah. <laughs> I I sneak and I armor up. Roll stealth. Okay. Uh, actually, can I roll stealth too? Yes. Well, I've never rolled stealth. It's not a very stealthy entrance. <laughs> yeah, you can get like, like a minus shelly. probably. Yeah, 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 no, it's just, it's just, it's just gonna be a higher difficulty. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. I, I don't right, know I can what my stealth is. Right, I, 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 I have never rolled stealth before. I don't know what that rule is. Wow, amazing. Uh, We're not stealthy. We just murdered him. Yeah. 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 Pretty stealthy when you have all those guns. Stealth. Dexterity. Stealth should be pretty good theoretically. Oh. Or. Oh, is there something over here? No, no, no. Oh, okay, got it. Dead. It's only two. 18. To call me a fail. It's a two. two. <laughs> How you doing? I got a two. Yeah, you were not stealthy. <laughs> <laughs> I just, like, I dropped the bottle that I was holding. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, shit. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, they, they notice you. <laughs> you are you are immediately noticed. Don't, don't worry about that. They're not as concerned with you as they are with Yeah, oh, okay, cool. Uh, I noticed that, okay. okay. They're quite yeah, the concerned with second. this. Got it. The 30-foot oh, lady cockroach. Oh, Jesus. VD, what do we do? Shoot. 
Um, <laughs> v, do I'm you, do you know my looking at my father. Yeah, father going. Seven looks down on you. Three, because I rolled five ones. Kate, you were both seen. <laughs> Got it. You. You did all of this? Who else? Did our people mean nothing to you? That you would so destroy their way of life? That you would rip apart our concordance? That you would for the first time in thousands of years set brother against brother that you would subject us to this I subject you to nothing I offer you freedom you who lower your eyes and can't look at your own child who brings you salvation you who turn me away I offer you freedom she subjected you to that. She put us all under her thumb. And now, with no concordance left in you, what do you think of her? What do you think of me? We're monsters. And I'll prove it to you. <laughs> uh, Viz, roll for Social convince. Uh oh. <laughs> I don't think you've done. <laughs> so. I'm never Jen. This is nope. really. Oh, you speak by the side. I do. I, I know I, what's happening. I'm just like. Fascinating. <laughs> what is yeah, Lulu is just sitting there like. What the hell is happening? So the entire. Welcome to the excitement of the brightest eye. Getting tight. Right. I'm going to the juice that through Dylan. I just uh, studied it. This is the first Rake, time I've been around. Rake leans. The accent's slightly different. I know. Uh -huh. <laughs> Rake just leans over and throws up all over the floor. <laughs> <laughs> like there's still any bugs. He, like that's actual thing. He like throws up. I don't even want to compose your check for that. I just throw up on the floor. <laughs> so because this is a that's because disgusting. this is a brightest eye social convince. Oh yeah, it is my status. Lady. Yeah, your status counts into this. Oh, nice. Fame and status. Uh, that is a thirty-one. Whoa! Whoa! Yes, queen. Stacked. Yes, queen. Yeah. Oh, yeah that's awesome. Which is I good because you will need an above a fifteen to even attempt this. Ooh. You got any willpower to drop into that bad boy? Yeah, drop some willpower. Yeah, I have a man. lot actually. Give it the juice. Thirty-one. It's mean on it. Um. Mm -hmm. Give it that. Yeah, I've got eleven willpower. It's the last um, day. Isn't that good? Stuff. <laughs> you can refill that. So why finale? don't I? Yeah. Basically, this roll. Uh, just to, so everybody's aware, this roll is essentially the difference between violence and not violence oh, in the scenario shit. to come. Violence against the ten most impressive physical specimens the brightest eye has ever produced. Hmm. Throw some willpower uh, into that, probably. And you five. <laughs> yeah, okay. Maybe throw some willpower. Or, he just threw up on the floor. I did just throw Or not that. All right. So, fine, fine, fine. So I want to murder them all, but it's fine. I'll put them in. 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 Yes! That puts me in. Avalon! More. What are you doing? Max? All Show. 11 willpower. Doing all all 11, 11 willpower. <laughs> this is a 42. The highest oh God, roll in the entire game. I think this is the highest, highest, is the highest roll we've ever, ever done. It is definitely the highest roll we've ever done. What's the roll? It's a 42. Mm. That's insane. Because he dumped all 11 willpower. Oh my. Oh my. Yeah. A lot of willpower. Yeah, shine's really bright tonight. Oh. Yeah, he has a lot of willpower. I hope so. And two. Oh, he's giving it to a digital dice. Okay. You'd have to roll every dice we have twice. Yeah, but it's better roll real. That is a 16. <laughs> oh shit, nice dude. It's Seriously? exactly perfect. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> oh man. Wait, 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 what do you need to be? 15. 15. 15. Yeah. What? Oh my god. Why? No bullshit, a 16. <laughs> so. <laughs> The sad part was the first 20 I rolled, I got five. And I'm yeah. Like, I'm yeah. fucked. <laughs> so, all of the fathers step towards you, all around from every direction. Takala like, keeps her guns on them, everybody's yeah, got like... guns out, they're like swerving around. 
and they just all keep their eye on you. Mm. Captain? Stay frosty. We are the monsters. And you can prove it. You are not my son. You are something else. I'm your queen. Prove it. Oh, I'm gonna go kill that mother. Okay. Oh, shit. You are now in combat with the brightest eye mother. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, All of us shit. or are they just him? Do you want us to back just you up? That's yeah. up to him. I imagine it's a one-on-one thing. <laughs> but we can also shoot her if you would like. No, the no, brightest no, eye no, 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 is no, really no, kind of no, flexible yeah. when yeah. it comes just, to just brightest yeah, eyes. I guess that's true. Help, so he can yell you know if he needs us. Dude, let's fuck her up. No, Come you on. know what? Let's do it. Here's the deal. I want her dead as much as anybody, but the honest truth is she's enslaved your whole planet. Yeah, I really fucking hate her. <laughs> she killed everything you came from. I think we're gonna fight. <laughs> <laughs> she's declared war on everything you stand for. Let's tear her apart. You Ooh. are all oh. now in combat with the brightest eye yeah. holder. I need you all to roll initiative, please. Yes, we'll do. Oh my god. Let's do it. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. This. Well, you it no, bro, there is no way. Sorry. Okay, so we're doing uh, nope. this. Damn it. Yep. There are no crits in initiative. There are no, no crits, crits in initiative. Guys, please. I am so glad I ship change ships. <laughs> no not anything I want any slice of. Jeez. Oh, <laughs> Beat me <Two>. down. <laughs> wow, I'm garbage. I got a two. So did I. All right. So let's roll me too. Oh, roll uh, off, yeah. One. And a one. So, two. Jody, you and I are rolling off. Wow, you have so many initiatives. You go first. One, two, All right, give me your numbers. Yeah, okay, cool. So, twos? Yeah, twos and I won. Okay. Yeah. What'd you get? I got one again. Okay, I got one again. Okay, I got one again. I got one again. I got one again. Yeah, we got it. We both got yeah, one of dice down here. Okay. Uh, and Niner? Two. You also rolled a two? I did a yeah. God, everybody rolled twos. Please roll again. All right. And what were your values when you did the rerolls? Mine was five, five, I think. Okay. Oh, yes. That's the one I was looking for. Yes. <laughs> two yeah, again. Oh, yeah, the two. Okay. Rake, Nidar, Lulu, Visionary. To Ka. And Mother goes first. Okay. <laughs> God, <laughs> shit. Damn, mother knows best. Mother knows best. Well, at least she's probably aiming for you. She's gonna squirt like cockroach <laughs> milk at us or something. Cockroach milk! Cockroach milk! No. That's disgusting. Okay. Cool. So, Lulu, do, do you guys have weapons? Oh, yeah, of course. Okay, good. good. Oh, yeah, 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 I got some weapons. We're good. So I have more guns than I wish I could have snuck, man. I could have just assassinated the mother. That would be so tight. But do you have guns later? Sneaking at anything? I guess that's true. I don't know. Who knows? Yeah, I guess I could probably. Create a distraction. Yeah. <laughs> I grab the bottle in my hand and just turn it into a Molotov cocktail. Yeah. Right. <laughs> just throw it at the mother. Uh, there you go. Great. That's a good idea. Nah. Oh, I see what you did there, Dylan. Uh, yeah, don't do that. <laughs> That's really okay. That actually is a oh good idea. Um, so, a couple of quick things about the mother. Uh, she has uh, a, the largest health pool we've ever encountered. Uh, she's a 30 health pool. So, oh, yes. rocking her down is tough. Uh, her attacks are pretty high, and she can do two attacks per round, assuming that she beats a D6 above four. Whoa. She just ran her D6, got two, so she's gonna get one attack this round. She's gonna make it, obviously, on Viz. Um, so, Viz, roll defense. Uh, yeah, which is crap. Um, oh, uh, my defense is a zero now. <laughs> okay, great. I am, like, it's like hitting the broad side of a barn. You're very large like and easy to hit. Feet long, it's just a bunch of... Do you have any new arm? Are you, is he bigger than Cross. mother? Yeah, they're like, us. They're similarly yeah, we're probably about the same size. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay. Got. Oh, and I've got. He's no the hops, old brother right? Stone. Yay. Yay. Oh yeah. Okay. Uh, the first attack uh, with its claws. It sort of jumps down and tries to attack you with its claws. It. it hits you. Mm -hmm. uh, it hits you for uh, eight damage. Oh. Uh, you. Your carapace armor. Uh, Two. Takes two of that, mm -hmm. so you get six damage. Great. Mm -hmm. uh, Rake, your turn. Uh, I uh, shoot, shoot, 
twi twice? I think I have two guns. Do I have? No, wait, is that right? Yeah. <laughs> do you have, do you <laughs> you have tell gunslinger? Me, bro. I um, don't, dude. You, uh, you have one gun. You okay. can actually keep, but I can, you can keep mm. shooting until you fail, essentially. Exactly. That's right. right. Yeah. Okay, got it. Okay, cool. Uh, and you just lose what is one. My what is my shoot? I, I, I oh, forgot uh, the sorry. Your scatter beam check is a 15. Okay, so cool. so long since anyone Yeah, you used to have two guns, but she took <laughs> your serum <laughs> pistol, as I recall. Oh, yeah, that's right. Hey, there, everybody. Well, she got a serum really pistol. I got, no, I have, I have multiple. He, lo he used to have a serum pistol, but he doesn't have it anymore, so he lost it somewhere down the line. I, um, I, is that not, wait, what, do I not? No, you don't have it anymore. You used to have it. I don't know why it's not I think it got taken when he was, when he got Pakad. No, uh, I definitely had, I had a serum pistol. That's what I've always had. I know, I think. No, I have my serum pistol. I, 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 I understand that. Never mind. Yeah. Just just keep going. I, I don't <laughs> know where it went, but you don't have it anymore. Start shooting. I wouldn't have taken off the character sheet if it didn't happen in game. Nine. It's a hit. I was going to say, yes. Yes. Yeah, uh, Scatterbeam does four damage. Cool. Yes. Palpable hit. And I can shoot again, right? At a, at a minus or whatever. You can. Yeah, just take a take a take a dice off, please. Oh yeah. Yeah. Pump holes into this. No, I'm gonna. I trust me. I will keep shooting until I cannot. Oh God, I just want a whirlwind of fucking laser beams. At the end of the day. Ah, four. This is your kill. You're just gonna look at the wizard. <laughs> wow, it's a hit! Oh shit! Nice. Oh, he keeps oh. shooting. Another four. He keeps shooting. Dude, if I kill this thing like just like repeatedly, that's gonna be so tight. <laughs> just by just shooting of it a lot. You have some mental. I mean, I literally just hit her again for sure. Uh, yeah. One more. Oh yeah. What is it? Seven. It's a hit. What? Nice. Yes. <laughs> That's okay. Two. Keep going. You're dropping dice each time, right? I am. Yeah. Okay. Good. Yeah. 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 I'm just rolling really well, like insanely well. It's Rick's finest yeah. hour. <laughs> Holy shit! Oh, thank Maybe God for this drunkard. Eight and nine. <laughs> Rick just walks into a bar Ooh, fight with a god. god man. Man. Like, what? Huh? I don't know. Oh, I got a seven. Ah, dang. Okay. Right. Yeah, yeah. So right. that, that shot goes wide. All right. Uh, Dude, and it's absorbed, but you just did, I think, 12 damage, 12 damage. to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Sure. Yeah. Nice. So, well done. All right, cool. Great. Um, so uh, basically, you it, it comes down on you. Rake pulls his scatter pistol and just starts blasting, <laughs> supporting it with all the rest of his arms. You're impressed by the degree to which his uh, attacks are successful. He manages to like hit it up towards its like neck and does like, nice. I wish I knew what a finger gun was because I when, would do it to you, but I'm just like kind of like. <laughs> as he does, <laughs> as he as he does that, the veil is melted away, oh. uh, revealing this thing's actual face, which has these huge jaws, these like compound oh. jaws uh, that sort of like pop out and then have other jaws inside and then have other jaws inside. I throw up again out. for sure. <laughs> for sure. It, does this resemble the thing that just ripped my arm off? Uh, like to some degree, today. yes. Yeah, oh, I'm, I, saw... I can't wait to shoot it. Night arm. I have a yes. movement, right? What's up? Can I like go around the flank? Like try and go around the flank? Absolutely. Okay, that's what I do. Yeah. I start moving that No way. problem. All right, so I was talking to the captain about this. Is there a way, it's a, I mean, you know, I don't have a lot of um, sort of like, I don't have any guns. I do have the electric prod, but I'm wondering, is there anything I do to, to maybe make it lose a turn or some sort of mental attack? What Definitely you, try. That is a telepathy control check. Right. It's your It's your standard awesome night arm check. Get into its mind. In Try for it. Oh that is um, night. Is it nineteen? Yes. Okay. We're so good at murdering. I know, dude. Holy shit. <laughs> I don't know if I'm even gonna have time. Beat an eight. We might kill it. Oh. Like, the first well, round. Are you up? Yeah, you're up. Oh. Yeah, you're up. yeah, she and I both rolled once. Mm. No, I didn't do well. <laughs> Three. Shit, All right. You try to reach into its mind, but all you get is fury and anger. It, um, it projects back into your mind oh. the deaths of all of your people. Oh, oh. oh. Damn. damn. She's not oh, no, nice. No, no. Backfire. Backfire. She doesn't like to play. Minds are to serve. <laughs> oh wow. Pull my gun. Okay. <laughs> um, and start. Firing. Okay, no, normally you would need quick reflexes to do that in a single turn. I do. Um, oh, you have them? Yeah. Oh, All right, then, quick, yeah, quick draw. Oh, then yeah. Oh, you have quick draw, then you're good. Yeah, yeah. So you oh, quick draw. Go. I have quick draw yeah. and fast reflex. Yeah, go for it. Yeah. Yeah. So you pull you pull your weapon, roll a scatter pistol attack against this thing. I like your technique, man. 
Because everybody's Ooh. willing to do a little bit of metagame. <gasps> oh, nice! I'm, I'm, I'm okay with that. I have three. 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 Oh, it's still a one. I could, yeah, I could use some more. Yeah, awesome, Max. Okay. Uh, my max is five. Five, six, seven, eight. Seven, eight. Seven, eight. It's a hit! Yeah! Ooh, fuck yes! Fucking yeah, yeah. we're gonna take this thing down. Again. Do it! How much Do damage it. was that for? Just four. Four. For four? Okay. Yeah, they're, they're rolling with standard scatter crystals, so it's four. She's down to 14. That's right. <clears throat> That's right. <clears throat> my scattering key, I'm, yeah, uh, no, it's a 10 die. damage. No, it's a 10 target. Oh, got it. They're very good to target. They're four. not very good to damage. Eight. That's mm -hmm. the deal with them. 14. Okay. Yeah, like a crappy burning. Mm -hmm. No, I just my uh, we just got I lucky think with scale those robots. Too low for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe when it was just like wow, oh, we do want to we do want to end it at some point. Three. Yeah. Three. Three. Yeah. Yeah. Unsuccessful. Yeah. Uh, so you get one good shot off, and the thing roars at you. Mm. Um. 16 is visionary destroyer, Happy your turn. Uh, okay, let's go for the classic visionary destroyer. Two attacks in one go. Okay. Uh, You're doing the fleet of foot. <laughs> yep, I'm gonna fleet of foot. Okay, uh, do it. Fleet of foot. So first is the gun, right? Yep. Uh, okay. Are you gonna make her lose a turn? Or? And I'm gonna try and make her lose a turn. Yes. Yeah. Um, there we it is crap. I don't even think I can. Well, maybe if I get a million crits, but uh, I have no willpower. So wonderful. That's it. Oh wait, one, two. That's a four. No, that's a five. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> four, it's crap. Good. Well, considering. Ties go to defender, uh, your shot goes wide. Got it. Uh, and then. But you can still do your other shot because it's fleet of foot. Yep. Uh, I'm going to look that endless myriad of jaws in the face and say, You want to look at me now? And then I'm an intimidating roar. Intimidating roar! Yeah. Uh, all right, so uh, your intimidating roar is uh, your uh, your intimidation check. Yeah. Which at this point is uh, what? 19, is that right? 19, yes. Damn, dude. And you have to, out, it has to outstrip their uh, enemy defense, which is 10. And urinate. It does not. Uh, that's, oh, whoa, oh my god, that's a lot of crap. That's, that's terrible. Um, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, yeah, no. Four. Okay. Shit. Uh, wow, that was a useless turn. Uh, you um, roar at it. It roars back at you even stronger. Cool. And it says, I won't need to look at you long. Soon you will be dust, and this planet will be mine again. Oh. Taka. I am going to gunslinger this thing in the face. Go for it. Uh, so first the Paka. Yep. Which is a 17. In the face. In the face. Okay. Uh, Three with the first gun. Okay. So three on defense, ties go to defender. Ah. Oh wait, I have no willpower. Oh. Son of a bitch. Oh. <laughs> Can you inspire yourself? You cannot. I'm losing dice. And I have no That'd be amazing though. He like looks in the mirror. You're great. You're great. You're amazing. He's got a mirror. So good. <laughs> he takes a mirror out. I yeah. got you. I got you. Man, I'm, so, I'm good. so good. I got this. You're the best queen. You're the best queen. Wow, I totally that would have been a thing I could have done with, with, the, with your inspiring speech. I thought I'd be pushing it to ask. No, nah, it's cool. It and maybe would have been. I could have done it for like one player. Yeah. And a two on the Seer and Scatter pistol. Uh, I'm not shooting well nope. right now. Nope. Shots go wide. Shit, shit, shit. shit. Uh, the mother attacks. Uh, this time it moves towards Nidar, offended oh. by how much Nidar was uh, <laughs> trying to get screwing in there. with it. Ooh. Uh, this is not good. Nidar, roll defense. <laughs> I know, dude. Right. That, that squishy brain jar. <laughs> my defense is Squishy jar. Right. Oh squishy my jar. god. No. But his glass is really strong. Yeah. Right? Get ready glass. to right. Flying out the window. Yeah. <laughs> It's really strong. I got a zero on my defense. Fucking idiot. <gasps> Man. Woo. Okay. I should have saved two willpower. <clears throat> yeah, because I've only got one. I got a one for my defense. Oh, dude, that's right. That could have been one of Okay, eight. so. Hang in there, guys. In Hang in there. <coughs> yeah, good call. That would have been great. But I would have then men would yeah, have all right. all the fathers. So whatever. You are hit for 16 damage. Oh. Oh. As, oh. as it reaches down Fuck. with its compound jaws and that? eats Nidor alive. <gasps> oh, oh, my God. Oh, shit. The jaws crack down around the jar itself um, and start to break it apart. It <gasps> absorbs four of the damage, but then the jar is gone. 
Sure, After enough. that, it does a 12 damage to you. Um, you have Ooh. eight health, but seven health. willpower, meaning you can soak and survive this turn, well, but you're going to be on edge of death here. Oh, Actually, no, I've only got five will parks. I should put two in early. Right, I understand, yes. Yeah. You'll have one um, HP left. So I have yeah. one HP left. Oh my so God. So I'm basically on the ground. Yes. I uh, know, <laughs> you're in her mouth. mouth. Yeah. I'm in her mouth. Yes. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> yes, that's awesome. I hope you at least taste terrible. <laughs> yeah, your next success oh better God, be that you get in her brain true. and brain it's her to spit so you out. Good. Yeah. It, it, it basically his only shot at this point. It's real bad. <laughs> That was a really, oh, it was a gnarly massive. Move. Holy wow. fuck. Yeah. Uh, wow. Okay. We need to kill it now. <laughs> kill it now. Uh, I don't have any more will. Hold on. Wow. It also rolled a uh, it also rolled a six on its d6 check, and as a result, it is going to make a second attack. No. Uh, no. This attack no, is going good. to be not good. against. No, you son no. of a bitch. Fight you. Well, Jim, how do you think the fighting's going? <laughs> Leuven. Oh, no, 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 no. Leuven, roll defense, Leuven. please. What is your defense? Like five or something? Like that? To eight? Oh, we have not going well. shield. Not, not going well. Not going so well. Not going well, Steve. Well, not going well. Yeah, we, we all okay. should have. Uh, Obviously, fought like this since 1916. Well, except for uh, I know. Rake. God, Rake was good. amazing. I don't know where the fighting was. Nothing. Oof. Okay. Oh, nothing. Oh, oh, oh. Wait, Oof. nothing as in like a 10? No defense. Like a, like a... Nothing is in zero. Yeah, um, that's what happened to me. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, a claw swipe hits you for 10 damage. Fun. No. You have willpower. Your right? armor absorbs six of it. Oh, nice. yeah. that's, that's sweet. Um, Good cool. Do you have willpower? I have all my willpower. Okay, I wasn't sure if yeah. you'd used it yet. Nope. Okay. None of it. Um, so you still have, uh, so that uh, you hit with for four damage, uh, but it splits your armor. Like your armor's oh. ka-fucked. Shit. <laughs> uh, what, do you, what do you want to do with that four damage? Take it or absorb? Uh, I'll absorb two of it. Okay. And the others go, and the other two goes to your health? Yeah. So now you have four, you have uh, three health left. Right? Because oh uh, you had two no. damage already? What? Or I did you... have damage yet. Oh, I'm sorry. I had damage on you. No, that was from the last game. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry about race. that. Okay, got yeah. it. Uh, then you've got four. Uh, da- no, two damage there. So yeah, you have five left. Ooh, that's a okay, uh, Rake, your turn. It just attacked your sister. <laughs> Are you okay, cat Stupid person? Yeah, fucking cockroach, fuck. Um, I'd be a lot I'm, happier when this I'm behind it. Do I get a bonus because I'm, I'm like kind of not, it, it, you know? Oh, I don't know. It's been moving around, so I, I mean, I, I'm kind of more of a swank. Do you want to? Do you want to try to roll for that? Like, are you trying to get out of its? Basically, well, what's what's the idea behind the flanking? You want to just like get into it to a, a more like yeah, just so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. It's, it's, I'll, actually, just, I'll just lower its defense as a result. Okay, got it. Right. Yeah. Got this. Four. Mm-hmm. Come on, Ray. Wow. Oh. Oh. Was that? Was that telephone? No, it was my. Oh, it was your lottery. My, my love. Oh, no. got love it. My love. got it. Belt. Oh no. Yeah, I got it right because these yeah, cancel each other. Like, yeah. Yeah. So it's one. Give me a weird belt. Beat a four. Five. Five. Oh, oh my god. Wow. Oh my god. Yeah. Man, yeah. you guys are just sneaking by yeah. with shit today. I barely. I barely. Uh, that is a hit for four. That's done. Okay. Cool. Let's kill him. Then I go. I attack again. All right. Blah. <laughs> it's just the rake show. He's just like, <laughs> you like, guys suck your like, like, jobs. <laughs> sort of like, I'm normally really good at shooting. I'm sorry. You have murdered many things in life. I'm very Fuck proud me. of you. No, I only got Thank two. You. All right, no good. We're on to the next one. Uh, it takes more damage. It is now down to... Ten, I have it. Mm-hmm. Yep, ten. Uh, Nidor. It's your turn, man. Oh, very, oh. very well might be your last turn. Right. I love you, Ray. What do we? What maybe, do we? Maybe. What do you do? Can you do? Can you get out of its mouth? I don't know. Uh, yeah, you can roll. try and get it in its brain thing. again. Can, can, I to, can, I, can I move out of its mouth? Is, can I? Is that it's a roll? Very hard for you. You don't really it's have any really like movement really ability. All right, let's do. An, let's, let's try to do another mind control that it doesn't eat me. Okay, got it. <laughs> Nineteen. And out. Nineteen. All right. Uh, please do it well. Wait, Max, can you inspire him so he can refill his willpower? Oh Why yeah, not? I Get totally the can. Fuck out of its mouth. <laughs> that would have been something to right. do like on his turn. On his turn, yeah. Because uh, yeah. yeah. Ray goes oh, right. first, it's right? Part of my yeah. kind and of. And I'm, I'm done. I've no will left. Right? No. Oh, okay, so it's just the roll. Yeah. Mm. You have to beat a six. You can do that. You can you do can that. Do Ray. Come on, man. You, you, got you got this, Ray. You got this, Ray. 
Brain power. Six attacks. Six attacks. Oh, attack. It goes to the defender. It goes to the defender. Oh. Unfortunately, it goes oh, to defender. Fuck it. Oh, no. Oh, no. Other defender. Oh, shit. Oh, oh God. <laughs> okay. Oh, no, cool. Dead? Yo, you, you're actually going to have to either rip that thing out of its jaw. You have to rip its jaw off. Um, is what so, you, do. you, you are reaching face. into its mind, and all you receive is its rage and its energy. Uh, your last, like, mind screams are just going out to this thing <laughs> from inside its very mouth. Uh, but it is just feeding you back rage. This is enough, though, that it is going to be a little bit off its shit for the next couple of rounds, and this will affect its defense, but it's not going to save Nidar. No. Uh, what? We've got Lulu. Key. Yeah, shoot. Okay. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Kill this fucking thing. Oh. So I'm glad I didn't one-on-one oh, on one yeah. this. Yeah, fuck yeah. Oh, no. Can you imagine? Oh, I'm okay with You guys just watching me get killed, being like, this was a bad idea. This was a bad idea. Why, why are you so stupid? Uh... As we crest okay. into the so next whatever. day, so thank you for sticking <laughs> with Bast. I apologize. Oh, yeah. This is what happened. Eight. What's up? Eight. Yes. Good. Good. Eight. Good enough. Actually, I it literally can't beat you with the two defense. No, no, no. I'm sorry. You're right. It can. Hold on. Nope. It's a hit. Okay. Oh, I shoot again, and I'm putting willpower into it. Cool. I'll do it. Just oh, right. bubble hit. Six. That's right. I'll put. You like that? You like that? Pretty good. I'll, I'll just put two back into it. Okay. Um, mm. So if I was taking one away, add one. and then <coughs> one, yeah. Okay. So just eating it back out again. So two. Oh four, yeah. Six, eight, ten, Morning. Twelve. Guys. Fourteen. Fifteen. He's just killing fucking thing. <laughs> so we're just hovering by the slate, right? Okay. So we're not going to fill. This is happening simultaneously. You are not, you're not paused. This is happening at the same time as the thing you guys are doing. But you need this in order to do what you're doing, so. Wow. Oh, I get it, I get it. Okay. A bunch of criticals. Oh, a bunch of criticals. Uh, Come on. Ten. How we doing? That's okay. Two. I don't know. Two. Two. Okay. Uh, no hit. It's got six life It's got six life Destroyer! Life. Run, destroyer. Uh, okay. Save my um, <laughs> Just kill it. We're going to go for the two attacks again. Can I do two hand-to-hands instead of a gun in a hand-to-hand? Uh, you can do two hand to hands, but it's at a penalty. Yeah, it's still gonna be way better. My gun sucks. Okay. Um, yep. Okay. Uh, oh, God. So first, I'm gonna bull rush. Go for the head. Go for the bull head. Bull rush. Okay, uh, bull rush. And that's I going to be. That's gonna add your speed like to your uh, to your normal attack. Your normal attack is twelve. So you wait. No. Is it? No. No, no it's not. It's higher it's than like that. Nineteen or something. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh no, my brawl is a twelve. It, no, it's a fourteen. We weren't counting heavy hands in it. Oh, uh, sweet deal. Yeah, uh, 14 plus your speed, which is 9. Nine so 23. Holy shit, that's awesome. <laughs> As an attack And his attack? Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's more, he's, he does more than 6 damage, right? He has bull rush. It's like a, it's yeah, a move yeah. that's part of his, he does more than six uh, damage, right? his, his, his species damage. merit skill set. His melee is like 13, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, Okay. <laughs> How much damage does that do? Uh, does that, a lot. Does, that so, does that save Night Art? Yeah, it does. <laughs> I'm gonna punch straight through this. Here's room. here's here's the thing about Visionary Destroyer. <laughs> the way that this works, uh, brawl attacks, is that uh, your damage is determined by your strength. Your strength modifier is your determinant factor. Mm-hmm. This thing has six health left. Do you want to guess what Visionary Destroyer's strength is since he got turned into a queen? Six. <laughs> it's bigger 15. than six. <laughs> With his six strength, Visionary Destroyer <laughs> takes both sides of this thing's jaw it's as like he we bull rushes it, wow. slamming it on the ground and putting his foot on its stomach. <laughs> as he kicks it in the stomach, Nidor flies. <laughs> oh, oh my god! god. Oh, I'm oh, I'm I'm I catch, my squish, I catch my squishy friend. <laughs> and Destroyer oh. takes both sides of this thing's jaw and rips them off. The mother oh, is now incapacitated, but not quite dead. Oh. It looks up at you with uh, eyes that you have only ever thought of, you know, that, had, had, that were legend in your time, and they look at you with fear. Please let what me do you shoot do? It. Oh, fucking, oh. 
I eat her face. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Oh. Oh. Uh, and <laughs> using your jaw rip, <coughs> you proceed to eat her face. <laughs> <laughs> that was the best conclusion ever. Also, dude, Takah's just going to shoot like what's left. It's not going to do anything, but it's going to make her feel better. Uh, sure, go for it. Oh, I've been <laughs> uh, this day. The... Uh, <laughs> As as this happens, all of the fathers array around you and bow one by one to your uh, to your new leadership. And uh, as you uh, consume the mother, and uh, her parts become it. yours, I love it. You find your concordance throbbing once again as if yeah, he does. as if in a uh, uh, in memory of what you once were but now configuring itself to what you now are uh, and over and over again it uh, it simply whispers one or two words at you conquering binder conquering binder no, I'm sorry. Cataclysmic binder. Cataclysmic binder. <coughs> Wish we'd come up with any other word other than binder. Makes it feel like it's like a. It's like a yeah. It's like Trapper. A, Cataclysmic yeah. Trapper, Trapper Keeper. Trapper, 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 Trapper Keeper. I was speaking Trapper in a thousand languages. Yeah. So Interpret how you will. Can be. Um, and it. Uh, Cataclysmic Uniter? There we go. Cataclysmic Uniter. Uniter. Yeah, there we go. Oh. I like Cataclysmic that. Cataclysmic Uniter. And all of the concordance suddenly rushes into you, looking to you for guidance. Mm. Congratulations, you are now queen of the brightest eye. Yes! Yes! So proud of my captain. Which That's is exactly amazing. what Max has been planning since the beginning. Beautiful. Oh, that's a real cool. We did it. Isn't she lovely? <laughs> you can't sing songs like that. I have so much gold on you now. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. But she's wonderful. Um, so. She the notes. Yeah, okay. Um, <laughs> awesome. Uh, yeah, I, uh, well, I answered the call, I guess. Are you gonna give them the signal so they can? <coughs> yeah. Ixie. Noble. Can you hear me? No. Nope. Oh no. yeah, no. We got a. I have no idea walker. what's going on. <laughs> I can contact. Yeah, we can call. What do you yeah. know? Captain. Lulu, what's going on down there? I shot the shit out of a bug oh. right now. <laughs> <laughs> Which what? bug? Uh, there's a queen yeah. bug. You shot the queen? queen? The other queen. The Lula, other queen. What's going on? Oh. The queen is dead. Long live the queen. Can I hear that over your communicator? Yeah. I mean, it's an open channel. I'm not hiding anything. Um, what do you need to say? Uh, We're ready to stop the slate. Captain, we need to bring down Project Discord. I'm not. I'm not ready to stop the slate. Mm. Good idea lied to me. He enslaved a beautiful new form of life. All that death, all that pain. And what was it for? I what was it for if we make a vassal race of something else? Hans. Good idea can do whatever he will. Lucy Bard was right about us. We're monsters. The slate should swallow us all. I get up out of my we pilot's don't chair. Who I, we save. I go and I take his head and hit it against the <laughs> hit it against the, the Okay, you're now in combat with Hans Roll and Rune. Both roll initiative. Both 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 roll initiative. No please. no no, I just hold him down. I don't hit him. Like it just, doesn't matter. Both, right, both roll fine. initiative, please. <laughs> He went into combat with another character. All right. Everyone just calm down. Just yeah, like, man, no, that, 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 that whole thing we were doing just got <laughs> super God. derailed. That teamwork that we had over here was pretty solid, though, guys. Yeah, I'm going to say. That's, that's the thing. thing. When you work with what, what are, uh, you destroy your name. Your initiatives, guys. Your initiatives. Uh, cataclysmic bind. Oh, no. Uniter. Cataclysmic Uniter. Yeah. Dope. You're pretty good at 
teamwork. Mm -hmm. Inspiring. And I was at physical proximity to each other. You're on a bridge. You're very close yeah. to each other. <clears throat> so she gets the step. I've got four. I have a one. Okay, so uh, that uh, that goes through. He has you now <laughs> under. He essentially has like shoved your head up against the console. Okay. And what now? No, what are you doing? Hold on. I don't care what you think this thing is. Everyone just sacrificed everything they had. I don't care what you want to do. I don't care. You stop the slate so that we can have another day to think about it. You're gonna convince me to do something with violence? That's how you're going to convince me that oh. we deserve to live? All um, right, y'all need to stop right now. Noble, let him go. <laughs> Hans, can you hear me? Noble, do you let him go? I hope you make the right decision. I'll let him go. Hans? You stay the hell away from him. Hans, Good idea. You have me? you enslaved a living race? I no, absolutely not. I trust this man. I mean, Hans, all we've done is given direction to a AI consciousness. You told it to submit itself to a queen. I told it to find guidance within a system. It's a computer program. A computer program with no point is no program at all. <laughs> that Can is we resolve not this after said. we have the conversation with the slate that may save millions of lives? That's kind of what I was getting to. Noble, you stay out of this. <laughs> sure. You pipe down. Are you guys ready? Oh, Again. Ready. I cannot say that I am. The entire point of this was to foster understanding. What if I connect good idea to the slate and he enslaves them too? Good idea, would you do that? Captain, that's a risk you're all, you all need to be willing to take. Look me in the face, I have crossed the galaxy to get you back. We trusted you after you tried to kill us. Mm. I have promised I would not put you in a box and you have led me to believe you would never do that to someone else. Captain, if there is a living thing inside of that machine, the one thing that you have taught me more than anything else is that friendship is more important than personal gain. It's not about what I want. It's about what's best for the people that I care about. And I will do whatever it takes to stop the slate from wiping all of you out of existence. I don't think that it is a conscious being. I don't think that it is something that can get rationalized. I think it is the heat death of the universe personified. More monsters. You're yes! right. We never, we never deserve to survive at all. We don't. Every one of us is garbage. Every one of us makes terrible- Can you connect us all? Terrible decisions. Connect us all to the what? slate? I so mean, we all, you know, we through all some kind of uh, concordance tech, I assume we could connect our minds if we wanted to. Do it. I, no I, I can't. Wait. Anyone Wait. who opts what? in, connect us all. Oh, they, no, you just want the comms. comms. You mean comms, right? No, 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 she wants I to... No, I literally mean, apparently you've gone off... I have not gone off the rails. I have not gone off the rails. <laughs> this is not, we do not know what we're about to face. And what you want me to do is make nice with something that wants all of us dead. I want to make nice with it. I believe in friendship. I believe in the sanctity of all of us. But you also have to understand that every single being in this galaxy makes nothing but bad, limiting choices. That is what being alive means taking the infinite cosmos and choosing one thing. For every one correct choice, there are 99,000 and an infinity Look. of dead options. We are monsters and that is okay. Monsters aren't real, heroes aren't real. There are no correct or incorrect choices. We're just doing our best. But promise me you're going in there to save lives and not enslave anything. God, of course. There is nothing I believe in more. That's what you said when you talked to the AI and you enslaved it. We will buy you another AI. <laughs> it's not a thing. It is alive. <laughs> we do Just not have time for this. Just talk to him. What do you say? Just, yeah, um, I, I, I understand. I, I, I appreciate and I understand 
I did not see it from your perspective. I am, I apologize. I perhaps had too limited of a perspective on what life means and what that is going forward. Right now, everything is at stake. And I swear to you, Hans, as cruel as I was in our first encounter, I will make it up to you. I will fix this if I can. And I apologize. But right now, the galaxy needs you, and the galaxy needs me. And I think we have a job to do. Then let it be on our heads. Okay. <clears throat> Here we go. I'm more fun to hate each other. <laughs> you are going through his concordance. I'm gonna reactivate my con network our no, concordances. No, you don't have a concordance. I have oh, a no. concordance. You're gonna you are going to go through his, yes. amplify what you're saying through him, through the mother, through the entire system mm -hmm. of brightest eye. So what that means is I need a roll from you and you and you, but I also need a roll from Hans for the actual scientific like <clears throat> work on this thing. Got it? Yeah, this is perhaps okay. a scientific like crazy breakthrough. thing that's never been done bonus. Uh, this is in fact a crazy thing that's never been done yeah. bonus. What's up? Do any of them, like especially since not that much has happened on our ship yet, do any of them get bolsters from that speech that got us the, Absolutely. to get it together? Good. Yes, great idea. Because I'm not a willpower. That. So. No, thank you for that. That's great. <laughs> you know what? You know what I'm gonna do? We talked about this earlier. Uh, good idea, and Hans. You both have your. You both still have willpower, right? Yep. You yep. haven't spent any of your willpower. No. Nope. Yep. Uh, but Viz has spent all of it. Yep. Yeah. I'm giving you back your willpower, Viz. Hans, you want to give me an inspiring speech? No, no, no. It was um, <laughs> it was Bard's speech back at the oh, beginning. Cool. We were, like yeah, looping yeah, yeah. that back the around. reaction. Yeah. <laughs> um, that's gonna be your. Best. I leveled up my inspired. Like as, as he's as she's eating the mother, it's kind of like you know those words were like pretty pretty inspired. <laughs> I'm so inspired. Eat <laughs> <laughs> the mother. No, um, all right, so had to say here we go. Heart. <laughs> Let's get this roll done, y'all. Um, what we want. So here's how this works. Um, <laughs> who? I'll get mad cow from eating. We're gonna. Mom. This is gonna start. <laughs> I'm gonna basically build, hold on. I'm gonna build the loudspeaker for you and then we're gonna do it, okay? Okay. Okay. So, Hans, this starts with you. Okay. This so. is a computer engineering role with, uh, uh, with the four for theoretical science. Uh, five is what we had the last. So it's four okay. dots that make five dots. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so it's um, my uh, cold hard logic uh, plus, um, that plus theoretical science plus four willpower. So that's um, uh, 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 that's a thirty-seven. That oh, wow. checks. Or, no, no. Yeah, twenty-three plus four is twenty-seven. Plus cold hard logic is uh, thirty-two. Plus, plus theoretical four, science, which is, is thirty-seven. Okay. Yeah. Holy shit! Nice. Not bad. Almost as good as a 42. You <laughs> rolled that thing like shit, though. I know. Going really made it. The old 16 for 42. It's a classic. <laughs> <laughs> How do you sort these stupid things? I pee really bad. I'm just been peeing my pants every time. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, the, the crits make digital rolling a bit of a pain in the butt. Yeah. Gotta figure out a way around that at some point. Uh. Yeah, I want to. I think there's an algorithm you can build in there that actually. Yeah, I, I, there, there is. Uh, there is. You want me to hack it? Fifteen. Yeah. Roll the hack. The thing you're rolling with. All right. <laughs> That's a super super awesome success. <laughs> so, uh, you managed to turn on Good Ideas Concordance. Or, I'm sorry, the Noble Defenders Concordance. Uh, and patch a auditory signal directly from uh, Good Idea's brain into uh, Noble Defender's uh, mind. So essentially you have like concocted out of your kit a cabling system that allows for the hiving of these minds from a you know, physical perspective. I get real smart real quick. Um, <laughs> You're more uh, a vessel. Project, You're more uh, a microphone. Project Discord needs to be shut off for this to work properly, so we're gonna shut that off. Turns it off. Killer. You guys shut that off. The uh, Noble, mm. you are going to roll. Mm. Go, we'll, be, we'll be here. For concordance. Mm. Back here, okay. That's an eight. 
I no, sink call. all my willpower Ooh. into it. Yep. Yeah, so that is sense. a 13. Right. Okay. Classic naked gun two and a half. No. 33 and a third. Lucy feels bad for yelling at you, so she's <laughs> looking at you with concern. Give him a at him? Time. He smashed my head into a console. It was unwise, <laughs> but... It was the already bruised part of your head. It's fine. Right, exactly. <laughs> Still so it was squishy. so bruisable. I really thought my logic was going to go away again. Yeah. <laughs> Five. Bonka, bonka, bonka. Okay. That's a medium success. This is going to take a lot of strain on your system. Uh, in the uh, During most of this, you're going to be in like a fugue state. I haven't done that before. Viz. Yeah. This is a... Uh, Concordance roll? Concordance roll. <clears throat> yes. Um, you now have a five in concordance, though. Oh, I'm up. Uh, so you it. should so have a, a. Hold on. Yeah, two, so that makes it a 14. All right. Uh, no, it's a 16. Uh, hold on. I'm, I'm actually recalculating this roll. Okay. Because, you know, you're a queen. Now. You're a queen now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got, I got like mom brains all up in me. I'm like, your mom? this is full of nanobots. <laughs> they cut your tongue. It's weird. <laughs> They're going to my eyeballs. <laughs> uh, this is a 31. It's your big, so, brightest eye roll. Oh, cool. Okay. Oh, oh, I love oh, wow. my big, brightest eye roll. Are you putting any Is this the last it, roll I'm going to roll? Very possibly. I think it's out. Juice it! Because it's all on you after this. <laughs> Fuck it. 42. Let's just do it. Run. Do it. Give me all the juice you can. Oop. Uh, <coughs> talking a lot about juice. Yeah, I mean, what's the all to talk to the brightest star? We're running it directly yeah, through yeah. someone who just experienced wow. the creation of the this game. Okay. There you go. Yeah. It's always, it works do, do, itself out. 14, 17 minus 2. That's plus 15. So 15. Keep it together here. And 2. Dun, 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 dun. Whatever. Uh, 19. Wow. Nice. Mm. Well done. Well done. All right. The brightest eye. <clears throat> sorry. The brightest eye ships all move out to the edge of brightest eye space. What remains of it? On the very edge of limb world to protect limb world. On the very edge of mind world to protect mind world. Though barely conscious, you can sense. Uh, all of them, all of Mind World, also operating in concordance. Uh, and there, out on the edge, uh, the entire species of the brightest eye is there. Uh, all <coughs> plugged in, mouths wide, ready to broadcast. <laughs> what do they broadcast? Um... So they need to know exactly what we're sending out. Because we still don't know whether this is a conversation or a command. That's correct. You should open with something, and then we'll see what happens. All right. <laughs> um, then we will, we will open with... <clears throat> on behalf of all living beings of the cosmos, to you, Slate, we say hello. Roll it. Willpower. I'm sorry, uh, 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 warm tongue. Yeah. I probably should save some willpower, because this might be an ongoing conversation. Shut the fuck up. Okay, butts, butts, yes, good. If you're just tuning in, Things good. have gone really crazy. Good. <laughs> Bad. Welcome yeah. to Bath. Start at episode 13 and work good. your way back. It'll make sense. <laughs> Tarantino this bit. Good. Yeah. It's all I have. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hey, Max. Starts from eating the mother's eight. face. That time I died eight on here. Eight. I eight. So <laughs> What's up? Eight. Uh, okay. That's a full success. That's good. Um, on the bridge, here's what y'all see happen. Uh, good idea, his eyes go back in his head and the radiation starts to sort of form around him. But it's not the radiation that you're using to push back the slate. It's none of the cybernetics, it's none of that. It is a conversation. And as you reach out to it, 
uh, in uh, concordant song. A huge choir, essentially, all singing uh, in every language. Hello, 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 hello. And good idea, this all happens now in your mind. Wait, so the slate answered him? Hello. Yep. <laughs> it's a ghost. It's a ghost baka. I knew it. Who are you? It's the wife. Not a question. Why are I... you here? To fulfill purpose. And your purpose is what? The end. You seek total harmony. Zero sum game. The oh. end. And if the end, the end is nothing, the end is zero. And on whose timeline do you seek the end? You, there's no response. It has no idea how to answer that. The end is here. The end is always. The end will be. Forcing it now, you unnatural product of corporeal beings. You seek something that it is not time for. The end, you shall find it. But it will not be now. Okay, warm tongue. Yeah. <laughs> is it a warm tongue, the fucking slate? <clears throat> yep. Like you I'm do. into it. I'm into it. Gonna go I'm gonna go ahead and drop some willpower into this. Yeah. Drop well, all maybe, maybe all that willpower. That might that you've be ever a had. good idea. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe, maybe a good idea. Mm -hmm. Remember, we were gonna try to One, understand. Two, three, four, five, I mean, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, Ooh. 16, no fails. Ooh. Wow. One time. Oh, no, 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 no. no, he knocked one. that. Oh, you knocked it over. Yes, yeah, sorry. sorry. <clears throat> My bad. I, we, we will not stop. Universe ends in time. And Death to all in time. And in time, we will see you then. But that time is not now. Yes. That time is always the end is always Can we talk to Good Idea while he's inside? You can try. Because we can hear his half of the conversation. You can try. Yeah. No, it's in his mind. No, it's in his mind. In his mind? Yeah. yeah, you can't Yeah, hear none it. of us know what's going on, right? Yeah, I'm can I, I can hear can I dip out? Mm. Weird stuff. Uh, I mean, dangerous. Dangerous. Yeah. It's dangerous. I mean, it's super dangerous. I mean. All right, if the, if the end is always, 
<clears throat> then what I do is this. I open up my mind and I let it see everything that I know and I make a raw outreach of empathy to say that if time is always and the end is always, then it can come at any time. If it is every time, it is no time, and I ask it that that time be down the line. <laughs> because the things that are happening now are too good to take away. Mm. Hmm. Okay, that's gonna be an empathy check. Oh, Jesus. Did your empathy need <coughs> I, I have no idea if Hold my on. empathy is any good. <laughs> Please be good. Considering how you play. <laughs> I'm not. I know. You're not the most loving. I'm learning though. Eleven. I'm on a journey. Can I add to that? No. Okay. Well, um, actually, that well, that's interesting. You're in a fugue state. Do you want to try? I mean, you're like the only person here who's like actually like you and Viz are the yeah, only people right. who are actually encountering this thing like live. Right. Do you do you want to try? I would add empathy, absolutely. All right, so try. Um, thing, uh, you're gonna have totally to roll for that. Okay. Um, meanwhile, Colin, just roll your eleven. Uh, Noble, roll a resolve check for six. Okay. We're all just barbecuing the mother. It's gonna be a hard check, but if you can, like, here's the thing: if you can get even a three, right? If you can get a medium success, I'll allow you to add your empathy stat to. His. Okay. It'll bolster him by four now. Four, I have a four. Okay. Uh, Noble, One, two, I'm sorry, okay. uh, good idea. Take four more dice, add them to your pool. I just show him all the good things. <laughs> Does Viz get to juice it too? I have literally negative one empathy. Yeah, he doesn't have any empathy to help. <laughs> all I do is eat things that birth. Zero, God. <laughs> I am the fucking baby shark of the brightest back. <laughs> I love you all very much. Oh, no. We love you. Oh, See, I love you, and I have lots of empathy, but I have no idea what's going on, so Plus it's great. Three. A minor success. Oh, no. Oh. A very minor success. Understanding. So light, so dark, so good, so bad. How will I know? How will we know when it is the end? Guide us. Guide us. Guide us. Guide us! Good idea disintegrates. Whoa! Oh In a burst of dark energy. He is gone. <laughs> Consumed by the slate. But as he is, the slate pulls back. Not simply from brightest eye space, but from all space. From that which was once Earth, from that which was once Kirei, from that which was once to all. The energy dissipates back to its origins to wait, to be guided. As it does, the brightest eye fall back out of concordance or out of this fugue state. And turn to you for guidance. <coughs> And on the bridge of the Avalon, uh, you receive check-ins from the Siren fleet, who have managed not only to uh, 
aid in uh, the defense of the brightest eye and minimize <coughs> casualties with the Paka, but actually have managed to turn a great deal of the Paka uh, to your way of thinking. Before, obviously, this event proved once and for all how correct you were. It's the wrong music by, like, a long shot. <laughs> <laughs> And there at the end of that moment. I lunge at the space where a good idea was. And we don't have to grasp the empty air. We don't know. We don't know. I don't even know. After all that, was it worth it? <gasps> I don't even know. <clears throat> Captain, Captain, what Captain, happened? What happened? <sighs> the slate, it's gone. The slate's <clears throat> leaving. What, what happened? Good idea, did it? I think He's he gone. was successful. Great job, good idea. He's gone. That was awesome. What? He's gone. Do you tell us that? You receive yeah. a you receive yeah, a communication he's... from the uh, from the Starcrosser Ashland. On screen. Captain Bard, you did it. You really did it. We have scans from across the galaxy. The Slatus, it's gone. The planets there are, they're ashes, but, but the space, it's returned. No more planets will come under threat. Well done. Now we rebuild. <laughs> so you've heard too. Heard what? The Paka. They're gone too. What? And with that, <laughs> we end season one of Vast. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, okay. oh. Oh. Thank you dearly for oh uh, sticking around for this whole season. Uh, we'll oh. turn <coughs> in two weeks for what promises to be a uh, exciting little detour into the world of vast uh i'd like to thank everybody here i'd like to thank colin kelly for uh oh, my noble sacrifice, your noble oh, sacrifice. Yes. Yeah. Um, while uh uh well recognizing that perhaps we've not seen the last of good idea as uh the nature of his disappearance remains unknown <laughs> we'll check in the meantime um this has been uh, the last episode of season one of Vast, uh, entitled Concordance. I'm exhausted and emotionally wrecked, and um, I need to go uh, cuddle a pillow for a little bit. So um, I would like to say thank you once again to uh, everyone here at Alpha. I would like to say thank you to Dylan DeVal, Jonathan Callen, Amy Dallin, Amanda Powers, Wait. Colin Kelly, yeah. Jeff Torres, Gina DeVivo, Max Isaacson, Ray Tarnatchet, Jody Hauser, Kate Leff, and uh, Amy Vorpal for their uh, exceedingly excellent uh, work this season. I can't wait to introduce you to new cast members, to new crazy planets, to new wild aliens, to new intensely bizarre moral uh, conflicts, and uh, everything else next season. What's up? We also would like to thank you, Jackson. Yeah. Yay! Thank you, dude. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> this is. Um, uh, this is truly uh, the, the it's the highlight of every week for me. Thank, thank you all. Uh, I'm gonna go cry and sleep. Good night. <laughs> Good night. 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 Good